Hey, Syke, how's it going? Mm -mm. Hey, Misty, how's it going? I almost got it, almost. Maybe next time. Hey, mud crap. Let me move over to my camera. Hold on. I changed my mic settings a little bit to just so that maybe there's more of a noise gate on it now. So if I end up cutting out a little bit, let me know. Um, I did change things, so, you know, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I did some changes to my settings, so, you know. It's a great day today. Oh, I love that. Why so? I mean, great. Not going to question it, but also... Usually when people say that, they have a reason, or is there something going on that's meant made it a good day. And I want to know what's going on with you guys, because I have nothing going on myself. <laughs> I don't know, I love life today. Oh, that's... You know what? I love waking up in those moods. I actually woke up, like, naturally today. Like, just out of a uni lecture. I hope it was okay. I hope it was okay. I know that can be mind-numbingly boring. But I woke up this morning. I was just lying like this. I was just like lying like this in bed, and I woke up like this. <gasps> like everything in my life just came into my being at that point, and I had a gr I woke up really well. I just, yeah. It's six a.m. right now. Ooh. Ooh. Oh well, here come the three minutes of ads. Womp womp. But uh, hey, Waffle Cat, how's it going? Hey, Benja. And Phantom as well. I, yeah, I woke up really well today. I have had a nice morning. I woke up at like 10 to 7, so I didn't wake up at 6 a.m. I woke up at about 7. That, granted, didn't get out of bed until half past 8, but whatever. So, imagine me. Oh, yeah, Benja. You. I mean, I got school. Well, s skill issue. School issue? Hmm. I think one of my favorite things in life is waking up in the morning and the room is like yellow because the sun's so pretty. See what? Whenever I go to bed at night, I make sure that my blinds are open, my window is open, it fr like it, it airs out the room at night because I stay in here all day, so it's a fucking, it stinks. Probably, I don't know, I'm probably used to it at this point. And it's just so nice to wake up to that morning breeze. Ah. <sighs> It's so nice. I don't ask for a lot in life. Just Twitch partnership and morning breezes. Two things. And I'm all out of morning breezes because it's 10 a.m. now. So someone get me partnership. <laughs> I would love that north-south facing windows in the house only, though. Even still, wind blows past there. So it would come in. Oh, no, waking up to the sun. What way do my windows face? Do I have a compass on my phone? Hold on. I actually have no idea what way my windows are facing. Surely. Hey Siri, open the compass. Yay! I'm facing southwest. <laughs> okay, partnership, let me call my guy. Yippee! Yeah. That's weird how this works. Oh, cool. Now I'm facing zero degrees north. Oh my god, I'm so fancy. Yeah, my window point's like 210 degrees southwest. So I get... So the sun's kind of annoying. Hi, Shade. How's it going? What a cool feature. This is so underutilized. Mostly because mo like most people just look at their fucking map I app. Their map app? Their map app. Okay. I'm not with it yet this morning. Yeah, wait, what? that's actually a really good point. Who the fuck needs a compass? You have a map on the same phone. <laughs> that's only just dawned on me. Okay. Map app is that the guy from Game Theory. <laughs> that's a good one. I like that. Not anymore. He quit. He retired. Using a compass is cool. It sure is. But you don't need it if you've got a phone with a, a map as well. You know, you see, you get, you get what I'm saying. Anyway, we're gonna be playing on hardcore today. Shocker, shock horror. Imagine that. I'm gonna start at my TikTok stream because, lo and behold, it actually worked today. Thank God, I didn't have to. I, you know what? I spent some time, almost an hour ago, setting it up because it was such a pain yesterday that I was late. So I wanted to make sure that I got it sorted as soon as possible today. Ugh. 
You know what else is cool? Subbing to Nukuri on YouTube. Base. I used to set up my parasol in summer in the garden. You know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. If you have a use for it, then by all means. The map ain't gonna teach you shit with that. Where to set up your parasol. I mean, damn. Yeah, I mean, screw me, I guess. I got told. Hi, Audi. How are you doing? Come as for orientation in the wilderness. It looks like you need... It looks like you need... I can't show you because it has my actual location on it. And if it has my actual location on it, then it probably has, like, then map. I don't know. You know what? I'm going to stop going down this rabbit hole because I feel like I'm going to go back to my, like, scouts days and start tying knots in my bed sheets or something. Not because I've ever done that, but just because I don't see anything else around here that I could tie knots into because, shock horror, don't have any rope in my room. Hmm. Map needs GPS location to signals to satellites. Compass doesn't. Oh, I see. Hi, Tracy. How's it going? I'm in a world of pure existence and I wish I was sleeping. Base. Base as fuck. Hi, Shade. Again. Wait. You've said that already. With the nukery one sip. I wish this chatbot had the actual... It actually showed the things. Do you want to redo that entire thing about the rope? I would, but I've already forgotten everything I said, so if I tried to redo it, I would just fuck it up again. I mean, we'll just roll with it. We'll just rope with it. Nope, doesn't work. <laughs> it's too early for this! I still don't understand how a compass works no matter how many times someone explains it to me. So, the way a compass works is magnets go brr. Mm. Benja, that was a kind of good, actually. Uh, oh, I'm going to fuck up this name so much, but I want to try it anyway. Koyar Tasuna. Thank you so much for the follow. Mm, I almost got that. Koyar Tasina. Koyar Tasina? Koy, thank you for the follow. God damn it. Do you have BTTV on here? Um, I should do. But, so, the way that I'm looking at it, Shade, is through my streamer bot chat window which doesn't seem to have youtube emote things so yeah i feel like nuke is already sick of my shit today if i wasn't sick of your shit four months ago i wouldn't be sick of it by now you're just as bad as you were then so you're fine don't worry i don't know if that mm, i don't know if that's a compliment that feels like a compliment it feels like i just complimented you but i might be lying oh well Oh, hold on. Can I cancel this? I want to see if this is... I want to double check that this is working. Yeah, okay, it is. Right, going live on TikTok, then we're going to move over to Minecraft. I like having these little moments of just chatting with you guys before I jump into the game as well, though. I like it. Hey, Kappa. How's it going? Right, go live. Now it's time for the absolute cesspool that is going live on TikTok. Yay! Great. There we are. And everything's still working. Yep. Awesome. Brilliant. About to reach 10 streak, I think. Let's go. We love to see it. Wait, I just realized I don't have the... Oh, I don't have a feature here where it shows me people's watch streaks. Hold on. I want to see if I can do a thing. Docs. Multi-chat? Ooh. Wait, that might be a thing. Oh god, is this really worth it? You know what? I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna see if that works. Awesome. Let's go, TikTok. Oh god, Audie, you're so old. Granted, I dabbed like last week. I dabbed once upon a time. It was back in the good old days of the 07. <laughs> hey, Psycho. Oh, hold on. I gotta change something before I forget. This is something I always forget to do. I need to find a way to do this automatically. Uh, where is it? King, queen of the stream. Change the cost. 100. There we go. Cool. Brilliant. Hey, Jinx. How's it going? Lovely. So, what are we doing today? We are going to be carrying on mostly with our terraforming around the side. Back in my day. 
So we're going to carry on the terraforming around here. It's not quite done. I honestly don't think it looks bad just having done this, but I do want to do some more to it anyway. Including what is probably going to end up being putting wheat up there as well. But I just got to, yeah, I got to make it look better first down here. So we're going to jump straight into it. I do want to spend some more time trying to do more of the uh, leprechaun armor stand today. Because that was really fun. Thomas, thank you for the follow on TikTok. I appreciate it. When you realize that dabbing was nine years ago. Was someone not trying to bring back the Harlem Shake recently? Wasn't it like Kai Senate or something like that? I swear to God, it was a video of somebody doing the Harlem Shake meme. Which is old. That's almost older than I am. So that's, that was something that I learned. That somebody was trying to bring that back. It reminds me of like um, a Smitty video. For those of you who don't know, he's the Canadian milk bag on YouTube. That sounds so bizarre. He's a gamer. Hey, it's a legend. How's it going? But yeah, the, it reminds me of the kind of thing. It was like, oh, I can't even remember what it was. Oh, he was Yeet making a comeback. It was like, I'm going to put Yeet back on the map because it was a Mario Kart video. And it was just, oh, it was so funny. It was so funny. And then, honestly, I do think he actually put Yeet back on the map. I think that for a while it did come back. We're talking like six years ago, this video now. So it was a long time. Harlem Shake was 11 years ago. Was it that long? Ew! Oh, I'm disgusted. Do you guys remember? Who here remembers planking? <laughs> that is a throwback and a half. That was a thing. Oh, God. You know what? I rem I Oh, planking. The thing people do with body weight. No, that's the one where people just lie flat on the ground or in weird positions. Oh god, do I need to figure- do I need to look this up now? Planking... Trend. 2011! So basically, I'll just read what it says here. Planking, or the lying down game, is an activity consisting of lying in a face-down position, sometimes in an unusual or incongruous location. What the fuck is incongruous? The palms of the hands are typically touching the sides of the body, and the toes are typically touching the ground. Some people compete to find the most unusual and, un and original location in which to play. The term planking refers to mimicking a wooden plank. Feeling old yet? A little bit. A little bit old. And you know what's funnier? I still remember a... <laughs> I still remember when I did one. <laughs> so... I don't think I ever actually posted it anywhere online, so it's probably just lost in an old phone somewhere. But me... So for context, me and my brother used to have bunk beds. We lived in the same room until we were like 20, and he moved out. Um... But... We had lad so it was two different beds, but they were elevated. So like you had to, you had ladders to get up to your bed. And I decided at whatever point that this was a thing, to go in between the ladder and rest my head on like my chest of drawers where all my clothes were. So I was more or less like floating. Oh damn! Don't know why I decided to do that. It was a trend, so whatever. But. You know, I never posted it anywhere. Otherwise, I would have, I would have kicked it. I would have killed it. That would have been a good, yeah, that would have been a good one. Just saying. <laughs> okay, I think I need to go and get some more stone so I can get rid of the random extra parts there. I thought about this yesterday. No, it wasn't yesterday. It was literally earlier today. I thought about this earlier today about what I could maybe do as a different cliff face instead of stone, but then I realized that that would be a lot of work and I couldn't really be bothered looking out for making the white cliffs of fucking Dover, so... In the end, nothing mattered. <laughs> Please! A 
Okay, this is getting ridiculous. And land there. Lovely. Are you guys fighting over the crown again? Looks like it. Lol. Benja, you can't do that. You're too popular here. Poor Benja. No, not particularly, because Benja has holds a position higher than any VIP. Moderator. I wonder if you do like rock, paper, scissors, but instead have it like the different roles for streaming. Like so there's like um So there's the camera, the sword, and the diamond for the icons. Oh, oh, we're going fishing! Audie, can you get that prediction started? While we're flying over to the fishing boat. So chat, for those of you that don't know, I'm pretty sure you all do at this point because of how common we do it. But for those of you that don't know, we are going to be going fishing for five minutes and... If, you get, uh, if we get an enchanted item, then you can win the channel points that way. So you guys will be gambling on whether or not I'm going to be getting a enchanted item. Started. Chat, put your polls in. Take your guesses. And of course, if you have any suggestions for other goals that we can do in this sense, then you can or other predictions that we can do, then you can always take them to my Discord, which you guys can join if you're not already in it. So bam! Link in chat for that, that now. Oh, I have one in here already. Okay. Can't wait for Nuke to get one in the last three seconds. We got one in the last, like, ten seconds last time we did this. It was, oh, that was a ridiculous. It was so cool. What? A thousand on yes, come on. Oh god, okay, no pressure then, no pressure. Oh god. Hey! <laughs> Shade! Oh my god! Oh my god, I get to snack! Let's go! I've not heard that alert in so long, I almost forgot what it was. Thank you so much, Shade! For those of you that don't know, Shade's just, um... Gifted me something off of my throne wish list. And, yeah, that was a thing. So now I'm going to be getting little sweets. Yay. That feels good. Thank you so much, Shade. All right, where are we at with this? Uh, mm. Okay, that's fine. No, I also paused and was like, what the fuck was that noise I have heard? Yeah, I know, it's been ages. I don't money for that, sorry. Wait, what? What do you mean? Money for what? You don't need to have money for my stream. People have voted. Oh, so many people have voted no. Oh my God. YouTube regular, let's go. Thank you so much, dude. You look like Tommy in it if he was an actual adult. I mean, technically he is an actual adult. He's like, I don't know how old he is at this point, but he's over 18, so he is. So, you know. Oh my god, I never started the timer. <laughs> you need a throne stream to add new stuff. Honestly, not a bad shout. Might do that one of these, like, one of the... I might do that on, like, Discord or something as a thing. I'm not sure. Right, let's start the timer. Bam, bam. Let's start fishing. Five minutes. And while we're waiting, we can tell stories of our youths. Back in the good old days, I went to bingo with my gran. Actually, this was uh, just while she was taking care of me when I was sick one time. I went to bingo with my gran. Honestly, bingo is a vibe. I don't care how old you are. Bingo is a vibe. When you get when you get to sh excitedly shout out bingo because you've beat all the other old women, you are great. It is great. You can't beat bingo. I'm sorry. Oh, it's turning to nighttime. Damn it. Hi, Spook. People are like, oh, you sound so old talking about bingo. No, a bingo slaps. 
Oh, I'm kind of thinking about doing a... Do I do bingo streams? Like Minecraft bingo, where I actually look for stuff. <laughs> Not like... Have an actual... Oh my god, me and my brothers used to have like an actual little bingo board game almost. Like a little discount bingo where we had the little cage and the balls and you could roll the ball cage and stuff. What a vibe. My stomach is still horrible. Remember me saying I wouldn't be hammered for hammer time? It backfired heavily, oh, for God's sake. Good job. I was drinking last night because, you know, St. Paddy's Day. And for those of you that are in my Discord, you probably got to the... Oh, and have the content notification on. You probably saw that I was playing Valorant with Cam yesterday. It was so much fun. I had so much fun. I was bed on the entire day Sunday. Oh my God. I, you, didn't, you didn't take that time to watch my stream? Wow. Wow. Okay. Cringe. Now, I hope you're feeling better now, though, Spook. So, was I comfortable in that stream? See what? The thing is, I wasn't any more comfortable than I am here. It's just that that's kind of how I act when I'm with my friends. Oh. Apart from Gecko. Oh, the Gecko. The Gecko was not it. The gecko was not the vibe. Oh, let me turn the brightness up here. There we go. For some reason, the... Oh, that's better. The gecko was not the vibe. I'm Irish, let's go. We love to see it. I'm Scottish. Yeah, no, the gecko was not the vibe. The gecko... Were... So, for context, uh, me and Cam were playing some... competitive Valorant yesterday. We won a game, we lost a game. And in the first game, which we ended up winning there was a character called Gecko, an agent Gecko, who just got really, really unnecessarily angry at me and would was toxic and trying to surrender three rounds in. And I just kept saying as we were winning, I was like, this is why you don't surrender four rounds in. And he was always trying to be like, well played, Sage, when this guy was going for like two and eight kills and deaths. And I'm like, okay. You can try and be toxic if you want, but if you're going to be toxic, pull your weight first. <laughs> he was failing spectacularly as well. It was really, really funny. He, he ended up being real quiet by the end of it as well. There was also a game where... I think it was the next competitive, actually. It was either the competitive or swift play where somebody was asking, Ayo, are you streamers? Because your mic is crispy. And I was like, you gotta, ha you gotta have that good quality. I was, uh, it was great. I honestly really, really liked it. What are white mice? Is that candy? I need to take that off, actually. Don't get that. Yes, it is candy, but it is like... I'm remembering how it tastes now and I'm like, I don't want that on there anymore. <laughs> So I'll finish up this and then I'll probably go take that off. But basically they're little um, white chocolate mice. I love people who need their ego checked in games. Bro was bro was so angry four gate like four rounds in. It was wild. And I me being me, I was just I was being both petty and also really nice. I was, I was being like, not patronizing, but probably as close to patronizing as you could get without calling it patronizing. <laughs> and honestly, wasn't even doing it that often either. I was just pulling my weight. I ended up being, I think, second best on my team. I was like, see, see, ge see, Gecko, this is why you don't, this is why you don't, like, surrender four rounds in. Like, calm down, calm down, Gecko. And I think there was somebody else in the next game as well that was trying to say shit to us. But his mic was so bad and I was saying that to him. I'm like, dude, your mic is really quiet. We can't hear what you're saying. I think he tried to call me a slur after that. Oh, are we done? Okay. Well. That is wild. I would have this wood league back in the day and I was just so pleasant. See what? It's like killing people with kindness, but then <laughs> they're they're just so bad. So yeah, congratulations, Delters. No takes it. 
Also, uh, Ben and Alicia, thank you so much for the follows on TikTok. I appreciate it. Hold on, let me just fix my lighting real fast. For some reason, my lighting's bothering me today. Okay, let me put all this away. Nope. Oh, no, I need to do one more thing before I forget. I need to go take the white mice off of Throne. <laughs> Sorry, I had a llama. There we go. Cool. What's that? Oh! <laughs> I all You know what? I have so many different sound alerts now for different things that I have to, like... I do like the Mr. Krabs double take whenever I hear something that I don't immediately recognize. Thank you for the rose, Ben, by the way. Yeah, brain was not braining there. And the, and the other rose. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Alright, we've got some more fish. That we can put away over here. Do I not have any... Oh yeah, I still don't have the tropical fish head that I can put up there. Dang, I need to fix that. Hello, Plopper. I would disable diamonds when some when fishing is running and vice versa. I need to find a way to do that automatically, Audi. Um, there will be a way with streamer bot that I can do it with. So yeah, I can get that sorted at another point, so that takes a lot of stress off of your back doing it. But so it's Captain Plopper. Yeah, you gotta salute Captain Plopper every time we're over there. All the homies doing his best. Also, Stephen Miller, thank you so much for the follow-up. I appreciate it. I was on TikTok. <laughs> okay. Let me go get some more scaffolding. Awesome, just for now, whilst I know it's not a thing and I'm here. Thank you. I appreciate it. My daughter Marlene watches you, so when do we get to the good part? You know, blowing stuff up? Oh, I have been doing stuff in secret for a project on YouTube. I don't... I tend to not do any destructive building. I tend to do constructive building. So, yeah. I'm, I call myself Nuke because I want to be the only positive impacting one on Earth. <laughs> right, let's put the stone away. Let's go and do some more terraforming. Terraforming. Uh, you go over here. Let's go get the scaffolding. By the way, how do you call the new generation? Oh, I have no idea. I didn't know I was part of Gen Z until somebody told me. That it was like 1997 till 2000 and whatever it is now. Honestly, I have no idea. And it's raining and I'm sad. Do you ever get bored of Minecraft? You'd be surprised actually. Not really. When I have my community to chat to and while I've got all these different projects to be working on, you don't get bored of it. It's honestly quite astounding. No, I have a good time playing Minecraft. So, you know. Apparently it's Gen Alpha. Hmm. Weird. I don't know if I vibe with that name. It feels like I'm going to have an entire generation barking at me. Be like, we are the Alphas. And then they start barking. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> that sounds horrible. Ew. I don't want that. What is the society are we coming to? God, I've been barred out by 12 year olds. Oh God, it's already happening. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh Christ. What a horrible, horrible realization. Great. Wonderful. Ugh.
I'm trying to find ways to just shave this out a bit more. Yo, thank you so much for all the, like, gifts, Ben. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And thank you for all the follows on TikTok as well. Lennox, Yusef, uh, Lubbud. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Either you're an I bark at people kid or you're an I wear cat ears kid. I was the cat ears kid. I feel like... I feel like there's more than just those two options. Because I'm pretty sure I didn't do either. Yo, kind of baby, how's it going? Welcome back. I was the owned a cat kid. I was the I wanted a dog, but my mom doesn't like dogs, so we never got a dog kid. I was the I wanted a pet so bad that I settled for a hamster. <laughs> and let me tell you, Nibbles was a little piece of shit. Didn't even spend an entire night before he started biting his way out of the goddamn cage. Literally chewed the cage open every single night. Actually the worst pet ever. Loved him. L little shit though. Little shit. I went, to, I went to an all boys school and we had neither barks or cats. It was just football to the face type of kid. I was once playing water polo and I was in goal and for whatever reason people decided that my face was the goal. So I think not once but twice I'd been pelted in the face with a wet ball in water polo. You look like a cool guy playing a cool game so I send gifts to help you out. You know what? That means a lot. Thank you so much, Ben. I appreciate that. And you're right. I am a very cool guy and I am playing a very cool game. So you're kind of on the money there. We also had Sting Ball. What's that? How does this look? This looks kind of weird. Maybe if I take this section away. Also, hey Shelly, how's it going? This has got to be better, right? This is going to make it look better. Hmm. I mean, I'm doing something. Making cliff faces is a weird thing that I've not done very much in Minecraft, so doing this as an overhang into a cove is really weird. Would I say that looks good? I would say it looks a little bit flat as a thing. I think I need to bring it in a bit more. People would line up against the wall and the other kids would hurl tennis balls at them and you had to kind of avoid it, otherwise it would sting when you got thwapped. Do you know what? That just sounds like dodgeball with extra pain. No, that just sounds like getting stoned, but with less pain. That's wild. Pet mice, and at the time I was sharing my room with my sister and my mice got out and crawled on her face. <laughs> oh, God. See what? I'm sure that was very traumatic and I feel really bad for laughing, but honestly, kind of funny. Woo! Yo, Shade on Twitch! Just because I want to drop a follow real quick, but I will be YouTube regular. You know what? That's totally fair, but thank you so much. You got a 1 in 10 follow alert as well. Dust further proving how cool you are. Oh no, the lag. Oh god. Oh, I figured out the keybind is B! Wait, hold on. Hold on. Use mouse cursor or tab button to select element. Oh no, element. oh no, oh no, I fucked it all Use up. Use mouse cursor, narrate, narrate, narrator, off. Okay, I figured out the pro- Okay. Let me unbind B. So that way, whenever I accidentally do the thing... Okay, I'm figuring stuff out. There we go. Get rid of you. 
Not narrator. I know. Honestly. Yeah. It was only a few years ago. She was 21, so it's fine. But Crash Bandicoot, my mouse could have died. Oh, you named your mouse Crash Bandicoot. I love that so much. Wasn't Crash Bandicoot more of a fox? Or was Cra Wait, was he a Tasmanian devil? I feel like that was one of those, like, niche things to know. It's like, what species is Crash Bandicoot? Wait, isn't an actual bandicoot a thing? Was he not just a bandicoot? Am I am I just overcomplicating this? Maybe. Yeah, okay, but a bandicoot is an actual thing. See, that's one of those things. I'm like, is a bandicoot a real thing or was it just a, the name? Fuck is a bandicoot? So look, if you look up Crash Bandicoot, that's a bandicoot. <laughs> Glad I could help. Okay, yeah, adding in this extra depth is going to make it look a lot better. Much better. One of our gerbils gave birth, we were told... Wait. One of our gerbils gave birth, we were told they were both girls, they weren't, and then the mother ate the baby. Okay, so... Sometimes, when you're typing something out into chat, you can reread it, and then decide that maybe saying this is not a good idea. <laughs> I would say gerbil matricide is probably off the table. <laughs> oh no, that would have been the other way around if the kids ate the mum. You know what? As if it really matters at that point. As if the name for the type of murder is any- as if it makes any difference whatsoever. By the way, I just read that Dora the Explorer has been 24 years ago. I- I've seen like, um, I think it's Robot Chicken. That does like all the stop motion stuff, or at least stop motion style stuff. And they did one for Dora the Explorer, who's like, of like, who- when she was like a teenager and stuff. And it was really, really jarring. Because she was just such a little shit. Granted, it's like a... It's robot chicken, so we're talking like... Adult... Um... Like, adult humor anyway. But even still, I was like, this little... F this little bitch. She sucks. I can't remember specifically, like... What it was that made her so terrible. But it's Robot Chicken, so you could probably take a guess. Oh no, I love Robot Chicken as well. I came to love them watching like the Star Wars stuff that they did. Star Wars Robot Robot Chicken, amazing. Hi Kelly, how's it going? And Jason, thank you for the heart me, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you for the gifts so early on TikTok. I really appreciate it, you guys. You guys are awesome. Also, it's occurred to me that if I keep doing these streams and keep doing well on said streams, it's very possible that we could hit 20,000 followers on TikTok. Possibly this month? We're about mm, just under 300 followers away. And that would be insane. That'd be insanely cool. Garrett, thank you so much for the follow. How does this look from afar? You know what? It does look better. It's getting there. I'll crash Bandicoot the game. I always thought it was really difficult. For some reason, I always thought it was a really difficult game. I don't remember a lot of games where I really, really vibed with them. And Crash Bandicoot was one of those games that I just, I couldn't find myself enjoying. I don't know why. What are you doing today? Oh, we're doing some more terraforming. I'm probably going to go back and do some more leprechaun shenanigans later. Warning for future chat. Don't oh. mention a gerbil eat gerbil world. <laughs> because if there's one thing to get that point across, it's putting it in TTS. <laughs> Granted, I don't think there's going to be many people that talks about... You know what the Crash Bandicoot reminds me of? The... What? The war meme. Oh. You know, I can't picture it. Unless it's the cat in 7TV. Then I can picture it, because it's there. What should I put on my world? You have inspired me to play Minecraft. 
You know what? This is going to sound dumb. I honestly don't see a lot of people building castles. Everyone's trying to be so different. And so I don't see a lot of people just building regular castles with their own personality injected into it. So if you want to build your own damn castle, do that. Hell yeah. Castle moment. Uh, wait, what was that? Ah, bed down with the tiny tiny. Honestly, love saying that. Tiny tiny. Good shit. Good name. Good gift. Thank you. <laughs> so, okay, well, yeah, let's go. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. So for those of you that don't know, tomorrow I'm going to be doing an extra stream. And it's going to be, it's not going to be Minecraft. I'm going to do like a three hour just chatting stream, but it's just going to be me like playing some random thing. It's going to be a weird one. I'm not sure how it's going to go. I'd like to see how it, I'd like to see how it does, frankly. Yo, hold on. Should take Bikini Bottom and push it somewhere else. We're getting raided. Hi on the daily! Thank you so much for the raid, my dude. How are you doing? Welcome on in, Raiders. If you're joining for the first time, hi, my name is Nukri. I'm a streamer from Scotland. We're currently working on my long-term hardcore world where we're doing some terraforming around Big Wheat, which is my backdrop to my mega base. Yeah? Because for whatever reason, that's the route I've decided to take with us. But it'll be at a good stream. Did not have you singing Spongebob theme in my 2024 bingo card. So I have a raid message on Twitch where anybody over, like, anybody that raids over five viewers um, gets, like, a little custom video playing for them. I need to actually make some extra variations of it. But it took so much effort that it's just one of those things that I'm not doing because of how much effort it takes to do. Start Minecraft Realm as well. Oh, awesome. I hope that that's going well. Yeah, this is a single player world, so it's not a realm. It is just my single player world. But I hope that your realm is going well, and I hope that whatever friends you have joining it is enjoying it too. Right, let's do that. You know what? I was left alone by myself in the house today, which is not something that happens very often. And to that effect, Kelly, Whenever I'm left alone in the house and I have time, I will belt out some songs. Like this morning, I I was obsessed with um somebody that I used to know by Got Ye, the guy that released that banger and then dropped off the face of the earth. Um, what else? I sang a couple of the Frozen Two soundtracks, but I d I sang the Panic at the Disco version of Into the Unknown. And then show yourself. That was me. Did you know raids on YouTube are a thing? They're what? I don't know YouTube. I don't know YouTube. <laughs> Is now something? Yeah. And then I sang Alive by Sia. Favorite shower song? Oh, that's a good question. Do you like a bit of Whitney? Nuke, guess oh. what? I was so aggressive. Just got coconut meld. Du, 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 du. <laughs> Did you build all in survival? I built all of this in hardcore. This is all hardcore. Had it for two and a half years. So. Let me go get some glow berries. Let me get some acacia wood. Let me carry on the trend around the bottom. Cool. Banger, right? Hey. Right. Park ourselves down there. Do this, do this. Uh, Jim Strong Ben, thank you so much for the follow. Oh, I never thanked Black Shadows for the follow as well. Thank you so much. We love Whitney as well. You have to. Oh yeah, no, of course. You gotta have the power songs when you're singing in the shower. Another one that I end up jamming out to a lot is either Louis Capaldi or Adele. I really like the really high effort songs. I'm the YouTube facts guy for Nuke. Honestly, yeah. 
Because for some reason, I just don't do the research myself. I really should. But then I don't. <laughs> so, eh. Woo! <gasps> One in ten. <laughs> We're getting some rare follow alerts coming through today. We love to see it. Uh, Azanax, thanks so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Hope you're having a good day. Oh, that's going to bother me. Give me some dirt. Want to know a very dangerous way to fight back? No. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to know dangerous stuff to do. Wait, fight back against what? What are you talking about? Am I confusion? I might be confusion. Oh well. Grant. Confusion is like 80% of my personality. So I'm tempted to unfollow so I can see what alert I am. No, don't. You would ruin your followage in that case, and you've been following me for too long, Audi. You can't do that to yourself. You are an honorary toothless follow. Facts here and there when I do research, but yeah, it's cool. You can just redirect people to either a premiere or another YouTube live. That's really cool. I'll need to figure out how to do that then. Or at least I'll need to figure out how to do it as efficiently as possible. And if I need to do that before I do my YouTube raid or what. Because honestly, it might not always be worth doing a YouTube raid. Especially if I don't know anyone that's also streaming on YouTube. So we'll see. It's broken again? What's broken again? If it's not, if it's broken once, it will, it will just constantly be broken. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can really do about it. Roll me if I unfollow. I Here's the thing, guys. I just don't think you guys should unfollow to just see what your follower alert is. I just, eh. If you're fine with losing your followage, then fine, do it. But like, I... I don't think it's worth it for you to most likely get a... Uh, you know, it just... I think you guys are putting too much value on the follow alerts in that sense. Yeah, when you've... I want to see Toothless dance. There would be a 2% chance of that being the case. The best way to see that is for when it to come up... Like, for when somebody follows and it comes up naturally. Not for you to... Try and artificially get it by unfollowing and refollowing. I don't want to advocate for that. And besides, when we're coming up for twenty thousand followers on Twitch, I don't want to. I don't want to be losing a single one of you guys. You're all awesome, even if it's temporary. I don't be doing that. That's be a stream. It can be a premiere of a video. So yeah, lots of people premiere videos. Oh, I see. Not bad actually. Not a bad idea. That's something I'll have to think about. I'll add that on my list of things to do. Did you read my last message? I'm sorry, I must have missed it. Can you just resend it? If I do miss messages, please just resend them. I do try and react to as many messages as I can. And if I'm ten if I tend to ignore them, usually it's TikTok messages, and it's usually because they're trying to troll me. And I've kind of taken this whole stance of just not responding to them. So yeah. <laughs> There was somebody in earlier that was like, you pander to children, and I'm like... <laughs> I was just kind of looking at it like this. So, you know, just ignored it. And now they're gone. And now my life is better. Also, Paul, thank you for the follow on TikTok. Much appreciated. Feels like there's something wrong with that. Yo! Thank you for the five bits, Bats. Oh, I really need a I really need to get a counter for that. Because that's happened like three times. Somebody was telling me yesterday, I was like, you need to get a counter with how many times people say that to you. I'm like, eh, I know. Doing research to YouTube just to tell Nuke, because Nuke's literally the only one I actively watch. Oh, Shade, that's so sweet. Thank you so much. 
I love that. Thank you. Also, Cody, thank you so much for the follow on TikTok. I appreciate it. All right, let me go bed. Go bed, go home. Oh, dear, are you on your computer right now? I know it's a Monday, so you might be working today. But I have to ask. Just because I have an idea. I'm putting 50 on there when you start this out. Honestly. <laughs> Office laptop. Does that mean you can go on stream elements and that make a command or or a counter or no? What was the question? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what the question was. Question that I asked or a question that I was being asked? I'll bring a YouTube live stream with 101. Oh. <laughs> you know what? Fair play. That would be funny. Also, it's Kaya. How are you doing? Welcome on in. Good morning. Oh, it is the morning as well. I say that like I don't start at 10 a.m. I'm like, what time is it really? And, okay. Oh, wait. I have a couple thought. I have a couple followers to thank. So, Itachi, thank you so much for the follow. And Dankest Duck, thank you for the follow. Amazing name. Love that one. I just imagine, I, you know what's funny about that one is I'm not imagining the most dank duck. I'm imagining the second most dank duck being annoyed as hell about the first one. <laughs> Maybe you're used to other people's time zones. To be fair, I usually have people come in and just say hi. I don't usually have somebody give a time zone or like give a, a time based greeting. Does that make sense? People are just like, hi, and I'm like, hi. All right. Hey, how does this look? So this looks okay. It's around, okay, no, it's around here I need to fix. I need to fix around here. Around here is where I need to fix. And where I need to fix is around here. Are you ever gonna play mini games on server with your friends again? What do you mean? Yeah. I do the collaborative streams where I have people join me on Hardcore every Friday. You started at about 8.30 p.m. for me, if you care. And... What makes you think I care? <laughs> I'm sorry, that was mean. No, I think time zones are really cool. I just hate it. I hate time zones. Same time zone, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm in the UK. Send to me what command you want. Um, if you have... I don't have it on me. You would have to be making it yourself. But if you have access to stream elements and you can go into the counters, it's the same one that we would have as um, Totem Ad and the Totem. I'm in Ireland. Yeah, that's the same time zone. Yo, Jazz Hands. How's it going? Wait, hold on. Do I need to say hi to you like this? Hi! Jazz Hands. Okay. I, 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 my brain's kind of not working yet. I feel like I'm in a perpetual state of saying that, though. Woo! Yay! My god, we're getting a lot of rare follows today. We love to see it. That's a 1 in 10 for any of those that don't know. We have a 1 in 50, but we've not seen that yet today. Can I see the leprechaun? Yeah, I'll show, I'll fly over and show you the leprechaun. Jay, thank you so much for the follow as well. Did I thank the Rook of Chess for the follow? Thank you so much. I just got excited about the amount. I still have more work to do on the leprechaun, but this is this is how he looks so far. I didn't end up getting to do more work on him yesterday. I don't know those ones. Don't worry about it then. We'll sort it out another time. He looks fab, but he looks like he's very he looks like he's poor. He looks like he couldn't afford a real hat. Where am I going? Over here. Little guy can't afford a real hat, so he has to use a block on his top of his head. 
What was it again? It's just, if you make one, that's like, how many times have I been called Tommy? How many times have I been compared to Tommy in it? Like that. If not, you if you don't know how to do that, then you can just put it in the discard. Because I'm pretty sure Goose has made the totem one. You can just say, if somebody knows how to do this, can they help out? Because I don't know. All I have is the baselines. Being here, you're around. Yeah, that's crazy. I still remember you because of your cool ass name, though. So I hope you've been good. I hope that the year's been nice for you. And I hope that you're going to stick around for a lot longer this time. I wanted to worry. Thank you so much, Audie. I appreciate that a ton. We accept wonky hat leprechauns in this stream. Just because we accept them doesn't mean we have to tolerate them. Well, that sounds really, really problematic. <laughs> Ain't no leprechaun of mine gonna have a wonky hat. <laughs> Oh god, I'm very I'm verging very into really, really bad territory here. I'm gonna stop before it gets too bad. <laughs> Tracy, here's the thing. I don't honestly know if it will register the follow since you're unfollowing and refollowing. I do not think printing a book is this expensive. Wait, you're like printing a book? As a book. You sounded so bad. I know, I'm so sorry, you guys. Alfie, thank you for the follow. We're gonna move swiftly on from that, though. How's the cliff face looking? Oh. Okay. Mike Wazowski. Okay, uh... Parkour? Ooh. Why does doing this help? I'm just making random garbage here. It's okay, my friend. Got it, so I kind of have honorary... Yeah! Like I said, if you were here before you, before I introduced it, you kind of have the honorary rare falls because you're here to see literally every single one that comes by anyway. Honorary rare follow is better than rare follow. You guys were still here when we had the 1 in 100 follows. Which are now 1 in 10. Which is quite the change. So, yeah. Are you kidding? I can't believe you're- that's- I- I don't know how to describe that. The fact that you're printing that is crazy. I thought it was gonna be like an actual book that already exists. <laughs> please don't go- please don't spend too much money doing something like that though. Mum pick me up, I'm scared. Listen, I'm just building a little quirky little cliff. What do you mean? Parkour! Oh, that was good. Alright. See, this cliff looks a lot better now. Not because it has any more shape, but because it does have more shape. What? What am I saying? This cliff looks better because I dug more into it. Customization is cool though. I'll, I'll accept it. I just, I'm, I'm, yeah. I just feel a little bad that people spend that much money on me. You know what? If, if it's gonna help me out a ton as well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain. Do you have any tips for building? Uh, practicing creative first and trial by error. Don't be afraid to tear everything down or start again if you think it looks bad. Building is a skill as much as anything else and you can learn by practicing. Awesome, thank you, Audi. Is there a command to add to that as well? The comparison is probably like... Totem add, I think. Look at it as a birthday present. Yeah, fair enough. 
You are Scottish? I am Scottish. Scottish is me. I am the Scottish miss. Yes, yeah, Scottish miss? Welcome, Merry Scottish miss. <laughs> I'm working on it. If you go into Stream Alerts and you see the counters thing, there is just the... The Totem Ad one. That's as much info as I can get with that. Builds are awesome, by the way. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, Jay. Thank you. Once again, I say English is hard. Hard as Eng... Yep. It sure is. Just... Add some rocks. Oh, God, yeah. We're slowly but surely tearing down this entire biome. I think it's looking really good. What's the current project? We're working on terraforming around this island here. So we're going to be bringing us all around. This is going to come down. We're going to do a lot over here as well. I am loving this project. It's so much fun for me. Yeah. So this is the, this is the general project right now. Okay. I'm hearing a lot of villagers. Looks really cool. It's a long project. It's going to take a while. Had to take my car to the garage because she was growling at me, so no gifts for you today, I'm afraid. That's okay, Kelly. Do not worry about it for a second. The most valuable thing you can give me is your time. Do not worry about not being able to get do any gifts or anything like that. Because, again, the most valuable thing you can do is just watch and enjoy the stream. Gets my name out there a little bit more, you know? Soon I'm going to have, what's his name? Ryan Gosling singing I'm Just Ken at me. Can't wait. I'm just Ken. Everywhere else I'd be a 10. <laughs> Make him immortal. I am immortal. Oh, on, t on Valorant. I did get up to... We did... The Me and Cam were playing yesterday, so I did get up to Silver 3. I'm on my D rank because we lost the next game. But I'm at least on Silver 3 now. So I'm back up to like where my peak is. So now it's just a case of playing more and going beyond that. Oh dear, the singing has started. I am not a bad singer. However, I am slightly a relentless singer. I just got compared to basic white boy streamer again. <laughs> That's really funny. Good message. I will say, I do not have any issues with Tommy in it or Tom in it as himself. It's just the comparison all the time. But that's a, that's a good message, Audi. I like that. We could we could change it so that it's um not just Tommy. We could change it so that like the thing is uh, Nook has been compared to other creators. Kelly, you're the goat for that. here how did you make the custom totem like that so this was a website that i used it was um it's no longer working which is really annoying but i basically put my skin into this website and it chucked out the custom totem texture i do want to actually go and check because it was a while back that it was a thing i want to check if it's what like if it's back to possibly working I have a feeling it's not, but I want to try anyway. Unless I got rid of it. Did I get rid of it? Where is it? Bruh, what? Where is it? Websites? Nope, that's not the right one. Oh no! It might be gone. It might be gone. Rip.
Dang. Oh well. Yeah. I didn't make the custom totem, I just got it off of a website that is apparently off the grid now, so... Womp womp. Also, uh, Harry, thank you so much for the follow, by the way, on TikTok. I appreciate that a ton. Do 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 do. What am I doing? Oh, I know. Was my window open? No, that's just a really loud dog barking. <laughs> Give me a house design idea for a duo. Pinterest has a lot. If you look that kind of thing up on Pinterest, I'm sure that will have a ton. Unfortunately, I'm bad at coming up with ideas for other people. So I'm probably not the best person to ask about that. But I hope that when you do find a design that you like, that it will look really awesome. Sorry, I can't give you more help, though. All the way to the edge. We're going Ghibli-esque with this shit. Alright, let me get some seeds by... Doing this. <coughs> cool. That'll probably be enough. What day are you on in this world? I am on day 4,817. You go live when I'm in school. Skill issue! Sorry. Just drop out. I have such a healthy relationship with school. <laughs> for what it's worth, Kit, I... Well, well, for what it's worth, you're still here. Second of all, I am live for long enough where you can watch after school as well. Uh, Tuva Lilla, thank you so much for the follow. Sorry if I mispronounced your name at all. I dropped out and I'm fine. Hmm, don't know if I'd call you the benchmark. <laughs> I'm so sorry. If I if I have an opportunity to roast, I will do it. Going into college in like three months, so can't drop out. Fair enough. Well, you can at least give me your undivided attention when you are here. Skipping so to watch streams, best strat. Based! Based as hell! Take care of yourself in life unless that taking care is... <laughs> unless taking care of yourself means you're not going to make it to stream. If that's the case, stop taking care of yourself. Easy. <laughs> what a hell... What a healthy thing to say. Nick being dumb. What do you mean? Nick being dumb? Streamer is idiot? This is unprecedented. Dumb little streamer man? Not know what's going on? My god. That's crazy. Taking care of yourself is overrated. Based. So based. Don't brush your teeth. Don't get up until 3 p.m. Actually, no, that's a lie, because then you'll have missed half of the stream if you get up at 3 p.m. What other ways can you not take care of yourself? I feel like any other way I say to not take care of yourself is going to be a way that reflects more on me than it does, because most of the things I'm going to say are resulting in things like, don't go outside, don't touch grass, stream for seven hours a day, be called nuke. Wait a second. <laughs> It's gonna- it's just gonna get more and more personally attacking myself. <laughs> what did you just break the crops jumping back up? So, when you jump up, you're not landing on the crops, you're landing on the side. And even if, like, you've not got the height where you would break them. So jumping up a block to more crops is fine. Jumping down, I think even falling down is fine. 
Yeah, I think you can just fall on them. Oh no, there we go. We did, it didn't. What's your job? I do this for a living. I've been doing this quite comfortably for two and a half years now. And I love every second of it. I have a wonderful community behind me. Hey, Melody. Hey, Chloe. How's it going? Welcome on in. Don't shower. Wash your clothes. Based. Don't do those. <laughs> Some good advice? Yes. I only give good advice here. Subscribe to Nukery. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best advice. Uh-oh. Only look after other Oh god, that's that's so real as well. Only look after other people. Don't think of yourself. Ah oh, god. Is there a water source near? Not to here, no. I don't think we really need them here. I'm just doing this as like a, an extra bit at the side for the terraforming. I don't anticipate ever actually coming over and farming this. So once they're grown, that's going to be it. How old are you? I'm 25. Do you have a creeper farm? I do have a creeper farm. It's like a four quadrant creeper, creeper farm nearby to my starter base. And my God, it is so good. It is so damn effective. The dramatic music was really selling that as well, wasn't it? Oh, I guess there is some water sources nearby to some of it. I think once this is all done and we have like a full like... Ghibli ass looking farm. This is gonna be great. Don't drink water or we can. I, well, yeah, based. Do new updates apply to an old world? Yes, they do. They do. It won't change the entire generation, but when you then go to load new chunks, that's when you'll see those new updates coming in. Now, yeah, Linda, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Linda, you sound like a really, really cool HR person. That's based off of solely your name. Does anyone know what Aqua Affinity does in Minecraft? It allows you to mine faster underwater. How do you never die? Because I'm the best. I'm just saying, I'm just the best. Just the best at Minecraft. Best Minecraft player there's ever been. Not a single person can hold a torch to me. Who's that guy on 35,000 days? Nah, all of that was AFK. <laughs> I hope I never... I hope I'm never an HR person. You know what? Fair enough. Just based off the name alone and not you as a person, I... Like... Like, Linda sounds like the cool aunt. The one that goes to bat for you in HR. Not like the HR that's like, So you're fired, okay? Not that kind of... Not that kind of Linda. You sound like the cool Linda. Oh, and now I remember. <laughs> I got distracted there. What was I doing? I was looking for these. Remember a couple extra lanterns. Wee! <laughs> Thank you, Nick. You're very welcome. Am I doing this right? Yeah, it says all spruce. Thank God I got that right. Remember me? Uh, rings a bell, but honestly. Even when people are like, do you remember me? It's more of the question that I'm like, now I wish I didn't. That looks sick. Thank you so much. We're going for a very Studio Ghibli kind of backdrop here, which I'm really excited about. Uh, inboard plays. Thank you so much for the follow on Twitch. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. For those of you watching on any other platforms, we do have rare follow alerts on Twitch as well. So if you want to get one of those, then, you know, pop on over. 
We're actually about to hit 20,000 followers soon as well with how things are going, which is really, really exciting. Oh dear. Hold on, I think I need to... Uh, Alicia and Big Bob, thank you so much for the follows, I appreciate it. I need to quickly sort something out with my stream deck. Where is it? Because I want to set it up so that I can do the... I believe. There we go. Collect all armor trims if you hit 20k. I've got half of them already. I didn't realize this already. I've got half of the armor trims. Which is really, really cool. Where is it? Okay. Be back in just a second. We're fixing this. All is well. Things are going well. Problem solved. Okay, cool. Great. Where are you from? I'm from Scotland. How are you, my guy? I'm doing really good. Thank you for asking. Then do it. We'll see. Like, I don't tend to do a ton to celebrate um, milestones. I'll usually just set off, like, fireworks or something. Uh, when I hit 10,000, which was also on this world, I made a little plaque, like a little 10, with a 10,000th follower on it, which was really, really cool. So I don't know what I'm going to do when we hit 20,000 followers. It's it's a very arbitrary number since, like, the numbers that count on Twitch aren't the follower numbers, but more so the average viewership. So, I'll, yeah, I'd be sooner celebrating, like, higher viewers than follower numbers, because a lot of the people that follow will very rarely come back. That's not to say that, you know, that's no indication as to my content or anything like that, because I, from the community that I have, I have a very wonderful community that likes me for me and my content. So if people decide to not come back, then that's totally fair for them. If they stick around to follow, then that means a lot as well, regardless of whether or not they come back. But my community is more about the community that is here. What day are you on? I am on day 4,817. If they're not watching, they will grow. They'll just grow slower. They just take longer. Like, um... You see, this one's already started growing. You can see a bunch of them have already started growing, actually. So, you know. When's your birthday? My, my birthday is on the 30th of June. Which is very exciting, because that's going to be the second day of TwitchCon this year. Jacob, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Is my mom. Really? Oh, that's really awesome. Uh, Noel and Master Yoda, thank you so much for the follows, you guys. I appreciate it a ton. Right, let's get some more seeds. We'll do it from this way. Narrator. No, 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 no I didn't. Okay. Off. Ugh. 
Sometimes you just get struck with the narr narrator and then everything falls to shit. <laughs> Fun fact, printing a book is 60 bucks. Jesus, dude! That's so much! <laughs> what the heck? Everybody start somewhere inboard. You got this. There's a free course on um, vidIQ you can do. I have an exam on Wednesday, I'm gonna cry my eyes out. Is that because that's one of the days that I'm live? That's probably why, right? <laughs> oh, the self-centeredness of myself is completely unparalleled. What a horrible, horrible person I am. I wonder if I say that enough that I'm actually going to start believing it. Because Shock Horror, not a terrible person. Which is hard to believe given that my main thing is Minecraft and uh, the state of Minecraft <laughs> YouTube recently is... Oh, Yikes. The ego you have is crazy. It comes from a lot of years of being um, pushed to the side and not acknowledged, so I kind of had to make my own confidence. And I will say, streaming helped a ton! Psychologically, if you can take confidence, it will boost your confidence. And that's why I do it! Because God knows I need more of it. It's crazy how I can be so self-deprecating and yet so confident in myself at the same time. It's really, really a weird fine line to be treading. So real for that? Which part? <laughs> You're gonna have to be more specific with that. When I was in uni, pretty much everything I would say would have somebody looking at me and going, retweet. And I was like, yep. <laughs> I don't remember what you said. Retweet. <laughs> we go. This music is unnecessarily intense for planting wheat. Longest build? Probably this one. This one has been done over months. Actually, no, that's a lie. My longest build was my biodome, which I spent over seven months, like a seven month time period. It didn't do it. It didn't take me seven months to build. It was just built over a seven month period. Um, it's got 137,469 glass blocks in it. A, a diameter of 320 blocks. It's a big dome. I have it on my world tour video on YouTube, and I'll be doing another world tour at 5,000 days. So if you want to stay up to date for that, you can go and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Where's Kate Middleton at then? Here's the thing. I saw this tweet that I fully believe. Um, they're going to bring her out and she's going to be totally fine. And then they're going to cut her down the middle and reveal that she is, in fact, Cake Middleton. Ooh! <laughs> Well, I know, right? Crazy! Cake Middleton, everybody. No, but that can't be, like, true, not gonna lie. No, it probably isn't. EastEnders theme starts playing. Real. Why are there people in my classroom? Are they being taught a class? Because that could be why. Turn up the volume, I'll yell at them. <laughs> no, I'm in my class. Turn up the volume, I'll yell at your class. 
Easy. I have headphones on. That's an easy fix. It's called taking them out. I just wanna I just wanna promote myself again. Hey class! Did you guys know that with Twitch <laughs> Twitch Prime uses can subs Oh my god, I fucked that up so fast. Hey class, did you guys know that learning is for suckers? Drop out and watch Nook Nookery on stream instead. Wow, I really butchered that one big time, didn't I? Wow. And now there's a tiny little me walking across the screen. Love it. Love every part of this. I'm so dead. S same, but only on the inside. <laughs> Iconic, I can't lie. <laughs> yeah. I trip over my own words way too much. Probably a combination of being caffeinated and gay. Also the inside, but I can't breathe right now. Have you ever considered, and this might be a hot take, have you ever considered going to the doctors? Help, breathe right now. Go to the doctor, stop typing in chat. <laughs> Your priorities are not straight right now. Can't relate. <laughs> Audie, if anything, you were the trailblazer of caffeinated and gay. I don't know what you're talking about, can't relate. Because that's a load of bullshit. Yes, there are you. <laughs> okay. Oh, rude. Okay. We're getting there with all this crap. By the way, I still get uni benefits, which is funny as hell, because my student card from when I dropped out is never... Oh, yeah, my, my student card only just ran out this year. Because what you do is you get it renewed in your last year, and then you have the student benefits for the next few years. So yeah. Life hack! Hey Rex Stalin, how's it going? Welcome on in. Do 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 Bum, bum. Let me put you here. Your farm is amazing. Thank you so much. It's a big ass Ghibli farm. I, just, I always love telling people this. This is not even a single part of my base. This is like th the intent behind this entire thing is to be the backdrop to this base. Do you play with mods also? I do have some um, quality of life mods that help me out. Um, so I've got things like Zoomify where I can zoom in and like, hey, look at that singular block right there. My, It's a very powerful zoom. But if I move my mouse even remotely, it would be like, Bew! and then suddenly I'm off into the sky. Um, I've got some other stuff on as well. So like I've got Wakes, which is a mod that basically adds more physics to the water. Not physics, but more aesthetic to the water. Is it all in survival? It's all in hardcore. So if I throw some water, like carrots, you can see a little splash, which is very cute. Honestly, I think that's something that needs to be in base Minecraft because it's, oh, it's amazing. I love it. Hey, Carby, how's it going? I do need to make a mod list for people curious about it. Because I do get asked a lot what mods I use, but none of them add anything extra to the game that would impact a, re a vanilla experience. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm still playing in vanilla. Just with some quality of life additions or changes. Yeah. How do you keep motivation to build like this? Even when I have buildings and ideas I really like, I lose motivation so much because I have different projects. 
when you lose motivation for something, it's usually, for me at the very least, it's usually because I find something else that I want to be doing as well, or instead of at the time. So what I tend to do is I will almost put that project on hold and come back to it when I have a renewed sense of motivation or inspiration for it. And that's the case with notably two projects in my world. So my Amethyst Kingdom and my Steampunk... No, my Amethyst Kingdom and my Biodome project. Those are the two that I've had the longest and not done anything with for the longest. Just simply because I don't have the motivation to. Um, although when the new update comes out with the new tough blocks and the copper blocks, I am going to be very excited to get back into the Amethyst Kingdom because of the fact that there's going to be new blocks that I can use to add more variety to the entire kingdom that I'm building. And I think what I'm going to try doing as well is taking a page from um, Smallish Beans, Joel's book, and almost hyper fixating on or hyper focusing on the details in a build because the way that he does his builds is in a way that's so detailed that it in such a small space like you, if you watch his hermitcraft series you can see it immediately in such a small space that he's done with his cyberpunk build so far it's it's incredible He is one of the most talented builders I've ever watched. On par with people like B00, who is another one of the best builders I've ever seen. You know Smallish Beans? Yeah, I know Smallish Beans. I don't know him personally. I don't know Joel personally. But I watch his content. I'm just a fan, just like the rest of you guys. How is that? Oh, your farm is wet. I don't see water spots. So wherever you see a slab, fence, and lantern, those are top slabs that have been waterlogged. And that's how. It's, a, it's, just, an, it's just a way to hide the water. Not necessarily because I need to hide the water, but just because, you know... It's nice to have it all lit up. Nook, nook, Benja, Benja. What's up? Oh, no. Oh, okay. That was that could have been bad. Hold on. Let me move you away, actually. I can't wait for the next Empire series. Is there going to be another one? I had it in my head that there wasn't going to be another one. Because of the time that it would take now that Joel is on Hermitcraft as well. I don't see him committing to Empires again. Um, I don't think there's going to be another Empires. I might be wrong with that. But if there is, I don't think it will be for a while. With all the other projects that the like the members of Empires would have on. The game is so much better whenever there's not shaders and people make pretty builds. Thank you! I can't tell if that's targeted at me or not. Here's the thing. I love shaders. I will use shaders every so often to have a wee look at builds, but to be fair, I don't use them on my stream because it does lag my camera. Because if I'm remembering right, I can turn into a potato. And so using that program, I, I, I lag out a little bit. Oh, this is gonna be so jarring for those of you that don't know that this was a thing. Hi. Hi. So, you know. I love shaders too, but some TikToks only build with shaders and it looks so basic sometimes. I will say, a lot of people who make content with building use shaders strategically to make their builds look a lot better. That doesn't mean that their builds look bad by any means, but it's one of those things that if you're scrolling down on like Instagram reels or something, it's something that is very apparent that people will make their builds look better using shaders. Because shaders do inherently look fucking awesome. Nope, not making that much bread. Thank you very much. I need, like, nine chocobars of this. Uh, put seeds in there. Now that that's done. Bro, 
Brilliant. So then that, when once that all grows, oh, that's going to look so good. Okay, amazing. I suppose I could just bone meal at all, but I don't know. Watching it grow is kind of fun. I'm not going to physically stand and watch it grow, by the way. Nook. Yes, shade. What's up? I love playing with shaders and it's so hard to go back to no shader. I totally agree. It's very difficult to go back to having no shaders, but I think the way that I do it is just by having a balance. Like, again, I kind of do something similar to Joel where I'll build it. I want to make sure that something looks good without shaders first, because I don't want to, I don't want to build a giant random wooden box only for it to look like garbage without shaders. If I build the fanciest ass wooden box with shaders on, it can look dope, but then I turn off shaders and it looks like a steaming pile of crap. I don't want to do that. I want it to look good without shaders first because that's how most people play. And then if I know it looks good without shaders, then it's bound to look good with shaders. So I do what I know is going to look good. Like, for example, hold on, hold on. Oh God, oh God, oh God. If I, I, I will say camera's going to lag for a minute here. I'm going to turn up my render distance and I'm going to turn on my shaders so you guys can see my little Studio Ghibli wheat field. This is complimentary reimagine. I'm going to add, I, the camera will lag. So just bear with me here. It looks amazing. I don't know if the camera is actually going to lag or not. It sometimes does, sometimes doesn't. But this just in itself, it looks so beautiful. I love it. I love it. So, yeah. I want that as my wallpaper on my computer. Here's the thing. I thought about making like prints of my um, hardcore world. But I don't know what the demand for that would be. Ow, bones. My Minecraft keeps crashing because of a mod called Bettercraft and I can't disable the mod because crashing. Yeah, just delete it from your mods folder. If you if you don't know how to access your mods folder, if you go onto your keyboard, you hold Windows and press R, you type in percent app data percent and go into the dot Minecraft folder, then there's the mods folder. I hope to God you wrote that down because I don't know if I'm going to be able to say it again. Hey, Deku, how's it going, my dude? What the... I heard something. Oh, it was these guys checking there. Okay. Type run into the search bar thingy. Don't one up me here. <laughs> actually, I think that I think the um, Windows and R is actually the shortcut to open up. No, I'm kidding. Don't don't worry. I'm messing with you. I think like Windows R is the shortcut to open up. Run. It is, so why would you make them do an extra step? Hate crime. <laughs> Just messing. What's the agenda today? We're mostly doing some terraforming. So I've already done all of this and we've been doing, in case I miss it, that's fair, that's fair. So we've been doing all of this and we've been adding in the wheat along the top as well so that we can start to see the entire terrain take on the thing. Did you see Wilbur called you out for a boxing match? Yeah, well, that wouldn't be very fair because he'd try and bite me. <laughs> Even if that was a real thing that happened. Uh, you all go there. What are you drinking? Coffee. Let's put the dirt away. Will you do it or just not your thing? Uh, no, I'm not going to box somebody that A, didn't actually call me out. And B, has no interest in me as a person. And C, shouldn't really be on the internet anyway. So, no. What are you streaming on? YouTube, Twitch, and TikTok? Yep, that's right. Duke's gonna need a safe word. Yeah, as if that would stop him, though. Asshole. <laughs> Kelly! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I have an idea. You can make the beacons as if they're broken magical flotation crystals and... <gasps> oh! Hold on. You can make the beacons as if they're broken magical flotation crystals and they took some of the land with them. Mm. Okay, so reading that back... I like the idea of using them in crystals. I don't think that it would work for making it look like magical, like taking the land with them. I don't think, I don't like that. I don't like that part of it. I do like the idea of adding in crystals with the beacons. Because I've got plenty of beacons. Granted, it does mean I'll probably need to tear apart Kevin Beacon again, but... What I could maybe do... I'm thinking here. I do like this idea, so I do want to try something out here. It does, however, mean I need lots of these. Perfect. I grab these as well. Nope, the wall's there. What switches you have on your keyboard? What switches? Most of the normal... I don't know what switches you mean. I, I don't know what you mean when you say switches. I've got all the regular keys on a keyboard. Hope that helps. <laughs> it probably does not. Okay. So I need a couple more stairs as well. So what I'm going to try and do here... Is I'm going to make the beacons at the back. But they come out of the windmills. I brought my fingerprints off one of my fingers. Well, now, if you commit any crimes, just make sure to do it with that one single finger. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> what keyboard do you have? I have a Republic of Gamers keyboard. I... Oh, God, I don't know. Is it below the stream chat? If anybody's on Twitch, can you see below the stream if I have a, if I have my keyboard listed down there? Because I don't remember shit. Uh, Chops, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. So if I, if I'm thinking of this right, what this was going to allow me to do is shine a beacon through here because I believe that the walls count as um, transparent blocks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fly back and hope that I can do this. Do you have any quests for the YouTube 101 book? Honestly, I if I had any idea of what I would ask for for 101 book, I would. I would ask, but I unfortunately don't know. Uh, Rex Tyler, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. That's um, yeah, I do hope that you are. I hope that your finger feels better, although it's smoother than a baby's head. You know what? I will. I am happy that you are saying smoother than a baby's head, as opposed to smoother than a baby's bottom, because that's a weird ass. That's a weird ass thing for people to say. Like, eh. Like, how would you know? Creep. Just follow tonight for the follow, Max. I appreciate it. How many hours on this world? Time to check. Time played. 58.95 days. We'll just call that 59 days. 59 times 24. 1,416 hours. Okay, I need my beacon stuff. I mean, over two and a half years. <laughs> you would get that much time. Taking middle beacon. Oh, okay. I thought you know life. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Both things can be true. All right, let's go up here. Right, first things first, is this going to actually work? No. Is it? Hold on. Because of this block here.
No. Damn it! I was really hoping that would work. I'm kind of set on doing this now, though, is the thing. So, how can I make this work? I need ideas, chat. How can I make this so that the prismarine walls can not... I thought I could have sworn. Oh my god, I'm an idiot! I need to actually put them on a... I'm a... Yeah, I'm a dumbass. <laughs> they need to actually go on a... A platform first. This might still work. I might just be a dumbass. Listen, I'm not claiming to have the biggest brain. Maybe like second biggest. What's your favorite block? Um, you know what? I always I made this joke yesterday. The longer the not, yeah, the longer the block name, the better it is. Oh, <gasps> it does work. Hold on. I'm free camming it out of here. Oh, that is amazing. Hold on. This is great. It does work. Okay, so I need a 9x9. Nine nine. So, what is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. Hey, Rob, how's it going? So, yeah, whenever somebody asks me what my favorite block is, now I kind of want to tell them, like, the longest block name. Which I think right now is Waxed Oxidized Cut Copper Stairs. I think that is the longest block name in Minecraft right now. I like it. It's good, isn't it? Oh, we got another one. There we go. <laughs> I have a button on my stream deck that does it now. Jess, I made a counter on um, Twitch. It happens. Three, four, seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three, four, oh, five, six, seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Awesome. Go. Oh, wax dang it. lightly weathered cut copper stairs is indeed the longest name. Oh, wax, wax lightly, lightly weathered, weathered cut mm. copper stairs. Yeah, wax lightly weathered cut copper stairs. I just thought it was oxidized, but I forgot about lightly weathered. Sorry about the lightly weathered erasure chat. <laughs> so this is going to... Oh, I'm out. I'm, I'm going to end up actually having to use iron blocks soon, which is easy for me because I actually have the iron farm now. Hey Echo, how's it going? I didn't see it when I was earlier. Yeah, no, I have. We did get it set up fairly later in the stream. Big thanks to Audi for setting up that uh, counter on Twitch. But yeah, I believe it is something we have now. I say I believe it's something we have now when I'm the one using it. So yeah, I, it is something we have now. You go. Eh. Put you there, put you there, and then what we'll do is we'll do this because I want the I want the beams to reflect the same color that's on the front sail. Did you know that you're popular enough so AI knows who you are? What? No, I didn't know that. I'm what now? Oh my god, but who's the genie guy? Am I recognized by the genie? What's the guy? I don't know what the guy's called. Am I going full beacon yet? Yes, I do. We'll do 
Do I do anything other? What do I do in this one? Akinator, that's it. Came over from spamming your TikTok likes. Oh god, yeah, we're at 4,600 likes now. Awesome. Am I recognized by Akinator? Do I just want to have... I'm trying to think of whether or not I have, like, different ones for each of them, or if I just go for one over the entire thing. I, you know what, I'll start with extra speed. It's actual chat GPT, like, AI knows who you are. Oh, I love that! That's so cool! What are they say? What's, what's AI saying about me? What is AI's opinion on me? We'll go with haste. To start with. But if I can... Oh, if I can do this for all of them, that's going to be so amazing, though. Because... Oh... Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, Thomas, thank you so much for the follow, by the way. I appreciate it. I was on TikTok. Reminder for those of you on different platforms that we do have multiple follow alerts on Twitch, including a rare 1 in 50%, a rare 1 in 50 chance follow alert, which is very, very cool. I swear, every time we get it, everyone gets so hyped about it as well. Put it in Discord if you'd like. By all means, yeah, sure. Oh, where'd I put, oh no, where's, where's my capitalism box? I left it in here. Reese, thank you so much for the follow, by the way. I appreciate it. There we go. Okay. <laughs> capitalism. Yippee! Yeah, it's my capitalism box. I really should decorate some of these places more. It's fine. Right, let's go get some more iron. Oh no. Obama bald head SpongeBob Patrick Squidward Netflix Top Gun Home Game Football American Football Rugby Monopoly Money You Know Cards. Cap what? Capitalism? It's in oh, okay. What does it say? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Do you know who the streamer Nook Nookery? Yes, I do. Here's what I know about Nook Nookery. Content focus. Nook Nookery is a Minecraft streamer and content creator known for impressive and creative builds using mods like Chisel and Bits. That's because of one of my viral TikToks where I built the, um, the Acropolis using it. Platforms. You can find Nook Nookery primarily on Twitch and TikTok. Uh, I, yeah. Uh, they have, they likely have a presence on other platforms like YouTube as well. Community. Nook Nookery seems to have a supportive and engaged community that enjoys their building skills and Minecraft content. They are also known for advocating for LGBTQ plus issues. Hell yes. Base as fuck. I love that. That's so cool. Uh, Loverboy, thank you so much for the follow, by the way. I really appreciate it. That's so cool. I'm AI registered. Awesome. That's, mm. is that a, is that a flex? I feel powerful now, but I don't know if I should. Who else here is skilled today? Lots of people in my community have uh, skilled today. The difference is they're cool enough to ignore it. <laughs> okay. Popular enough so AI knows who you are. I know! That's so awesome! That's like so- that's so weird and surreal to me. Okay, warped fences somebody suggested for this other one. So I will try this. I'll do it in like one section because this was one of the ones that I made off center by- like I made it a bit too big when building it. So I have this to deal with.
That way you can still preserve some of what's there. Visually speaking, because, yeah, Dark Prismarine is not an easy block to replicate when you don't have the walls version of them. Ooh. Shoot, hold on. Honestly, I don't... Do I care that much about the beacon stuff? The middle block is, like, here. So then this would need to go. Okay. And I forgot to bring a beacon over. And now I don't have any inventory space. So things are all coming up Millhouse. Uh, we'll stick you in here. Screw it, why not? You can go in there. Let me go get another beacon. That's so cool, though. I'm sorry. I'm, like, obsessed with that. I'm AI registered. Oh, awesome. Because it's one of the... Like, being a content creator is one of those things where you're constantly comparing yourself to other people and constantly thinking you're, like, not good. But to see something like that, not necessarily validate me, but to at least acknowledge who I am and knows the content and what I stand for. It feels good. I, I Like, it feels nice. There we go. So how does that look? Oh, it kind of goes... It kind of goes through the fences. So I don't know if I love that. What I will do is I'll put speed in there, though. Doesn't know much about you, but it knows those key facts that Lisa are right. Yeah, you should believe in yourself. Oh, I believe in myself. I'm just very well aware of the fact that I am always and constantly being compared to everybody around me as a content creator. That's just something that happens. That fully is just something that happens. And it's hard not to compare yourself at certain points as well when you're being passed over for opportunities that you see other people getting asked for that not necessarily I think it would be better for, but like when you're aware it comes down to numbers. That's the thing. Can I see a tour of your world somewhere? Yeah, I have one on my YouTube channel at 3,000 days. We're currently at 4,820 days, so I will be doing another one at 5,000 days. So if you subscribe and turn on the notifications, you can get a, you can get a notification when I'm doing that as well. What color is the sail over there? Hold on. That one is orange? No, it's yellow. Watch your YouTube. It should be linked in my bio. Um, otherwise, it's just nookery. Same as, same as here, but without the live part. There we go. Two more Prismarine and one more. Ah, one more. Dark Prismarine. Hmm. Okay. I don't like the Dark Prismarine. At least not for what I'm trying to do here. Let's put this water bucket away. We'll hold on to that. We'll get two more of you and we'll bring over... What are you building right now? Right now, I've kind of gone a bit sidetracked from doing the tower farming that we were going to be doing. And we are adding in a bunch of beacons to the tops of all of my windmills. So I'm going to get two more for the back two. What's happening with the early streams? As in, what am I doing right now or why am I doing the early streams? Because I've been doing the early streams for a couple weeks now. I like being live for longer. Akinator didn't know who you were. No! I know I'm not recognized by famous birthdays. <laughs> Which, honestly, quite offended. Not really. I don't care. Been busy a couple of weeks. Ah, oh, fair enough. I've just been doing... Yeah, I just like doing these early streams because I have a lot more energy. And because, frankly, they do better.
I put it now so I could try again and see if it knows you now. You can try, yeah. By all means. We also learned today, Dyer, that uh, AI knows who I am. I'm on AI's register. <laughs> also, Ira and Cash on TikTok. Thank you guys so much for the follows. How do you find God apples? I've loaded so many ancient cities and stuff not found. Um, they spawn in various different... Um, what are they called? Structures in Minecraft. So it doesn't just have to be ancient cities. You find them sometimes in... Ruin nether portals. That's one you can find them in. And that's pretty good. Can I make a four tall one here actually? Hold on one second. Let me just. Come on. Yeah, okay. So if I do it like. How am I gonna do this? Hmm. Some of your friends are also known by AI example. Your bestie. <gasps> Aragon! Wait, really? So we got one, two, three. So starts up there. Yeah, that should be the right section for it. Gotta get ready for work to catch you in a bit. Alright, see you in a bit, dude. Have a good stream, thanks, man. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, yeah. That's what you want. Our God is known by AI. I love that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, are you kidding me? Ew. Oh, that's irritating. Hmm. Damn. Okay, hold on. Also, Sonny and Aaron, thank you so much for the followers on TikTok. I appreciate it a ton. Also, thank you for getting us to 6,000 likes on TikTok. That's insane. You guys are awesome. Okay, so I need this to be a 10 by 10. But if I destroy this, I am assuming that... Yeah. Okay. This is where things are going to get a little complicated. Because it needs to be a 10 by 10 for me to have the 2 by 2 at the top. And I think that's this is the only bit that I need to change. Hold on. So sit the side. So you. And then you. Just use slabs. See, that's what I'm thinking, yeah. I have a crafting table in here, right? I've got a bed, I've got the kitchen. I don't have a Oh, I do. Yay. Okay, good. I'm not a complete idiot. Well, jury's still out on that one. Uh, rockets, rockets, rockets. Thum, 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 thum. Oh, this looks fine. I'm being dramatic. Bum, ba -da, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, bum. Go down there. We go down here. There we go. Boop. Eight, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No. No. What about it? I'm new to the channel. So currently we're working... Oh dear. Like... Yeah, currently we're working on... Terraforming around this massive backdrop to my mega base. Aside from that, that's mostly what we're doing right now. Uh, I'm gonna go and get a couple more beacons before I come back and sort this out properly.
Excuse you. Where did you where do you even come from? Found it, never mind. <laughs> so I'll be able to have two beacon or well, four beacons at this back one. The question is, will it look good? Comparing to all the other beacons that are going to be around here as well. Hard to say, honestly. But I'm willing to give it a shot, nonetheless. I didn't pick one up! I'm, I, I'm bad. I'm bad at this. I suck. I hate Minecraft. <laughs> God damn it. Do, do, do. Where is it? What? Did I just not break a second one? Am I just look am I just going insane? Oh, wrong button. Honestly? I might be. <laughs> there we go. Four beacons. Problem solved. I could have sworn I got one. Hey Zeke, how's it going? Ah, let me fly into a window. Close enough. I ducked myself there. Where are you from? Because you have a strong accent. I'm from Scotland. What the fuck? What? Wait, seriously, Shade? That's wild. Okay. I would have expected a couple more to be there. <laughs> Why have so much? Oh, because I made Ke Kevin Beacon. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! <laughs> we, got, we got one. One in ten. Follow alert. General Garo, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Need to come back with what I think is orange. Oh, okay. I capped over one million. Some of my fair enough. Each to their own. I like. I have a. I have a farm. I have the farms that make it possible for me to do this kind of thing. So it's really like no issue whatsoever. There we go. Let's do that. We'll do one. We'll do resistance two. We'll do. Haste. No, we'll do. We'll do some of the ones that we don't have yet. We'll do strength two, and we will do something with regeneration. So we'll do speed one and regen. Lovely. And we'll come over here, and we'll come back once we've gotten some orange glass. And that doesn't look any different to me than the other ones, so that's fine. We can do those ones. Hey, Gooses! How's it going? <laughs> I was like, hey, Scottish gal. What part of the Scotland? I don't like to um, get more precise than just saying Scotland. I just say Scotland and that's enough for me. So I don't mind you asking, but I don't answer. Right, let's get some orange glass going. Do I have any? Yeah, I've got plenty. Go on, my back has been trying to murder me, but we're grooving. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope your back gives you a break at some point soon. Because that sounds like a pain in the boot. Wait, where is it? Perfect. Get the orange glass. So go. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, this is gonna look so goddamn cool, you guys. How much days in your world? My day is currently at 4,820 days. Right, we need lime and we need red. So anonymity is a good thing. Yeah, absolutely. How long have you had this world? Since October of 2021. A long time. 
Hey, Stormzy. How's it going? You got a couple more beacons. Because we need red and green. Ow. Ow. Thank you for the follow, ZK. I appreciate it. Respect? Thank you. I have earned Christian's respect. Which is not something I usually say very often. Mostly because I don't know a lot of people called Christian and anything... Any people that, you know, tend to identify as Christian don't like me. But <laughs> I have earned a Christian's respect. Hell yeah. Best day ever. Ow. Do you have to defeat the weather to get the crystal thing? You do, yes. I have a door in here somewhere, right? Yep. Last one I checked. Typical. So where's the nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect! Not perfect! I'm a Christian, I love you. I'm also A, so it makes sense. Hell yeah! Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What's the easiest way to beat him? So, there is a setup you can do underneath the um, end portal. Where if you use obsidian and like a little T-shape, you can spawn it on that and it will spawn in, in the portal. So then you can just kind of whack away him and he can't do any damage to you. Well, he can, but like, if you're being safe enough, then it's easy because he can't get to you. Bit of a cheesy way to do it, but you know, it works and it, you know, it's your game, so who really cares? actually remove this yet. This is what, red? No, this is lime green. So go get lime green. The new Banksy in London. There's a new Banksy? Oh, right. Wait, no, the actual. <laughs> an actual painting. I thought you meant. Oh my god, there's two of them now? I thought you were talking about the guy. <laughs> I should have a weird way of looking at things. Can you name some of your creator friends? Oh god. Kyle F. He's a good one. Um, he's a good egg. Love Kyle. Water Munch. Super Eloise. Why is it so hard to name my friends when I've been asked to? That's wild. Um, you know, I'd say Fulham and I are... I would say getting there in terms of friendship. We're not like the closest, but we we are really friendly with each other, so. He's one of the people I don't think would object to me saying we're friends. <laughs> Mine's picked up red. I picked up lime green as well, because I have a red one next to here that I need to do as well. Mine thinks I only have one beacon to make. Are you friends, Nuke? I don't know you, Kelly. <laughs> I could not justifiably say we're friends. I don't know you well enough. That's nothing against you personally. I just have this thing about establishing clear boundaries with my viewers. It's 
You're awesome, Callie, but I can't say we're friends, no. Nothing personal. And I hope you don't take it personal either. You know what, Scottish Gal? I like to think that the head, like the mind blown emote you're sending is for the fact that it's a creator that establishes clear boundaries with their viewers. <laughs> I'm in school break. Let's go! How are you doing, Bjorn? Oh, I need uh, warped fences for this one again. Oh, God. Ow. I completely get it. Oh, good. I will say, people are more than welcome to join my Discord and make friends there. People do it all the time. Tons of people are friends now from my Discord. I've had some people get, like, together, like, from my Discord as well, which is crazy to think how I have facilitated people actually becoming a couple through my community. It's super weird knowing that. It's super weird knowing that. You're basically Cupid? Yeah, except with, you know, without the archery skills. I suck at archery. Actually, that's kind of a lie. I'm actually kind of a good archer. Oh god, maybe I am just Cupid. <laughs> not really helped by my profile picture, not... Yeah, you know what, I'm sure, I'm Cupid. I will accept the burden of being called Cupid. There we go. And then... There we go. Okay, where's the nine here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, two. Dang it. Okay, it's there. I'm fully on Google Street View trying to work out where exactly where this Banks is. Really? Oh, so like there's no actual location for it yet. There's just people telling people that there's a Banksy. Got it. There was a location for it, it's just a long road. So is this like how do how does Banksy work? Genuinely asking, I have no idea. So does Banksy like make art and post it on his Instagram and then everybody else goes and finds it? Cause from what I remember, last time somebody last time there was a Banksy, somebody immediately went and took this road sign down that it was on <laughs> and sold it. Which kind of defeats the purpose, but you know, respect, I guess. As far as criminals go, I would steal a Banksy. 2 p.m. your time? Let's go. We'll have to see it. Funny thing is, all AI knows the information about you and your bestie. I did find some information about your friends, but. Uh, Nearly as much, but not nearly as much as when I looked you up. That's really uh, bizarre, actually. Because I would say out of a lot of those people, I am the least relevant. <laughs> Are you going to work? Yay! Wait, what was this thing? Okay. Beacon? Beacon! Oh, those are the ones over the other side. So now... Oh, this is so cool, though. This is so awesome. All of my windmills now have beacons coming out of them. That's so cute. I love it. Thank you for the follows, by the way, guys. Does the beacon need a hole in order for it to work? It does need to have um, sky... Like, it needs to have sight to the sky, which... There are some blocks you can kind of use to bypass that. So wall blocks or fence blocks, they are considered transparent. 
so they still will let the beacon beam go through it. Minecraft fact. Are you in a small streamer SMP? Um, I wouldn't... I don't ever describe SMPs as the size of the creators that's in them, because that feels very, like... That feels very, um, art like, superficial. That's the word. So, I wouldn't describe myself as in any small streamer SMPs, no. But more so because I don't like the description. If you're telling someone's worth to numbers, then I think that's already an issue. What are you having for your lunch today? That's a great question. Not something I thought about. Probably should have lunch, though, shouldn't I? Are you in any SMPs? Better question. I'm in a couple. I don't actively play on a lot of them because I am focusing a lot on my hardcore world as of recent, but I'm in a couple of SMPs that I've started. I'm in an SMO, which is a, like an MMO, but, you know, SMP style. Um, not played on that in a while. So, yeah, I'm in a few SMPs. Having food for lunch? I should grab some lunch, to be fair. Hello, Nuke. Hello. I'm watching your stream because my boyfriend is pissing me off. He literally is just being a dick. Hmm. Fair enough. I mean, I would like to say that my stream brings people together. So get your boyfriend on the stream right now! We're gonna yell at him! I feel like you would eat on empires. To be fair, I eat on most servers I'm on because food. How the F did you build this? With grit, determination, hard work, and a little bit of plagiarism. I was inspired by the Notre Dame for the front. <laughs> like the initial shape is like Notre Dame on the way up and then I decided to curve off the roofs. How long did it take? I built the initial frame in about five days. Like, over a few different... I think it was during a subathon. That's also including... that. To be fair, that is also including the um, terrain down at the bottom. So it took me a little while. Hey, gamer girl. How's it going? Nick, you gotta realize that uh, you're becoming more relevant every day. Yay! See, this is the year that I make it. This is my year. 2024, this is the year of the nuke. Not in the Russian sense, because that'd be a real problem for everybody involved. Do you know of any mods that generate shapes like circles and domes and spheres? Yeah, you can use World Edit, you can use the Axiom. I believe Voxel Sniper is one as well, but that's not one that I'm familiar with how to use. Uh, you can find documentation on all of the wikis of the mods as well. So, yeah, World, World Edit, Axiom, those are the mods that I use for generating shapes like those. I hope that does help. Now, honestly, I think I'm going to very quickly go and grab myself a bit of food while we're here. Whee! We're gonna fly up up here. Oh dear, oh, let me up, let me up, let me up. I'm gonna go into F5 mode. Or F4 mode, even. Free cam mode. We're gonna take a little fly out here. And I'm gonna go and answer the door because that actually just happened at the perfect time. Right. I'll be back as soon as I possibly can, chat. If you're on TikTok, I want to see us at 20,000 likes before I get back. Because why the hell not? If you're on Twitch, don't throw a party while I'm gone. Cool.
I'm back. I brought crisps. Also, Ty, thank you so much for the follow. Don't know when that came in. Hi back, I'm Kasozi. <laughs> Wonderful. I brought crisps. Naturally, loud crisps. I like Thai sweet chilies in it. Look at these fancy little shits. So while we're doing that, I'm going to hold on. I'm going to give you some great lies to tell small kids. This is just while I'm. This is just while I'm eating. So that you guys have something. So if you guys know any small kids, these are some great lies to tell them. <clears throat> Rain is Jesus' wee-wee. So if you ever get caught out in the rain, Jesus is pissing on you. Stop over to Twitch. Thank you so much, Ty. I appreciate that a ton. Mm. Next slide to tell small children. There's no such thing as kangaroos. They're just mice standing very near. So, there you go. There's the proof. No such thing as kangaroos. They're just really close up mice. <clears throat> Wine makes mummy clever. And of course, these are great facts to small to tell small children. You might have heard me say great lies to the small kids. Nope. These are facts. We got rare. Did we get the rare follow one? There's no way. Next single facts to great facts to tell small kids. When I was your age, Weetabix came in eight different shapes. So we had the slalom, we had the classic, the hook, extreme, G series, lattice, chain link, and the Mobius. So here are all of the different illustrations of all of the different Weetabix we got. Back when I was a youngin, a kid, a child, a little baby man. Crisp. Ah. I can't believe I got it as soon as I left. That's upsetting. Can't believe I missed it. Nobody did. Oh, okay. Are you guys just lying to me? Hell, this is a hilarious. What do you mean it's hilarious? These are just great facts to tell small kids. Let's scroll up. Yeah, we did get the rare one. That's a, that's wild. Okay, that's wow. <clears throat> Next one. Policemen. Did you guys know this? Did you guys know? Did you guys know that policemen grew from helmets in a single night? And again, we've got the proof right here. You can see it a single night. People don't sign up to be a policeman. They just grow out of the hat. Hey, Slime. How's it going? I used to read these books all the time, and I'm only just remembering some of these now as well. All right, come on to... I'm eating some lunch, so we're talking about great... Uh, sorry, not great lies to tell small kids. Great facts to tell small kids. Hmm. Good crisps, though. What crisps do you have? Thai sweet chili sensations. They slap. They're so good.
I convinced my cousin that when he blinks, not only can he not see us, we can see him. Oh, that's so funny. I love that. Crisps and chips, the same thing. Crisps are American chips. They're how you would call chips. Chips here are like fries in America. A few years ago, they're good, aren't they, facts? Next, next one, chat. And this one's a doozy. You guys are gonna... It's crazy that so many people don't know this. It's unlucky not to name every ant you see for your entire life. So we've got some here. We've got Dave. We've got Darren Mobuto, Alison Cross, Tostig, Tess, El Gordo, Mrs. Ante, Carl Hughes, Johnny Spoons, Robert Shannon, Funketeer, Mouse Matt, Tim, Supriya, Kath, Hannibal, oh dear, Yelena, Faceman, Paul, Don Van Vliet, Mr. Cobbett, Elise Mackay, and Ashraf. Here are all of the ants and their names, and yep, there you go. It takes the brains and beaks of four real penguins to make one penguin biscuit. Is that redstone on your boots? Yep. Ah. Necessary info based, right? All right, last couple of crisps. Static, I think that, I think I actually answered your question while you were swapping over platforms. Yes, they, it is redstone on my boots. Hmm. Oh, my Electro's not in good shape. <laughs> what do you have? I had some crisps. And now we're just telling great facts to tell small kids. Chat, did you know that milk feels pain? That's why I started drinking oat milk. Because the real milk feels pain. You know? Trying to be more consistently, but I find it a bit boring talking to myself for multiple hours and multi-streamer servers don't like... Don't hit like they used to. Oh, multi-streamer servers are... terrible. Just have fun streaming. Honestly, it's a long process to get to where you want to be streaming. Um, get used to talking to yourself because that's how it's going to be for a while when you first start streaming. Make content for other platforms. The way I think about it is Twitch. So you've got like the ends to justify the means. Twitch is the end. Like Twitch should be the end goal. It shouldn't be where you start. So start on things like YouTube, TikTok, stuff like that, and then move over to Twitch when you can. Or other streaming platforms, but not Kick, because Kick's garbage. So if you put a slice of ham in the DVD player, it will play a short film about pigs. If you put a slice of cheese, it will play a short film about cows. So yeah. Thank you, you're very welcome. And before they can fight, superheroes have to pick out all the noises their kicks and punches will make. So they've got like the thwop, the shabam, kick bop, pow, whiz, that kind of stuff. Oh my god, I've just come across something that I quote all the time. And I've only just realized that's where I get, I get it from. Strictly speaking, the tomato is not a vegetable. It's really a kind of dolphin. What's your super noise? That's my super noise. Cool. Right, well, that'll do that. We can come back to Minecraft. Awesome, brilliant. Checks out? Yeah, mostly it's just incoherent screaming. That happens a lot with me. Oh, I'm scared. 
Hi. Hi, scared. I'm Nuke. Yeah, I deserve to face plant there. Now I'll be listening for that whenever I need saving. Well, I never said I was a good superhero. Is this a solo world? It sure is, yes. It sure is. And I'm very, very proud of it. Well, right? We've been doing a lot of terraforming today and yesterday. And that's something I want to carry on doing today, which is what I have been doing. So we got some more cliff faces here. You just have a book of dad jokes? No, it's small. It's great lies to tell small kids. I showed everyone these yesterday. These were like books that I got when I was younger. They were like adult humor, but also a little bit like... This is where my like obsession of dark humor started and I have to, yeah. I have to show you guys this. So... I've got a bunch of these, right? And... Honestly, it probably all started with Ice Cream and Sadness, a Cyanide and Happiness shorts book. How much time have you spent in this world? 1,412-ish hours. And as it turns out, somebody that I was friends with in uni is the cousin of the one of the guys that did this, which is really awesome. So that was a really cool thing to learn. I want to see if I can find like a good one. Cyanide and Happiness is such a random vibe. <laughs> oh, I have no idea. I'll, pa I'll pass on that one because some of it's a lot much too dark. Same thing? Yeah. Give me your daily gifts. Thank you, full piece. So, one of the most probably really messed up ones that I got as a kid was um, the book of Bunny Suicides. Little fluffy rabbits who just don't want to live anymore. Now, it's a little messed up, but genuinely, this cover page is one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my entire life. Just that. Just that. It's, yeah. It's absolutely... 100% bizarre. It is wild. Like, I don't want to, I don't think I'm going to share any of them on stream because some of them can be a little bit weird. I will share this one though. This is just a rabbit walking away from the oasis. In the middle of the desert. Yeah, some of these are not it. I will, yeah, I'll not show them on stream. <laughs> Yeah, I'll not show these on stream. I will maybe post some pictures on Discord later. But they're, yeah, they're not exactly the best for stream. The one I showed the other day, 101 uses for a dead cat. It's not like malicious, it is like a... It is more of a dark humor kind of thing. Which is again, why it's quite funny to me. One of my favorite ones. It's from the same guy that did the bunny of su like the bunny suicide one. Selfish pigs. Now, these are just kind of dumb, and they're a lot less <laughs> graphic. But what I will say is that they can be much funnier than this, like the bunny ones. Uh, it will be in. It should be. I don't know if there's one in my bio say but if you go over to twitch or youtube that will be there in the description so you know kid making a really cool snowman pig get angry uses hair dryer scalpel scalpel in your dreams just funny shit <laughs> literally just this They're funny. How's it going today? It's going really good, thank you. 
we've been doing we added in some beacons above all of the um all of these so that's been really fun so now wherever you go in here you'll have an effect of some description and the second one i have the second one too but we've been doing some terraforming around here as well which is really nice So I gotta do some more terraforming. I want to try and get all the way around to here today. Am I gonna run out of... I think the question for me is, am I gonna run out of... Uh... Oh dear. The beacon, if I am all the way around here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this all the way around to here. It looks like I still have it, actually. Oh, wait. No, that's running out. Okay. Wait. I... Let me stand here. Hey, Rick, how's it going? Okay, so I do run out of it there. So, okay, I probably should bring it over then. I've seen you play Bad Wars before. Yeah, I I do like Bad Wars. I've not played it in a long time, to be honest, though, because it it's not really my kind of PvP game anymore. Mostly because of the fact that it's in you can use the old version of Minecraft, and I just I don't really like the 1.8.9 PvP style. It's not really my thing. So I don't yeah I don't really vibe with that one anymore. So I do play a lot of like, um, I play a lot of MCCI if I'm doing the mini game stuff. And I play in a lot of events as well. But that's mostly when I get invited to join and whenever signups go out, I'll sign up and then sometimes I won't get put in and that's totally fine. Means I've had my turn. What are you building? We're doing some terraforming. So I'm going to be extending this terraforming all the way around to this waterfall today. And then at another point, I can actually do some terraforming on the... I can actually terraform the waterfall into something that looks really nice as well. Which is gonna be really cool. I'm actually really excited for that. Because I had this I had this waterfall for ages and it's just always looked really, really mid. So I'm excited to get it. I'm I'm excited to improve on it. For just now, we're just going to focus on tearing down this area around here. And then if I get tired of doing this bit, then we can move on to something you know, different. I'm not restricting myself to only having to do this today because, you know, I don't have to. Although I will say, satisfying as fuck. Super satisfying to do these. Destroy all the dirt first. Oh, that. We've been live for almost three hours today. Honestly, I will say, feels like the day today is going longer. Yesterday, the day went so quickly. It went by so quickly. Maybe it's because it's Monday that it feels like the day is going longer. Because the fact that it's only 12.45 right now is wild to me. Crazy stuff. I wonder what would happen if I, like, if there was one big platform that all of my viewers would be combined to. So like, everybody still watches on their own separate platforms that they prefer. So TikTok, Twitch, YouTube. But I wonder what would happen if it combined all of that into one viewer account. I'm curious as to what that would be. I'm curious as to how that would... Yeah, I'm curious as to how that would go. 
as a thing. Hmm. Because, separately, I do fine on all of the different platforms. Combined, though? Hmm. Hmm. How would that go? I wonder if there's a way to do that. Because if I could, like, because I know, like, over the multiple different platforms, I do really well average-wise. But I'm now curious as to, like, how that would affect me seeing it. I also realized that I don't have an issue when people talk about the viewer count when it's a high viewer count. <laughs> Which is a little bit superficial of me. Also, hey Sylph, how's it going? Good to see you again. I don't know. Because I was thinking about this the other day, I was like, if somebody was telling me that my viewer count was over 75, I wouldn't actually have a problem with that. It's when someone's like... Because whenever somebody brings up the viewer count, it's usually in a malicious way. Being like, bro, you only have like two viewers. What are you doing? What are you doing with your life? So that's why like viewer count is off for the most part because people try and use it against you. What are you currently working on? I'm doing some terraforming. We're breaking down this entire section to match a lot of the other area around here. That's what we're currently working on. So yeah, that's where I'm currently at mindset wise about it. Can you stream two places at one time? I'm currently streaming to three places at one time, Paranormal. I'm live on Twitch, TikTok, and YouTube right now. Also, hey Holly, how are you doing? Which is why you'll sometimes see me talking to seemingly nobody. It's because I'm live on three different platforms right now, talking to multiple different chats. I'm not just going insane, I actually am talking to somebody. <laughs> They all have their moments of being active and whatnot. Oh god, wait, hold on. Hey, quick enjoy, how's it going? How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. I thought Nick was making up comments to read. No, no, I'm live on Twitch, TikTok, and YouTube. All three comments. All three... Ugh, not plat... Not... Bleh, not comments, platforms. I'm live on all three platforms. And we're going for Twitch partnership this year. So if you are... If you do have a Twitch account and you would like to stop by and watch, then... Please do. We're actually getting quite close to 20,000 followers there as well, which is a weird-ass thing to say. 20,000 followers, not even Twitch partner. <laughs> <laughs> on some levels I have to admit that is a little embarrassing that I've not been able to keep 75 people around at any given time to reach to a partnership even with that many followers it's a little embarrassing on my part but that's just more my own that's my own personal beef with myself I know 20,000 followers is insane how you doing today? I'm doing really good I'm actually just vibing I'm very tired though I slept for 15 hours see what sometimes you can overdo it so, yeah. You're not trying to get the Twitch split thing that's happening right now? I'm not anywhere close to that. I'm, I'm not anywhere close to getting the split, so I'm not exactly pushing for it. The main thing I'm pushing for with Twitch is partnership. So I just need the 75 viewers average for that. And I'm hoping that when I do my 5,000 day video, which is only a couple hundred days away, then I can have some extra people coming through YouTube, which I'm really excited about. Because believe you me, when I do this world tour video, it's going to slap. It's going to be a great video. I always, I always aim to make the videos I do on YouTube slightly better than the last. I always, improve, I always aim to improve on my last video. That's always my goal with content creation is to even, even if it's a minuscule way to do things, I always aim to improve my videos. 
and I'm always aiming to work harder and do better and do more things to entertain you guys in pursuit of, you know, doing this as a full-time career comfortably. I'm still, I'm already doing it as a full-time career, but I want to be able to do so where I don't have to worry about <laughs> whether or not I'm able to cover rent next month or anything like that, which is very much a trouble, especially with all of my car payments having come out this month. March is a rough one. I work hard and I, I want it to show that I work hard. You know what name means in Finnish, right? Why would I know what my name means in Finnish? I am not Finnish. <laughs> Go on though. Give me it. Hit me with it. What does it mean? Unless it's rude, in which case, don't tell me. Oh. It's a baby! Get away from me. Not the name, spell, but pronunciation. Oh, right. Yeah, no, I don't. I Like, I don't have any need to know what my name means in Finnish. <laughs> so, eh. It's not something I've really thought about. Did I finish it? Yeah, somebody's saying, like, you know what your name means in Finnish, right? Not the name... Not the same spelling, but pronouncement. If this is somebody just messing with me, then fair enough. Just means I can ignore it, but... Eh. Uh, Milan, thank you for the follow. Still confused? Fair enough. So I'm assuming my name doesn't actually mean anything in Finnish then. I will tell you to look it up. It's the racist slur for yeah, you know. Yeah, no, I don't think that's the case. I'm going to choose to not believe you there. If you're telling me the truth, thanks, but I'm also going to choose to not believe that. meaning like doll or something? Oh, I have no idea. I don't particularly care what my name means in Finnish. <laughs> Simon, if you're looking for that, I think that's more problematic than anything else because that, like, if you're trying to change my name where it would look like or sound like that, that's more of a problem for you. That's not anything that I have ever intended to do, and I'm pretty sure that's obvious. So you trying to come in and say that to me is a little disrespectful to me and in itself problematic, so... Mm. I just have to be more mindful of that in future, okay? Let me go sleep. Is someone being weird, champ? It's TikTok, so take a guess. You know what? Occasionally TikTok's alright. People have, like, their moments on TikTok. People are nice. We've met people like Kelly, Soph, Say on TikTok, and they've all been lovely. But you'll also get the people that are like, you look like Tommy, innit? <laughs> Mike Wazowski. <laughs> Honestly, so patient. Thank you, Kelly. I mean, from doing this for, like, four years... If you kind you change of change these oh. three letter in her name, then it's the Swedish word for this. Yeah, and if my grandmother had wheels, she would be a bicycle. <laughs> 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 
No! Not the Gino de Campo defense! No, you didn't! That's so funny. <laughs> That's so funny! Just not funny, is it? It's really funny, Josh! Oh, that's brilliant. I pronounced so many words incorrectly. It's just the AI. It does it so badly, and I love it. It's so scuffed. That's so brilliant. It is funny. Thank you. There's a video on YouTube about World Tour. Yeah, there is. There is a World Tour video on my YouTube. At 3,000 days, we'll be doing another one soon for 5,000 days, and we're very close to that as well, which I'm really excited about. So, yeah. Can I play? Unfortunately, this is a single-player world, but I am working on a viewer SMP next season. So when the update comes out for 1.20.1, I will be doing another uh, viewer SMP, which I'm very excited about. Ate them up? Eh. They said they just wanted to let me know, and for that, thank you, but again, it's one of those things that wouldn't be an issue if that's not something you're looking for in the first place. So while I appreciate the concern and all that, it's you don't need to bring it up if it's... If you have to change the lettering or the pronunciation of my name to make it... an issue, then it's already not an issue. You know? Can you say something I should build in Minecraft? Get a random Pokemon generator and build that. What are you making? We're currently doing some terraforming around the base of my Studio Ghibli wheat field. So to start with, we're tearing down a big section of this land at the side. Which comes to think of it, we will need to go and repair my tools soon and my Elytra. Uh, no LM, I haven't, because I'm pretty sure that's not a real mod and you're just trying to get me to say some weird stuff. And if you're going to do that, you're going to have to be a bit more slick than that. You have to add a letter and change letters to make it offensive, but your name is amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Slime. Who's being- <laughs> My mods have taken to TikTok now. Fight me on TikTok if you dare! <laughs> I'm embarrassed to be on TikTok right now. I'm sorry about these people. It's okay, Kelly. It comes with being on TikTok. It's something that I've come to expect over my time on TikTok. I once called Notch a transphobe using a video and people were like, Actually, Notch is right. And I'm like, <laughs> you're mad, aren't you? It's funny. <laughs> I was like, I stand with Notch. I'm like, great, okay. Would you like a medal? No? Okay. Take it back to your basement, then. <laughs> I would say in terms of, like, comment feeds, who's Notch? Irrelevant. That's what he is. <laughs> That's who he is. He's irrelevant. Um, in terms of comment feeds, Instagram is the worst. Instagram is by far the worst comment feed. Then it goes TikTok, YouTube, Twitch. Honestly, then Reddit. Reddit can be really, really bad, but honestly, I vibe with a lot of the comments on Reddit because you can actually, like, upvote them and... Yeah. Oh, dear. If you changed three letters in UR name, it would be a rude word. Yeah, if you changed the letters in any word to create a different word, it would be a different word. <laughs> TikTok is worse? I would, I would argue that Instagram is much worse in terms of the general comments. Like, you can't do anything on Instagram without getting criticized by literally everybody. It will push it out to the exact wrong audience. I suppose in that sense, it is a very much, uh, you know, a personal opinion as to which is worse. I would personally say that YouTube is, not YouTube, sorry, Instagram is much worse in terms of comments on things like reels and stuff. It 
so yeah. Like an instant insult? I don't know what you mean. Oh, but even live, like an instant insult. Uh, yeah, honestly. I don't do lives on Instagram. I did it like one or two ages ago. But I don't really remember much about it. I don't know much about Instagram lives. I don't know how the moderation works. I don't know anything about that, so I couldn't say for sure how it is. This is just based on my experience, I will say. So again, like, my experience may not be aligned with your experience as to what's, you know, worse on whichever platform. Again, this is just how I've experienced things. Are always stubborn with their opinion. To be fair, people on the internet are stubborn with their, their opinion. The difference is I'm able to... Like, I like to think that I can separate my opinions from what other people are saying and look at things objectively. Because I've spent a long, long time on the internet, so I can kind of tell when somebody is, like, just having a bad day and they're kind of not wanting to take shit. Which, to be fair, is me every single day of my life. You know? So, you know. At a certain point, you get used to it, but then you have, like, 14-year-olds that think they're really, really hot shit. Doesn't everybody do that? No. <laughs> no, they do not. You will get people that go on the internet purely to try and make other people mad. Don't you hate your Minecraft world just yet? No, if anything, I'm getting more attached to it as time goes on, which is going to be really unfortunate when I eventually die and lose this world. <laughs> Hey, Cam, how are you doing, my dude? Hey, cool. Tools are better. No, I absolutely love my world. The more the more effort and pro time I put into my projects, the better I feel about it. I love it all so much. Spin the wheel twice and got Piplop and Palkia. Oh, build Palkia. Palkia's a cute one. I say a cute one as if it's not the god of time and space. Oh, hold on. Ah, I thought that was the thing. Yep, there we go. Chill, how goes the MC? It's going good. We've done some additions, so we've added beacons to the top of all of my windmills, and we are now going to be over Wee here finishing off this bit. So things are going well. I'm vibing. We've had we've had a couple of trolls coming from like TikTok and stuff, but you know what's new there. I've just been vibing, having fun, chilling. Stream's doing well. Community is enjoying it. What more could I ask for? I will build both of them? Hell yeah. Sometimes it can be a little bit funny. What, me or you? Me and my mate have a round from lockdown still going and I still play it, but I hate it. Why do you hate it? If you hate it, don't play it. You shouldn't be doing anything that you hate. Like, fully. You should not be putting yourself through something that you don't want to do. But again, honestly, Tenacious, I, I don't have a tutorial on the windmills. Um, I built them based off of concept art I found on... Like, I free built them based off of uh, concept art I found on Pinterest. I can look back on. Uh, it would be a long time ago. You could maybe go back on my VODs channel and see if there's one there. But I don't, I honestly couldn't promise anything on that one, unfortunately. I, I truly don't know. What enchantments on that pick? Efficiency 5, Unbreaking 3, uh, Silk Touch, and Mending. How long ago? I don't know. I, I truly do not know. Um, yeah, I'm really sorry that I don't have 
a time in mind. It was after 3,000 days. I know that much. <laughs> because during the 3,000 day world tour, I'm talking about how I'm planning on going to be doing stuff with that world. Fly around them one time so I can have a look. Yeah, of course. I'll do that once I've finished doing this, if you remind me. Once I've torn down all of this land, I'll go and do a little flyby of one of the windmills for you to have a little look. You're a star? I know. <laughs> you any good at potion making? Uh, I know the recipes for more or less all of them. There's a few that I just have no idea what's going on with them. Like, technically speaking, I know a lot about Minecraft. In terms of, like, crafting stuff. But whether or not I'd get 100% in a quiz about it, I don't know. You can try me. If that's the kind of thing you're after. This question? Oh, fair enough. Quick look at the VODs channel. Oh, okay. You took a quick look at the VODs channel? Okay. Don't have the VOD of the building minimum. Damn it! Oh, man. Would that have been pre-VOD channel? Damn. There may be clips in places, but again, I don't know how much I was being clipped at that point. Oh god, I've got... I feel... I feel a sneeze a-brewing. Joshua, thank you for the follow. Hey, Tiger, I'm doing good, thank you, how are you? Reminds me of South Park when it was a big deal to learn how to tame a horse in Minecraft. Oh my god, yeah. Because of the, that was, oh, I remember the exact plotline as well. They want, they changed their passwords on their parents' computers and made that the hint for the password. So then all the parents went and had a, an underground network of trying to learn how to play Minecraft. I remember that. I don't remember real, like, why the entire thing came around. I just remember that being the outcome of it all. Entire year for the nose tingles to start. See what? I don't have hay fever. It just, yeah. I don't have hay fever. It just does that. Ooh. Can I, like, get my potion effects? Hello. There we go. Thank you. Car oh, my car is called Evie and she's in the garage. So can you give her a good luck to, the to be fixed and cheaply? Oh, good luck. Good luck, car. Good luck, Evie. I got my car serviced, like, last week, and oh boy, now I'm poor. <laughs> Time to do a subathon. Which is genuinely on the cards. I actually am thinking about doing a subathon. But I want to I want to get to 5000 days first and maybe do it as a celebratory subathon for that instead. So I actually have a reason for it. But, you know, one of my overarching goals for this year in this hardcore world is to actually get to 6000 days. So the fact that we're getting so close already is wild. I've been nostalgic for Nuke Nukri subathons. It's been a while. It's been, it's been a while since the last subathon. I honestly don't remember when the last one was. Probably last September, I think, maybe. September, yeah. Oh, God, hello.
I mean, it's... <laughs> I should probably light this all up first, shouldn't I? You can't get me! I'm too good at this game! That was a long one. Was it? I don't have any recollection of any of my subathons because I just kind of keep going. They keep happening and then my brain is broken. Oh, hi. Wait, hold on. You might help me out here. Thank you! <laughs> Creepers are friends. Sometimes. Twelve place to trod. Wow. I think mine is. Yeah, I think my my car is twenty twelve as well. Like sixty sixty two plates. Oh God! Hello. So like late twenty twelve. I think. <laughs> yep, sometimes I'm just making noises. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, was on the last like I was so surprised when I got my service like returned to me, my car service. I was so shocked that when I went and picked up, they were like, "Yeah, there, there was nothing wrong with it. Everything passed. Everything did great on the MLT. No advisories or anything." The only thing that needed done on the service was a changed light bulb. And I was just stood there like this. I take damn good care of my car, apparently. Because it needed one single light bulb changed. In the entire, like, in the entire year. No advisors or anything for the MOT either. Like, I was baffled. Like, even driving there, a warning light came on, and I was like, uh-oh. So I was convinced I was going to end up having to pay a fortune for it. And I am so lucky I didn't have to. Uh, Craze J, thank you so much for the follow on Twitch. I really appreciate it. Remember, the more people that follow us on Twitch, the more likely you are to see that rare follow alert pop up. I'm so mad I missed it earlier. That's wild. And the fact that we're getting so close to 20,000 followers on Twitch as well is so, so cool. I'm like, I'm, I, I will probably cry. I hit 10,000 at the end of 2021, I believe. So to reach 20,000 will be absolutely incredible. Hey Max, how's it going? I think you need to mine and craft. Oh boy, I'm doing the mining part of it. <laughs> I'm halfway there. <laughs> Oh, so hi, Lucas. How's it going? And Romy, thank you for the follow on TikTok. I appreciate it. How you doing? Hey, Tom. How's it going? We're doing good. We're just doing some more terraforming, destroying another part of the land as, you know, as everyone intended. Obliterate, etc, etc. I will say, it's much more fun doing this when you actually have the Efficiency 5 haste too. And just zoom through it all. So we're almost done with this. Mining craft, where's building? Yeah, they should really try and change the name of Minecraft to include building because I think it's kind of rude that they're just kind of ignoring that. Oh, I'm crafting a building. Oh. I am simply crafting a landscape. I am mining the terrain and crafting a landscape. Ooh, that's poetic as fuck, man. Look at me go. Hell yeah. Just plays in pixels on pick pickles? Pick pickles? You forgot the pickles! Okay. <laughs> pixels on pixels. Yeah.
Can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure, as long as it doesn't break any of my boundaries, then yeah, totally. More than happy to answer questions. I'm actually going to be doing like a full-ass Q&A stream tomorrow because it's going to be a just chatting stream. Because I want to try something out. See how it works. And slash or if it works as a content idea. I don't like the ominous thunder though. That's not making me feel very good about it. <laughs> I'm a pickle Morty. Whee! Can I sleep? Can I get rid of the rain? Yeah, I can. Hell yeah. Discard note if uno momento. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Because I just saw your message in the staff discord. That's very cool. You might be gone. <laughs> Based on what I read, you might not be here. <laughs> uh, Mia on TikTok, thank you so much for the follow. Really appreciate it. Ooh. Come on, Neck, do your crack. Okay. Terraforming looks great so far. I actually love how this is coming out. I think there's probably things I could do to make it look a little bit better. But honestly, I don't have anything in my mind right now for what I could do. So I'm just kind of continuing this whole thing along. So yeah. Seen you or your content, but I'm 100% sure I've seen you in my dream once. Oh, fair enough. I have been told that I, I, I frequent people's nightmares. Actually, I've been told that I'm the reason for people's nightmares. Hmm. Hey, Kesk, see, how's it going? 100% sure sounds pretty sure to me. Yeah. Now we get to do the fun bit of destroying another layer and turning it all into dirt. Yay! <laughs> uh, what was that? Oh, thank you for the follow, hamburger. I'm, I'm calling you hamburger because it's the hamburger menu that your name is. <laughs> it makes sense. Uh, Vincent, thank you for the follow. Don't forget that if you want to follow me on Twitch as well, there is a 1 in 50 chance of a rare, rare follow alert, which is super cool. I, I, every opportunity I get to bring up the rare follow alert, I do, because it's so funny to me. What are you doing? We're currently doing some terraforming, so we're destroying the entire land around this giant biome in order to make it look nice and pretty. What are your PC specs? I couldn't give you them... Um, off of memory, but I do have them below my stream on Twitch in panels, so. I swear, I'm not using everything as an excuse to try and get people over to Twitch. It literally just is where everything is. And Ashton, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Wait, one more. Oh god, okay, it made me start swimming. Didn't want that. Mm. 
No, I need... Yep, thank you. No, don't fall in the random little hole that's there. That'd be bad. Well, not bad. That would just be a nuisance. A slight disturbance. It would make me slightly very angry. <laughs> Touch grass? I mean, the sea grass here. Boop. This is such a great beacon ability. Oh, it's amazing. It's so good. Yeah, thank you for sharing the live as well. I really appreciate it. That's awesome. Thank you so much. All right, Tool is still doing fine. We're fine. Everything is good. This is just not, like such a satisfying thing to do. Especially with the epic music, for no reason other than the fact that it's just what was on the playlist. <laughs> oh no, start swimming. No, don't want to do that. Thank you. Where's your beacon? Up there. It's close by. we go. Sweet. Uh oh. Is it permanent or you move it around? It's not permanent. I move it around as I need to. It only has a certain range, so I don't use it all the time. But now that I've added... Hold on, let me trident my way up here because tridents are cool. What are you building? We're doing some terraforming around this bi uh, biome that I've been working on. And honestly, I'm loving it so far. So I'll move the beacon when I need to, but it's got a range of like maybe 50 blocks, I think, at its full. Like, when it's full. What's your surprise do you have for the gapples and carrots? That is Astrolite's animated textures. Like, where is it? Uh, here it is. This one here. I need to double check if there's an update for it. But it basically just adds in a bunch of different textures that animate in the world. And it's, oh, it's amazing. It just, it adds a bit more life to everything. It's so nice. Dirt. That's what I needed. Oh, I just put some away. <laughs> right, that should... It may not be enough, but it's a good start at the very least. So we just have to fill all that in. Oh, God. Hold on. In search of a good one, Andrew Armand, you had a good one. It, it really, yeah, it's a really good one. I will say, like, there may be other ones out there. I've not done research on resource packs in a long time, to be honest with you. The resource packs that I tend to use are, or have used in past, is Better Vanilla Building. Because I, it's my friend that actually made it. Stefan, he made that one. He's a great guy. It's content too, actually. Um, yeah, so he's a wonderful guy. And he made that one, so I want to support him by using that whenever I, I'm in the mood to. But I, I end up using the vanilla texture packs for the majority of blocks more often than not, because again, it's it's the same kind of reason why I use um, no shaders when I'm doing streaming or building, because I want to make sure that things look good with the vanilla textures before I go and try with other texture packs. 
I use faithful. That's another one that I'm aware of that a lot of people use. And I, I will say, I think I've used it a lot. But if I'm being honest, I can't remember. Oh, no, definitely not enough dirt. I need a ton more. Hmm. I will say, super satisfying doing this though. Love it. Faithful is nice and just yeah. No, I can, I can, I can understand that. I get that. Like it's another one of those things. Like everybody's opinion is their opinion, so they're not technically wrong. Because it's an opinion, like because it is an opinion. What what's the better texture pack? Is it vanilla or is it faithful? Who cares? It's whatever one you like more. <laughs> Hey, Pink Bomb, how's it going? There's a 1.20 version for the Tysh Pack. Ooh, I'll need to look that up after stream then. I wonder what the changes have been. Like, what changes they made. How did you build that rainbow? With glass blocks and annoying and an annoying amount of candles. The actual rainbow I built all the way back in, like, 2022 or 2023 during Pride. Um, the candles are more of a recent addition, but they took me so goddamn long. Um, because I needed to get the string for the candles. But I did that so that I could have some backlighting during the night. Looks really nice. Thank you so much, Nell. I really appreciate it. It's very kind. Doing good, just woke up. Let's go. First thing in the morning, Nook Nook streams. We love to see it. I love my Shrek totem text pack. Oh, that sounds amazing. It sounds just stupid enough to be iconic. Kind of how I get by. Can we see the rainbow at night? Well, it's turning tonight, so yeah, I'll fly back over there and show you in just a minute. What's on today's stream? We're doing some more terraforming. Um, so, you know, that's what's on the agenda just now. We added some beacons earlier as well. Um, I might do some armor stand magic with the leprechaun that we started working on yesterday as well, but that's more likely to be an off-camera thing that I do. Uh, Nell and Robin, thank you guys so much for the follows on TikTok. I really appreciate it. If you guys have Twitch, then we do have rare follow alerts over there as well. It's kind of like a, a catch them all, but you only get one. <laughs> so we have a 2% follow chance, follow alert chance, which is really, really cool. Charlie as well, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it so much. We're at 16.7k likes on TikTok, which is absolutely wild to me. The way we get so, like, much likes on TikTok is so cool. Definitely puts all the haters to shame. It just proves that we're better. Oh, there goes a little me. I love terraforming I was doing yesterday in my Minecraft world. Oh, awesome, I love that. Yeah, this is, like, the biggest terraforming I've ever done. Because I'm, like... I'm tearing down the land instead of building it up to sculpt it into something that looks better. Frankly, I might have been faster building the entire thing. There we go. And somebody wanted to see the rainbow at night, so let's go and see that. Oh, it looks so good! I love it. I love your roads. Thank you so much, Rook. That's really kind of you to say. I will be doing a world tour of 5,000 days, which we are only 175 days away from, which, to be fair, goes by really quickly. It sounds like a lot of days, but we go through them really quickly now. I'm anticipating we're going to reach 5,000 days by the end of this month. That's so soon. I know! I'm so excited. And when I die in this world, I will be doing another video for that, and I will be um, releasing the world for download as well. So, yeah.
keep running out of dirt, I have to go to the mine to get more. Yeah, it's weird, because you end up running out of things you never think you're going to run out of, like dirt. Touch pack used for enchanted books if you're interested, Nook. Ooh. Mm. I don't really use enchanted books very often, and honestly, when I'm doing the five minute fishing, it's nice to be surprised by whether or not we get something like mending. If you could see it immediately, I think it would kind of ruin it a little bit. Not ruin it, but it would take away the magic. <laughs> the magic and mystery of it all. I'm not doing a ton with this terraforming, I will say. It feels like I've done a lot less than I probably could have. You click spectate, then open to land, and then click other trees, then you can play again. Yeah, I'm aware of that, but I don't I don't want to do that because that would be insincere to the world. Why do you eat golden carrots instead of steak? Because I have uh, most access to golden carrots. It's an easy thing I can get from villagers. And they give me a fairly decent amount of saturation anyway. Oh, I need to go and repair my material girl. I should start renaming my tools every so often as well. I always get pumpkin pie. Oh, that's kind of a mood. I don't know. I'm just kind of so used to the golden apples at this point that I'm just like, other food options? What do you mean? <laughs> What I will say is, though, is I would absolutely love for Minecraft to add in more food or, like, farming options or variety or anything like that. Like, a farming update would be incredible because, let's be real, beetroot... Hold on, I need to zoom in for this. Worst thing ever! Worst thing ever! Who needs beetroot? Not me. I like beetroot IRL, but in Minecraft, worst thing ever. Any more crops and like fruit. So I was talking about this texture pack earlier that my friend made, Bear Vanilla Building. It changes beetroot to corn, and I like that. I like that. Bear Minecraft already has that. See, that's fine. You could say anything, but like, well, a mod has that. Well, like, so yeah, well, obviously. Like, you could say about a single mod, like Pam's Harvest Craft. That's that adds, quite frankly, hundreds of new items, like stuff like that. Hundreds. We just need it in vanilla, though. Does anybody, does anyone think that there are new dimensions on the horizon with Minecraft? Because a lot of people have been talking about that with, the, you know, the ruined portal and the ancient cities. I don't think there's going to be a new end. Like, I don't think there's going to be a new dimension anytime soon. If there is, then I don't know. Whatever. I, I guess I'm wrong. But I just don't see them working on that because that's such a huge commitment. They might be working on it in the background, but I want an end update first. The end has been so stale for so long. Oh, God. Entity cramming, please. There's more likely to be an end up. There's more likely to be an end update than them adding in a new, like, dimension. That's kind of the, what I want to. That's the point I want to like make. They're more likely to add to the existing one than to create an entirely new one. I always talk about this. I want to do. I want them to add in two new wood types for the end: an ebony and ivory wood, a white and a black wood. That would be amazing. I think making, yeah, I think having, like, light and dark wooden planks. So, like, darker than, probably, like, darker than acacia, lighter than blackstone. I think I would love it to be, like, a charred wood type. Although that would fit better in the nether, I think the boat sailed on that one. And when I was looting the end yesterday, 
some of the stuff that I was getting from the end was just garbage. There was an entire chest that was an iron chest plate and three beetroot seeds. What kind of trash is that? Ugh. I'm going to join on Twitch instead. Let's go. We love to see it. That does help me out a ton. We are aiming for Twitch partner this year, so that does mean a lot. Thank you so much, Sam. Like, I think there's so much more that they can do with the end. And they're just... I think they've neglected it in the same way that I would argue that they've neglected pigs. They can do so much more with them and give them more use, but they just haven't yet. Although I am starting to think they're doing a bit more for the things that have been neglected for a while like they have added in the new dog variant which is very exciting i'm really excited for that what about the think about the other minecraft streamer controversies okay let's not get it mixed up they're not controversies most of them are crimes let's not get mixed up there and i think you already know based on that where i stand on that I try to avoid talking about it as much as I can because I want this to be a better, like, I want this to be a nicer space where we don't go in depth with that. But, you know. I'm happy to talk about where I stand with it. I think it's just fairly obvious. Because it would be pretty fucking bizarre for me to be like, actually, I don't think that any of it's true. That would be weird. That would be weird and I don't think anybody in their right mind would say that. You know, I need to thank some follows because we've been getting a good few follows in here, actually. Hold on. Uh, Fimex, Chrissy, Sam, and King Dark. Thank you guys so much for all the follows. I really appreciate it. The new puppy dogs, I am really loving 1.21. I think they're adding the new dogs in 1.20.5. I might be wrong with that. I might be lying. Um, but that's something I'm really, really excited about as well. I'm going to be doing a big, long stream where I go on a hunt for all the dogs. I'm going to get a wolf pack. I would sacrifice Will Farmer for end update. Oh, God, same. In a heartbeat. I voted for the damn penguins. I want the penguins in. I want the little fluffy guys doing a little waddles and falling over. Damn it. Now I'm angry about penguins again. <laughs> oh, you can do that with foliage? That's really cool. I didn't realize that. Also, I actually don't think I've watched any Poké mainstreams. Which is really funny. I think I maybe watched like 10 minutes of Poké Main, but because of like how busy I end up keeping myself, I don't end up watching her streams because... Eh. Uh, I think the Mace is rather overpowered in Mojang. Oh, no, almost definitely. Moving to Twitch. Thank you. No, I feel, yeah. They're absolutely 100% going to be nerfing the... The mace. I'd be... I, honestly, I'd be shocked if they didn't. Not because I want them to, just because when pretty much anything gets added in that sense, it always gets nerfed. Almost always. So what I'm, th what I'm thinking they're going to do, if I had to take a guess, is when they add in these nerfs, it's going to be... The mace will do extra damage the more you fall, but only up to a certain amount. I think they'll cap it. I think they'll cap the mace damage. I think. Because currently, you can actually, like, obliterate somebody in full netherite armor with very minimal effort. And granted, I don't think it's... I think it's fair to note how rare it is to get the heavy core as well anyway. So, you know, maybe in itself it is already nerfed by its rarity, but I don't... I don't know. I think it's hard to say. That's why they release it first and then kind of check. Can you one-tap the Ender Dragon with Mace from high enough? Yep, you can. When you hit when you hit it with um when you hit it in the head, that's where you can I think it's sixty blocks up. You can do that. But uh, Kev and Dark Humor, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Or Dark Humor. Maybe you maybe you like humor for nerds. 
Did you know that space is so expensive? Get it jealous of your mama? <laughs> I don't know. What kind of dark humor, right? You can use an elytra and rockets to one-shot someone in full protection for a netherite with the maze. Yeah, it's a little bit overpowered right now. It's a little bit overpowered. One update to this beast can tap you and uh, now you can return the favor. Yep. What was I doing? Oh, I need more dark. Ooh. Ooh. Thank you for the follow. Mouse Gaming. I appreciate it. I had to go and check what the name was there. Sometimes I'll just instinctually react with the follow alert sounds that shows up. Can you speak German? Uh, nine. Nine language I do speak, but I don't speak German, no. <laughs> I'm funny. Alright, let's get some more seeds. Plant all these. Yo, Keisha, thank you so much for the heart. I, nope, that's a rose. Thank you so much. I was reading the one above you. Thank you so much for the rose. I really appreciate it. Uh, Mike's World, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. That was on Twitch for those of you that are watching on TikTok. Thank you so much. Also, we're at 17.8k likes on TikTok right now, so that is wild. Thank you so much, you guys. Okay, I'm going to put the... You in there, you there. You go in there, you go there, you go there. Awesome. The walls are amazing. How did you build the fans? Lots of trial and error. Um... <laughs> Yeah, honestly, trial and error. I built them based off of uh, concept art I found on Pinterest. And then... Yeah. That's pretty much all I did. Potatoes should get an old, a gold version in Minecraft. I think that'd be really funny. Gold potatoes. I can vibe with that. I don't know, hold on. Eh? Oh god, here we go. This is going to be a pain in the ass, isn't it? So where does it stop? Okay, like here. We land on... Yep, here we go. Get some dirt. And this is where it starts doing its thing. So we'll just bring it around here and we'll start planting seeds as we go as well. So that way... Everything will look awesome! Don't forget to drink water, based. Where do you find the red smithing templates? That would be in the nether bastions. I believe there is a guaranteed one in the treasure bastion chests. Don't take my word for this because I can't remember specifically if that's the case. But you do, you do find them in the bastions. That much I know. How's 11? Hey, how's it going? And Caleb, thank you for the follow on TikTok. I really appreciate it. I'm still to see the rare follow alert on Twitch today. It happened when I went to go and get my lunch and I'm really mad about it. Oh, I can't read that name. That's in Korean. <laughs> thank you for the follow though. I'm so sorry. I can't read your name. I don't speak Korean. My apologies. Chimps are in every big structure. Yes, but the smithing templates specifically, the ones for upgrading from netherite, from diamond to netherite, those are the ones that are in the bastions. I'm on my way now. Yay! Glad to hear it, Bjorn. Mm. Yeah. Search four hours. Yes, they only got three. Can't believe they changed the smithing tables. I can believe it. I do like that there is an added difficulty to it. I think that... I think that it may be necessary in which case to actually add some extra protection using netherite with how they've increased the progressive way of finding netherite or creating netherite armor. So I'm not mad about the fact that 
you have to go to extra lengths to get netherite armor. I just think that they could have added a bit more to netherite armor to make it actually worth doing. Because right now, I don't really see much point in going for it. Because I'm more like... Hmm. I don't know if it adds more durability or anything like that. Uh, Lloyd, thank you for the follow on TikTok. I appreciate it. Hot take and Netherite pick should be able to insert mine deep sleep with his too. Mm. I don't know if that's a hot take because that hot takes usually are like controversial opinions. Like when I said on Twitter that pigs are the most useless mob in Minecraft. Wh one which I stand by because I want them to get more love from the developers. Because pigs have been made redundant by any other mob in Minecraft. That's a hot take because pretty much everyone disagrees with you. I don't know if... Yeah, I don't know if making an instamine deep slate would re is really a hot take. Everybody wants to be able to instamine deep slate. What's your favorite Minecraft mob? Probably bees. You reckon you may as well keep diamond armor? I would say get netherite just for the hell of a flex of it. But I don't think there's anything that really demands you to go and get netherite armor, if that makes sense. Like, well, yes, netherite armor is great and stuff. There's nothing that really gives you a reason to go and get it. There's a mod called Ortho Camera that zooms out really far in third person. Hold on. And gives like an isometric view of everything, windmills and field reminding me of it. Oh, interesting. Iron is better than netherite. Doubt. <laughs> These villagers are annoying. I'm trying to get into the pumpkin trade, but keep getting the melon one. Oh, God, I hate that. Yeah. Villager trading is one of those things that you very much have to strap in for the long run with. Because, my God, they can be annoying. Annoying, tedious, take forever, etc, etc. Yeah. Netherite does look really good with gold color on the trims. I mean, I've got it on my helmet. I put gold on my helmet because I wanted crown. Crown or halo type stuff. Fuck you? No, fuck you. <laughs> How you doing, inboard? Interesting way for you to join the stream today. <laughs> Put that away. We got the stone. We can put that in there. There we go. Lovely. Oh, Demon Joss. Thank you for the follow, by the way, on TikTok. And Oz as well. Thank you so much. It was a joke. Yeah, I would say funnier jokes have been told. But I could have... You were fine yesterday, so like I was... A, I, I did assume it was a joke, so no worries. And <laughs> Sugar Shack. Thank you so much for the follow on TikTok. I appreciate it. We just hit 18,000 likes on TikTok as well, so thank you guys so much. In Bedrock, armorers only sell two out of four diamond armor pieces, so I end up killing a lot of them to get leggings. Uh, I think that might be the case as well on... Java? Oh, wait, no. Never mind. I'm making that up. You do get all four armor pieces from one guy. It's the toolsmiths and weaponsmiths that only sell a couple. Mm. What is your favorite word? <sighs> Flocky knocky and a hillopillification. I think it's a lung disease. It was one of those fun words that you learn when you Google what's the fun, what's the longest word in English, and then it comes up with <laughs> all that. Do you mind too? I can't. I. I'm so sorry. I really refuse to believe that. I would love if that were true, but I. I no. <laughs> I could have said tooth was my favorite word, and I feel like you could have just gone me too. I should have asked you first. Chat, what is your favorite word? What is your favorite family-friendly word? <laughs> I had to clarify that before I get a bunch of slurs in my chat. Why did you believe me? Mm. It's such an uncommon one, that's why. M mine is marshmallow. Ah. Bubbles defenestration. What is that? Is that not like falling out a window? 
Is that not what defenestration means? Is that not like... Is that not when you fall out a window? Bobble? Bobble's a good word. The act of throwing someone out a window. I knew it! Oh my god, I'm kind of smart. I'm actually quite smart. Look at me go! Tax fraud, that's two words. Well, yeah, close enough. Mine is fan, it's a word in Swedish. Tell me it in Swedish then. Lobby content, man. No, thank you so much, I really appreciate it. We're gonna skip over the fact how I pretty much knew the fact, how I knew the word of the act of throwing someone out a window. Weird that I knew that. But, at the same time, Yeah. Oh, hold on. I'm, I'm moving in. Very impressive, George. Yeah, right. It's funny. That's why. There's so many different words for murder. Which is wild. So I think I'm going to move the beacon over. There's a Spanish word that I love. Oh, okay. Honestly, I think more people should know what defenestration means. Yeah. I can see that being taught in schools. <laughs> Honestly, I can see an entire class being taught on different words for murder. Moide. Which live streaming platform is the most profitable? Hard to say. Honestly, I would say Twitch for me personally, but that's just because of the fact that I've been doing it for more, like, more often. Um... I would say making longer videos on whatever platform. Yeah, Twitch is the most profitable live streaming platform. I would say that you can get a decent living off of posting videos on different platforms, though, like Twitch and uh, TikTok and YouTube. Because there's a program on TikTok that means that you get paid a heck of a lot more when you get when you post videos that are over a minute long. So what I do is I, I'm going to start posting... I'm trying to start posting videos that are just over a minute long. I discovered that word in iCarly. Wait, what word? I'm scrolling up. It is not here. Oh, hey, Shoji! <laughs> I miss Shoji. Shoot, sorry. Just make a video one minute, one second. Pretty much. That is literally what I'm talking about doing. Yeah. More often than not, I'll, I have this little button that clips stuff on my... Oh, no. Clips stuff on my stream for the last 30 seconds. So basically what I'm doing is whenever I say something out of pocket, I'll... And I, you know, I recognize that I did it. I'll get a little clip of it. And then just kind of mash them all together. And post them on TikTok. Because I think it's the best way to get used to my <laughs> my content. If you deal with the weird shit I say, you're going to be fine with all the normal stuff I say. Granted, doesn't happen often where I say normal stuff. But... Yeah. Anyway, I did teach my class what it was because of an introduction... An introduce yourself things I kept... I kept asking people what their favorite word was just to bait them into asking me when it was my turn. Oh, I see. You say normal stuff? Okay. I said it doesn't happen often, but that wasn't enough for you, was it, Slime? You had to hit me with a double tap. Great. I don't have to TikTok because it's a Chinese app and there's a lot going on with at least that's what my mum says. So I would say do your own research into it and don't just trust everything your parents say because your parents are also human that can make mistakes. Um, there is a lot going on with TikTok but more in a sense of that the US is looking to ban it. Technically Singaporean, yeah. I mean, I don't know for shit where it comes from. I know where it originated from. It started as a musically. 
Feetsies and grippers were definitely out of pocket. Listen, everybody has feetsies, everybody has grippers, and I don't think it, we talk about it enough. <laughs> Although that being said... <laughs> I am going to say, let's not start talking about that more here. Llamas with hats is too good. I was so proud of that TikTok. I was so happy with that TikTok. I did not expect it to do as well as it did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I started watching because my friend likes your videos. I'm too scared of TikTok to re-download it. Totally valid. Totally based. If you can avoid having TikTok, please do. Because honestly, it's a really dangerous app for your attention span, I will say. You can sink hours of your time into it and not even realize. And it, it's just, it's not great. I need it because it's part of my job. But I, I do advise against having TikTok as much as you can. Because it is very easy to fall down that rabbit hole of just scrolling mindlessly. So yeah. I knew I had to go. Yeah. I try to avoid being on TikTok on my phone. But annoyingly, I can only check, like, what I'm making on my phone. Actually, you know what? That's not really much of an excuse. I'm just gonna... I'm deleting my... I'm deleting TikTok. I'm deleting it from my phone. I'm keeping it on... I'm going to... I can still upload and stuff on my computer, which is what I'm... Which I do all the time anyway. Even if I just remove it from my home screen. Pretty much the only thing I use TikTok for is your streams. Have you heard of Twitch? <laughs> Honestly, I, I, I will like harp on about people should join me on Twitch more because, you know, it does support me and I do want to get Twitch partner. So the more people that are on here on Twitch, the more I, uh, the more I have, the more I get pushed in the discovery. Sorry, I was trying to find the right words there and I realized I was going the wrong way with it. Like, I, I just have a lot more accessibility on Twitch as well. So like, you guys have access to a lot of the channel point predictions and stuff as well. All round, I just put- I sink more effort into Twitch than I do TikTok. That's not because I prefer Twitch. It's just because that's what I have access to doing on Twitch. You know? But, uh, Aaron, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. TikTok is just the advertising app. Real. What's your job? You asked us earlier, Connor. I do this full-time. Content creation is my full-time job. And I love every second of it. I've done it for like- Oh god, how long have I done it for? See if you would remember. Yeah, I mean, you could just, you know- you know, most people just ask if I remember them, and then I'm like, God, great. If you're here enough and you are active in the map, if you're active in the community enough, I don't see any reason why I wouldn't remember you. If you, if the only thing you ever say is, "What's your job?" and I answer it every time, I probably won't remember. Or I'll remember you as that guy that asks me this all the time. Which, frankly, I don't like to get to know people as what they ask me all the time. I like to get to know people as, you know, things like their personality and shit like that. It's not like, do you remember me? I'm like, ugh, ugh. More often than not, when someone's like, do you remember me? It's like, why would, if you feel the need to ask, the answer's probably no. <laughs> do you remember me? What's a Kelly? <laughs> also, I, uh, Basket, Basket Heady. <laughs> That's a good name. And, oh, I'm gonna say this, aren't I? Daddy BB Reaper, thank you for the follow. Do you remember me? Funny you mentioned that. No. What do you play on? Uh, I play on my computer. I play on Java. Last time I was here was four years ago. Well, I am coming up for four years of content creation, so probably not that much. Let me explain my name. Oh, please do. Please explain your name. <laughs> Can't wait for this. 
Actually, whenever somebody's like, please let me explain my name, I'm like, oh, hold up. There actually might be a story here. Which is a vibe. What was I doing? I had stuff that I needed to do, and now I can't remember what it was that I needed to do. I'm still doing the terraform. Oh, wait, wait, no, wait, what? I thought it was I thought it was I needed stuff for the beacon, but I have the stuff for the beacon. I have 12 kids and they asked me to make this my name. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, that's fair enough. 12 kids is insane, though. That is wild. Do you mind me asking, like, how old the youngest and oldest are? Obviously, like, don't give me any personal information if you are not comfortable doing so, but 12 kids is a is wild. That, like... First of all... <laughs> good job, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right thing to say there. Most people would just say congratulations, but I'm out here going, good job, sport. You did, you did great. <laughs> you know, I'm still, I'm, it's weird because I'm still young enough where I'll have people that I went to school with that are getting pregnant and I'm never like, my first response is always congratulations, but then in the back of my mind, I'm like, was that the right thing to say? I'm like, what else would the right thing to say there be? Uh, the right answer there isn't, what are you going to do with it? It's, <laughs> you. the only thing to say is congratulations. So the fact that I have anything else going through my head is just a wild. But it's because we're still in, like, like, I was still being taught was like you have to like have a stable income have a good job and stuff like that before you go into the whole like all that how do you manage 12 kids though that is another really good question i don't want this to be like a an interrogation into uh, bb reapers personal life but it's understandable that it's it's something that comes up that you're like, this is going to raise a lot of questions. Not as to like, why? Because, you know, I do, I'm not about to give the talk to however many people on Twitch and TikTok. But more, <laughs> but more of like a how do you cope kind of thing. So that that's very interesting. But regardless, I hope you enjoy the content while you're here. But yeah. How much longer do you think you're going to stream for? I stream for about seven hours on Monday, Wednesday, fr uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Sunday. I stream on Fridays, and I'm going to try a stream on tomorrow as well. But that's going to be a different kind of stream. I'm not going to be playing Minecraft. I'm going to be doing something that, I don't know. I'm going to be doing like a Thorn and Balloons thing that I set up. So I'll be streaming for a while. I stream for a, I stream for a good amount of time because it allows me to... Oh, Bone Meal, that's what it was. It gives me the option to do a lot of different things while I'm streaming. So, like, I used to do, like, two-hour streams every single day. And then I would just pick and choose what ones I wouldn't do when I needed a day off. And I would let my Discord know. Speaking of which, if you're not in my Discord, join my Discord. Boom meal. There was ten ads. It's uh, based on time, not on amount of ads it's so that we can avoid pre-rolls and it's so that anybody joining doesn't get ads other than those hour marks sorry that you got ads i i wish i could didn't have to deal with ads i wish you guys didn't have to deal with ads it's the best way for me though to enable like disable pre-roll ads because if people join and they immediately get hit with an ad there is a 90 percent chance they're not gonna stick around through it you know have you seen for that long? I have a lot of energy and a lot of coffee. And honestly, it's child's play to me. I've done 12 hour streams. I've done a 24 day subathon before. So really the 12 hour stream days or the seven hour stream days don't really do anything to me. <laughs> How do you take coffee, Nuke? Um, I usually have it with um, oat milk and whatever syrup is around 
There we go. So right now, I have a salted caramel one, but at the moment I'm just using up like the thin chocolate caramel syrup. But, yep, Kelly gets it. <laughs> Hi Jack, how's it going? POV, I am watching your stream at school. Ooh, let's go. I hope you're showing the stream to everybody else so that everybody else at your school can know how cool I am. <laughs> Easy. A new cool be a good... What? A new cool be a good streaming thing app thingy for Twitch. Ping bomb. Please, for the love of God, what are you trying to say? What is that? That, that, mm. My brain hurts trying to read that. I know you can say, I know you can say something there. I, and I'm very, you might be onto something, but I have no way of knowing. Ethan, thank you so much for the follow, by the way. First time watching. Yeah, it tells me when it's your first message in chat. It's really awesome. Starting the landscape live on TikTok. Yeah, I'm doing the landscape right now, but I'm getting distracted by doing other things. But you know what? That's a smart shout. I will get on that right now. Because I'm going to need to bring over dirt. First things first, bring it in a little bit. Now it's time to bring it around town. <laughs> the meaning of life, but no one can understand. <laughs> the voice thing. Oh, you used like... Oh, I see. Okay, you used like your dictation. Well, let me tell you, your dictation is horrible. <laughs> I'm sorry. Everyone on TikTok like the live? Yeah, we're at 18.6k. Can we get to 20k likes on TikTok? Chat. Can we do it? Can we can we hit that 20k mark? We hit 100k like last week sometime. No, was it last week? Two weeks ago? I have no idea. So I don't have to go on Twitch? You can go on Twitch if you want to. And it is, per personally, it's the platform I prefer to interact with my audience on, but I stream on TikTok as well, so it's there's no reason for you not to be on TikTok either. I actually have some people that open up like all three tabs and watch me on three different platforms, and I'm like, that is amazing, and I'm so grateful for you. You know the infinite lava contraption? Uh, yeah, I do. It's uh, dripstone over lava, like it's... No, it's lava over dripstone, which is above cauldrons that are hooked up to comparators so that when they are full up, then it will push it along and then the next empty cauldron will fill up. Whoa! Oh, gamer kid, thank you so much for the follow and that is a one in 10 follow alert. We love to see it. Hi, Leah, how's it going? Pulling up Nook on all available streams. It's awesome. I will single handedly hit 20k likes myself if I have to. We're at 19.2k right now. So we're getting there really quick. Finally got pumpkin trades. Let's go! I love to see it. It's like a 50-50 chance, isn't it? Translation thing from before, Nuke. Do you... Any good streaming... Do you any good streaming mods for Twitch? Um... I, I still don't understand that. Is it streaming advice you're asking for? Because I, I, I'll be completely honest, I am getting very lost. <laughs> Can I play with you sometime? Uh, this is a single player world. I am going to be working on a viewer SMP. We have got a viewer SMP, but it is closed right now. Well, it's not closed, but it's uh, we've turned off invites. Um, right now because I am going to be working on a new one soon for when we have... Oh, we hit 20k likes! Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, TikTok. Thank you, Kelly. I don't know if anybody else was liking, but thank you, Te thank you, Kelly. <laughs> You're the goat for that. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I am going to be working on a viewer SMP so that you will be able to join for that as well. Stream with for Twitch. Audi, I am going to wait and see. How are you today? No, I'm doing really good, Ash. Thank you so much for asking. How are you doing? 
been a horrible day for me. I thought it wouldn't last until the evening. I swear, but I can't. Oh no, I'm sorry. I hope you've been. I hope you're feeling okay. I'm sorry to hear you're not doing too great. Has it It's going really good. I'm having a lot. Of, I'm. I'm chilling. We're doing some build projecting. We're vibing. It's going well. Chilling, etc., etc. Oh no. Never mind. Everything's horrible, and I hate myself. Fun fact, you can use multiple fingers to heart, I should know. Yeah. Your accent reminds me of Scott's Major. Can we you know, I'll do the thing. <laughs> every time I get every time I get compared to like some other creator, I'm just gonna press that button. It feels right. Yeah, I mean me and Scott are both Scottish and you know, relatively fruity, so that might be why. Honestly, potatoes are such an underrated food in MC. Mm. I wouldn't say so. I came from TikTok. Yo, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Relatively free. Yeah, I mean. Best way to say it, I suppose. So. Scott's chill. We've spoken a few times. I need more dirt for the bottom there. So, yeah. Relative to water, the question. I guess straight people? <laughs> We're relatively fruity compared to straight people? I don't know. Uh, Jordan and Corey, thank you so much for the follows on TikTok. I really appreciate it. Right, I need a dart. Can't argue with that. Yeah, right. I like the word zesty. Oh, zesty is a good word. I no longer identify as fruity. I now identify as zesty. That just sounds like I'm fruity, but I go to Zumba. <laughs> Do you like anime? Yeah, some anime. I don't watch it a lot, but I've watched like Attack on Titan, Parasite, Tokyo Ghoul. Um, is there any more? Death Note. Generally speaking, yes. Even if I don't watch it a lot. But I have watched a lot of them. Do you have a favorite? I'd probably say Attack on Titan is my favorite out of all of them, but that's pretty. That's a, kind of a basic one, and I acknowledge that. Um, I would say Death Note is a pretty close second for me because of. I like movies and media where they don't just make the characters idiots who make stupid decisions, like you see in pretty much every horror movie. Every where where they're like, I'm gonna run up the stairs. When the door is wide open, they mock it a lot in, like, mock movies. But, um... No, I like it when they make characters smart. One of my favorite horror movies is, uh, The Thing. Where it's, like, a bunch of science researchers trying to avoid getting murdered. And, you know... They're doing their thing, and they make smart decisions, but sometimes they just make fatal mistakes. And that's the kind of thing that I, I appreciate as movies when they trust the audience to... They trust, they trust the audience, almost. What computer do you play on? My computer is a custom-made one. I've got all the specifications down below my stream on Twitch. Um, it's my favorite horror movie. Hey, let's go. we love to see it. Also, T-Plays, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. But I, I have a similar thing with Death Note, where, like, the characters are very clearly smart. And they're very clearly not rationally thinking through all of the situations. But they'll just sometimes make mistakes where it means that the villain, who, let's get it right, light as the villain, will, you know, kill him. I like smart media. 
Queen's Gambit. That's fire. I've got the hiccups now. Oh yeah, Banner, I have a World Tour video on my YouTube channel at 3,000 days. I'm coming up for 5,000, so I will be doing another World Tour video for then. I like Nuke Mineer. He's smarty. Yeah! Also, hi, Barry. I, I saw your message, but I didn't even say hi. How are you doing? Do you use Light Matica? Not for any of my builds on here. I've used... Mm, that's a lie. I've used Light Matica for a couple builds, but I try and avoid it as much as I can. Because I think that takes away from it. So the only build on this... There are two builds I've used Light Matica for on this world. The first one is Red. Red the Parrot. This was one that I built on Creative and then use like Matica for. The other is my Biodome, which took 130, mm, 137,000 glass blocks and was more... wasn't because I couldn't do it, but more because I either was going to have to do it that way or count, and I just couldn't really be bothered doing that. So, yeah. Doing good. The spicy brain is stronger, but I am stronger. Okay, well, I don't know if... I, I don't know about that, but, you know... I hope, I hope you can overcome the spicy brain. What does that mean? Wait, what does that even mean? What does it mean to overcome the spicy brain? Do I even want to know what the spicy brain is? That just reminds me of the show Eye Zombie. On Netflix. God, that was a long time ago I watched that. I can't really watch that soon, actually. That was a weird one. That's a mortician who turns into a zombie. But like a half zombie. Or something like that. And then she eats brains to figure, like, solve crimes and stuff. Kind of a good show, actually. Spicy brain is the term I use for my undiagnosed mental health issues. Oh, fair enough. Well, I hope that um, stream helps with spicy brain. Rock! Can I put googly eyes on this? Nah, sorry, why is that my go-to? Hold on, I want to see if I can do googly eyes on this. I might put- I might be able to put googly eyes on a rock. Time for the chaos? That's okay! Welcome back to the chaos. Uh, black concrete. Can I reach that? And then I need some white stairs. So where's the quartz? There's the quartz. Smooth quartz. So we need two of those. Awesome. We're putting googly eyes on a rock. <laughs> Name the rock Gerald. Hmm. Don't hate that. Does it go like... This and this, and then we can go like that and that. Mm. <laughs> now it's not perfect. But Still kind of adorable. <laughs> yes, this rock this rock is giving bombastic side eye. Hold on, I'm gonna make him I'm gonna make him cuter. Hold on. Not only are we gonna have a pet rock, but we're gonna have a kawaii pet rock. What a weird thing to say. What a, what a weird ass thing for me to say. It's fine. It makes sense. Boop, boop. Hold on. Let's 
So I'm gonna see if I can bring up, bring it up. A bit more. Instead. Mm, nope. It doesn't need to go there. You go there. Then this would go there. This would go there. <laughs> Why am I doing this? What has possessed me to make a what has possessed me to make a kawaii rock? That that rock is the embodiment of tea. <laughs> I, you know, sometimes I wish I could argue with chat, but you're kind of right for that. <laughs> He's adorable. I I think this might be the best thing I've ever done. This might be the best thing I've ever done. Did you have any other hardcore worlds before this one? This is my third hardcore world. One of them lasted a month, one of them lasted less time. And this one has lasted me two and a half years. Anyway, this is the best thing I've ever done in all of my worlds. So, hey Siri, remind me at 8 p.m. tonight to make a TikTok about Gerald the Teehee Rock. Cool, didn't work. I have a full shotgun box of electric, no lie, all survival no juice. Yeah, I, I believe that. It's not difficult. You just need, it just takes a while. Siri said no. I mean, honestly, I don't blame Siri. I'm back. Benja meets Gerald the Teehee Rock. We made a kawaii rock. Why? Eh. Looks crunchy. I mean, don't, don't, don't eat Gerald. Good to know my Siri is going to remind me to talk. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, everyone. Hey, Siri, play Funky Town. There we go. Oh, good stuff. Oh, just in case anybody else has, like, something. Hey, Alexa, play Funky Town. Play Girls Just Wanna Have Fun. Girls, they wanna have fun. That is bound to work, surely. Have a Google Home. Hey Google, play Funky Town. My Alexa just popped. Yay! 
Damn it. <laughs> All right, this should be enough slabs. Oh, I'll just use the slabs, actually. Yeah, screw it. No, I forgot about the Google. Sorry, everyone. If I activated your home devices, sorry. But I'd just be glad I didn't make an order, like, 24 crates of beans. <laughs> hey, sit. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> chocolate. I got chocolate yesterday from my parents for, like, Easter. Finished it all. Finished it all very quickly. Yo! What the heck? Lemon with a five gifted? Holy! Guys, can we get some love in chat? Wait! Thank you so much! Oh, they went to some great people as well. Cozy Mel, awesome friend of mine. Oh, I love that. Most, Mosty was here. Misty? Misty was here earlier as well. Oh, I love that so much. I very much approve of the Teehee Rock. Honestly, if Teehee Rock is going to get me paid, then I am here for it. Oh my god, the angle. Wait, what if I do shaders? How does how does Teehee Rock with the shaders? Oh, a little bit grungy. Hold on. Ah, with the gifted to stream elements. Thank you so much, Benjo. Guys, let's keep the love flowing in chat. Thank you so much. Thank you. 466 gift subs what the, in the heck? Channel. You guys are insane. Thank you so much. You guys are incredible. Can we keep the rock? We're keeping the rock! The rock is staying. But what I need to do now is give the light some give the rock some light. How am I gonna give the rock some light? How am I gonna give Kawaii Rock some light? I'm thinking pearlescent frog lights. Don't know how yet. Put these away. Onto these, because that can maybe look good. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Don't know why I did that, just felt like it. You here? Yeah, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Underwater lighting. See, I don't dislike the idea of doing underwater lighting, but I want to be able to make it into like a little structure where it would, like, almost like you would see the ruins around in the ocean biomes. I want to do something like that. So I'm just going to, like... Ooh. I'll be in the corner. Yeah, Juno is our stream mascot. Legal duck, thank you for the follow. Um, legal duck as in you are legally a duck, or legal duck as in you file documents and uh, go to court and stuff. The wrong answer will get you banned. Be careful. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay, so I don't like how it uh, goes all the way across, so I'm thinking... Destroy some of it. And then at the back as well. Gerald, could you do Halo? Halo is reserved for dead people. And gamers. I'm illegal, but I must be invisible for police and FBI. Oh, got it. Okay. TTS is the best thing in the world. It makes me feel powerful. Gerald, the Tee Rock is the second best thing in the world. I am almighty. Ha 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 Platypus noise. Platypus noise. Do 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 we. For the record, the platypus noise is. Perry the Platypus, looks like you're just in time to witness me take off the tri-state area with my Rockinator. 
which seems completely improbable. And by completely improbable, I mean completely probable! Anyway, that's how my brain's working. How are your guys working? I don't have a brain. Perfect. No, we don't need a diamond hunt. I'm busy. I'm busy creating a little shrine for Gerald the Kawaii Rock. If this TikTok does not pop the hell off, I'm going to be so upset because everybody deserves to see Gerald's the, like, uh, Ger yeah, Gerald. Gerald the Kawaii Rock. Do I make a theme song for him? I'm trying to think of the best ways I can make this a work like a TikTok that would work really well. Gerald the Kawaii Rock. <laughs> Just dumb stuff like that. Oh. <laughs> this is gonna look so ridiculous. I love it. I love just doing these random, like, little side things. I like how the simple rock got eyes, then blushes, and now a shrine. Yeah, I mean, it's a slippery slope from, you know, making a rock to worshipping it. So, you know. Eh. Must be the lore for Gerald. Sometimes not everything needs lore, but if I do add lore, I'll write it off camera. Although I am happy to take suggestions in the Discord as well. Would you guys be interested in doing streams where we decorate a house in this world that we've already built but that maybe doesn't have an interior? Where we decorate one of the houses in this world and spend time creating stories for it with the input of chat as well because i did that during a two-hour stream where we built hold on i'll fly over where we built a house in the torch flower kingdom and we created this entire narrative of these this couple an adventurous couple um one of which was a veteran and had gone hunting for something else and through one of their diaries you can tell that they're getting increasingly worried about how long they'd been away and had been away for almost too long and started to get worried and so they then went on an adventure themselves and that's this one here so we have the Medal of Bravery. We've got uh, 25 things to do while you're alone. This was actually the origin of where I started doing the renaming books into different things. So one of them is an author. This is the one that uh, Lily is the author of an actual book called The Truest Oceans. We've got Lily's Diary in here, which is an actual written book that we spent some time going over. And I just want to add in things like these. We've got Military Drills 101. Like, oh, this was from when me and Will were building. We've got a map, we've got some exotic crystals, recovered treasures, coin artifacts, we've got some dress shirts, we've got a helmet and some military clothes in here as well. We've got some different beanies because uh, your gal's a writer, so she's she obviously wears beanies and sits in coffee shops. Detail to use chiseled stuff for my enchanting books. Yeah, I do. I actually have that as well. So I'm just thinking that maybe we do some streams where we actually spend some time writing stories for the people that live in this world. While not necessarily living in the world, I just think it'd be a really nice thing to do. I think it'd be a nice way to add more and flesh out the world more. 
I like that. And you guys seem to be quite keen on that idea as well. So I think that I think that's gonna be something I do. What I quite like the idea of doing as well. So yeah, that's gonna be something that I spend some time doing. Maybe we'll be able to get some more done in like more than just one. Can you build a pip up statue sometime? Maybe not in this world. Maybe in another world, but not right now. But like, I, I don't see any reason to build a Piplop statue as of right now, anyway. Granted, that being said, I never saw a reason to build a Kawaii Rock, but here we are with Gerald, so whatever. Maybe at another point, basically. That's more... Yeah, because one of the things that I have about my world is that if I died in this world, there would be nothing for anybody to explore. That's a lie. There wouldn't be nothing. There would be plenty for people to explore. But I want this to be a world where you can find stuff near endlessly. I would love that. Can I make a dog army? I will be making a dog army when they release the update and they, there's all the different variants. I'm going to be doing a long stream where I go and find them. Pardon me. Oh god, not another cult. Jesus Christ. Why have I why am I why do why does my community always start these cults? This happens this has happened like eight times. <laughs> if we die now we can explore the secret project before it's done. True, but you're not going to. Because I'm not gonna die before I finish that. Not a chance. Not a chance in hell am I gonna let that happen. Just little simple things like this. Mm. Very cult prone chat. Honestly, a little bit. Shaders! Oh, the most kawaii. I, um, yeah. This is just gonna be the rest of the stream. I've been live for almost five hours. For the rest of the time that I'm live, for the next two hours, we're just gonna sit here and stare at Gerald. That's all that's gonna happen. Hey, Spandy, how's it going? Yes, you got a gifted sub. How's everyone doing today? It's going good. We're, we've been doing some terraforming and building kawaii rocks. You know what? Somebody told me to build Gerald a boyfriend, and that reminded me of the um, volcano short from Pixar, the I Love Are You one. That's such a mood, that one. I love that one. I cried. Because of course I did. I got pins and needles on my leg, and I- oh god, oh no, ow, 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 I need to sit up. Ha! I never thought it would be part of a cult for a rock. Well, you never- you never do. And then it just hits you across the face, sometimes. Wait, what if I- can I do something else here? Hold on. Can I, like- I feel like- I can shape out Gerald a little more than just have him sitting in the bed of the water. I have an idea. It's just going to be using like cobblestone slabs, so it's not going to be huge. I'm just going to like take up his face a little bit. Be sleeping. Oh yeah, Juno has a little nap sometimes. She flies all the time. She's got to take a break sometime. She's just a sleepy gal. Kawaii means cute in Japanese. I'm aware. I'm aware of that. Actually, it's one of the first things that you learn when you're doing um, Japanese on Duolingo. There we go. It's slightly better. Uh, Jojo, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Hello, the Scottish man. Remember me? I recognize the name. I wouldn't say that to your the most instantaneously. 
recognizable because I don't think you're here a ton. But I at least recognize the username, which is more than I can say about a lot of people that ask that question, so... Yeah. Which movie is it before again? I honestly don't know. I would, I'd I'd probably guess Moana if I had to say one, but it, you can just find it on Disney+. Plus. That's your once before. Well, in that case, it's quite impressive that I even recognize your username. So, you know, fair enough. Dude, this is so dumb. Why did I do this? I love it. I do Duolingo, Japanese, Korean, and Spanish. Oh, nice. I do mostly French. I mostly do French. I do some Spanish. Um, I have a bunch of the courses. I just don't use a lot of them. He's beautiful. No, it's like how I'm beautiful, but I'm also dumb. I'm like the fact that I exist in the very first place is dumb as hell. But I'm also adorable. To use this to crack a joke. Oh no. By 8 o'clock yesterday and it was very time consuming. <sighs> you speak French? Ampu. A little bit. What's a playlist pure bangers? It's an epidemic sound playlist. I do not get bored after two weeks because I have my Twitch chat to keep me company. I have TikTok chat to keep me company. I have YouTube chat occasionally to keep me company. And I also have you guys suggesting stuff and also content to make. It was inside out. I looked it up. Oh, I see. Okay. I speak a little French. Yeah, so do I. I I'm not in any conversational level of French. I do want to be able to eventually say that I can, I can speak French fluently enough or read French fluently enough where I can actually interact with French people in my Twitch chat. Because I, I want to be a multilingual streamer eventually that's not really like a short-term goal that's one of those things that's just in the back of my head like as long as i'm while i'm learning french that could be something that i can do in future where i can cater to french audiences as well not necessarily for any other reason than the fact that i can might add more stress to me but oh, i don't fucking care i've got so much stress as it is that's not gonna add much what build did the longest? Probably this one that I'm doing right now. We're doing some terraforming. I'm going to run the back here. How do I spell y'all? I do speak a little Spanish as well, but not enough where... Like, I can understand you're asking me if I speak Spanish. I don't understand enough where I'd be able to answer in Spanish. Like, Spanish is another one that I'm like, I really should want to learn that more than I do. But because I've sunk so much, not sunk so much time, I've invested so much time in learning French already that I'd feel weird swapping. I do sometimes just randomly pick up another Spanish lesson on Duolingo and just like, yeah, that's fine. I understand, like, base, base Spanish. Un poco. Ah, right, okay. See, if I had time to think about it, I probably would have said that. Do you have any mods installed in your world? I have some mods. They're mostly quality of life stuff. Let me move over to the right so you can see them. Whoop! There we go. So these are all the mods that I have installed on my world. Yep, Juno telling you to remember to drink water. So these are all the mods. They're all very either util or um, performance based. So yeah, if you want to see those, you can do the clip and get that. I speak four languages, but it makes sense since uh, my school teaches four. Fair enough. I mean, I my school teach German and French. I was in the French class. I hated it so much that I dropped it as soon as I possibly could, but that was not because of the language. It was more because of the fact that my teachers up until that point made it boring as all hell. So, yeah. Ghibli farm. Well, that's kind of what we're calling it now at this point, because it's just like a very Studio Ghibli-esque kind of environment. Yeah! Like Studio Ghibli. I want to, like, I want to watch more Studio Ghibli farms because I've realized that I take a lot of inspiration from that kind of aesthetic. I need to, I want to watch Spirited Away, and I also want to watch Boy and the Heron, because I won an Oscar. Like, recently. I want to find where I can watch Boy and the Heron. I watched, I've watched Howl's Moving Castle like twice. 
<laughs> All you need to add is the moving castle with a mini castle for inside. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to build the moving castle in this world, although honestly, it would make for a hell of a YouTube video. So mm, honestly, not a bad shout. But I don't know if I want to go to the effort of designing and building it when I already have plans for the back here. So maybe not bad, just very strange. I feel like a lot of Studio Ghibli movies can be considered very strange. But I think there's a lot of beauty in the movies and that's kind of why I, I love them. I just like, I just like pretty things. <laughs> Which is why my house is full of mirrors. Oh my god, I'm so narcissistic, Jesus Christ. Do you have the mouse tweaks mod? Yeah, I believe I do. It's either mouse tweaks or inventory essentials. Yeah, I have mouse tweaks. Also, hey Jared, how's it going? I'm waiting till Nook builds an actual Nook. You mean like this one? <laughs> and this is this is part of a 24 hour build challenge that I started recording for YouTube and never, you know, carried on with it. But one of my favorite additions to this is just this little thing down here. Nokia phone. <laughs> Throughout everything, it still survives loads of random bullshit. So yeah. I also made Elder Guardians using their beams and I really like this. Okay, so was here. I don't get that reference. You have like, what's this? Yeah, your, your test subject, whatever. 0, zero, zero, zero dash zero 03 or something like that. Lots of stuff that I really like doing and I'm going to, I want to do more of at a certain point because I really liked this idea and this video idea that I was working on. So that's something I'll need to come back to, but you know. They never break, yeah. So that's something I'd, I'd like to be able to finish in future. But, eh. Again, I'm more focused on hardcore at this point. And the thing is, that... Um, the mushroom cloud in that world is actually something that I'd like to end up building in the end. I don't have any major projects for the end, like, fleshed out yet, but if I can turn that into the actual... Oh god, the lag, hello. If I can turn that into, like, a nuclear wasteland with the mushroom cloud as maybe, like, the, um... Enderman farm. Then I can. Uh, I'm gonna go now, Nook, but enjoy your stream and have, chat, have fun with Nook. Thank you, Slime. It was lovely to have you here, as always. Keso is a streamer and he's big, so it's... Oh, he's overweight. Okay. Uh, so it's charming fat jokes about him, but it's all satire. Okay, fair enough. You know how the Vault Boy's famous pose is him doing a thumbs up? Yep, turns out that he's actually checking to see if the explosion cloud is bigger than his thumb because apparently if it's bigger than his thumb, that means he's screwed and oh shit, start running. Okay, so if you have time to check whether or not an explosion is bigger than your thumb, you're fine. And if it's and if you spend the time checking, you're already dead. <laughs> Quite frankly, if it's something you have to check, then yeah, you're probably fine. However, I suppose if you're like really, really, really far away, you know, I'm in my mindset. I was like, what if I'm having like five miles away? 
I wouldn't spend time doing that. You'd get like the massive flash of white light and you would have to duck and fucking cover. I wouldn't spend time being like, uh, is my thumb bigger? Because at a certain point, rationale goes out the window and you just want to duck and cover. Which realistically is probably what you should do. And breathe through your teeth so that your ears don't implode. For some reason, there's always like these threads on Reddit that are like, what is something that, what is a random fact that could save your life? And it's like, for some reason, there's always stuff about nuclear bombs. So for whatever reason, I have a lot of random knowledge about it. Like, don't close your, like, you have to breathe through your teeth, but like, keep your mouth open during that like, sound wave, because otherwise you'd shatter your eardrums. I don't know why this is knowledge I have, it just kind of is. But I don't know. My girlfriend told me about it, she's a huge Fallout fan, and the reason I'm playing Fallout 76, but the fandom is the reason I've been dragged back into Fallout 4, same way that the Death Claws are scary. Well, death they're called Death Claws, so you would assume they are scary. It's probably bigger than your thumb. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. If an explosion goes off anywhere near me, I'm running like fuck. Bad, bad idea. Bad idea, you're dead. You're not going to outrun it. You're not going to outrun it. The best thing to do is find, like, a sturdy place to hide. Until the shockwave passes over you. Gosh, there was a PSA in the 60s about nukes. I wasn't alive in the 60s! I didn't know about these PSAs. Nuke really has the knowledge of Nuke Super. Oh, I forgot my name was Nuke. <laughs> I did. I forgot how relevant that was. That's so funny. <laughs> I sometimes forget the connotations of my own name. I'm working on getting a collection of Fallout merch, a Fallout game merch, and some real items from the Nuclear Orton. Oh, that's really cool! You should save up for Nuke Nukery merch, because when we hit 5,000 days, there's gonna be merch. I'm gonna be doing merch. How you jump like that? Um, I have firework rockets, so you can do that. I've got a trident, which means I can do this. With the Reptite enchantment. Oh, how do I jump two blocks? I've got a beacon nearby, so I have jump boosts too. Every level of jump boost you have means you go up another half block, I believe. Put me doing merch. I'll be doing merch on, yeah, at 5,000 days when I release the video as well. So, yeah. I've wanted to for a while. It's going to be, honestly, is the Kawaii Rock going to make it into the merch now? It's very possible. <laughs> they just start selling rocks. <laughs> I dare you to use an 8-touch pack for 10 minutes. I'm good. I will buy all of the Nuka remotes. You guys are insane. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Just got the first case of joke. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I don't love those jokes. Even if he's fine with them, I don't love the jokes about people's weight. Especially if it's something that... Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of them. Like, I'm glad that, like, Case was able to yeah. joke about them, so good for him. Uh, Frightberries, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. That was on Twitch, by the way, for those of you watching on TikTok. I'm a history nerd, so I have a couple of historic items currently. My pride and joy is a, a pure gold pencil sharpener that has been in my family for generations. Yes, I've used it, and yes, I think it's haunted. Okay, so here's the next question to ask. Who would spend their entire afterlife haunting a pencil sharpener. I don't know, spirits are weird. Or, or, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up one second. Or, or, they're not real! Oh, I didn't zoom out. Hold on, there we go. There we go, much better.
It reminds me of this conspiracy theory. It was like all the different variations of like US dollar notes. Um, when you fold them a certain way, they look, they make up the story of 9-11. And I'm like, okay, what? And looking at it, you can see why they would say that. But people have a habit of looking for patterns where there aren't any. And I think this may be another case of that. I think that's a lot of the thing, like, th that's the thing with ghosts. It's like people look for patterns, people look for these kinds of things. Even if subconsciously, that kind of justifies their belief in it. There's a word for that. There is, and I can't remember. I want to say it's like Apladia or something like that. Or Palladia. I honestly can't remember what it's called, but it's it's got a name and it's bugging me that I don't have it on hand. I just can't stop saying dark things. I mean, dark humor is like food and not everyone gets it. Yeah. You you should have been here earlier when I was going over all of my um, Andy Riley books that I got when I was younger. There's Great Lies to Tell Small Kids, um, Selfish Pigs, The Book of Bunny Suicides, you know, you know, good shit. For those of you just joining or have no idea what I'm talking about, they're all cartoons and they're all very funny. Apophenia? Okay. I'll t yeah, that sounds about right. Like, sorry for that. No, you're all good. Oh god, I believe in ghosts because I personally have had my own experience that made me a believer, but I understand if you don't believe and I won't force you to, but something everyone should do is respect the dead out of her. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I just don't I just don't believe in ghosts. I just don't think it's a plausible thing that could happen. Cuz every ghost is from the 1800s even though there's been hundreds of millions of years on earth. Um Yeah, that's my first point. I'm not trying to like dissuade you from your belief either. I just want to explain my disbelief. Kind of like how whenever somebody brings up religion, that's something I explain as well. Oh, I never got the fucking Akaki I would. Super coincidence that to ghost another spirit creature, I'm not like taking my chances. Oh, yeah, for sure. Put it this way, how was Earth made? Wait, what? Is this from a belief standpoint or from a science standpoint? Because if it's a belief standpoint, I don't believe that somebody snapped their fingers and made it a thing. And I'm not gonna get into religion in my channel. More like it's me. It's on me for bringing that up in the first place. I'm not gonna get into religion and belief systems. People are free to believe whatever they want. I personally am an atheist, but I'm not going to shun anyone for believing in a higher power, regardless of what my thoughts are on that. What was I doing? Acacia wood. God, I keep forgetting. Can make the glow berries as well. Ooh, we're doing the flying. There we go. I remember seeing Edson in an old cemetery that was completely destroyed by some teenagers and broke my heart. That's awful. I sometimes on TikTok will end up on the side of TikTok where it's these absolutely wonderful people restoring gravestones or cleaning gravestones and every time i end up on that side of tiktok my heart is like so full i am so happy to see stuff like that it makes me really really happy just to see things like that because it's like not everyone's a shit heel it's just it's nice to see that kind of content it's the same thing as well, like people mowing lawns for free and only the only thing they ask is for people to interact with their content so that they can afford to still do it for free. I love that. Like that is one of my favorite things about TikTok. And it's unfortunate. It is unfortunate with the US passing what might ban TikTok in the US because it will unfortunately make a lot of that impossible for people to do. But no, I just, I love those types of videos. 
I think it's great. Okay. <laughs> it's just a, it's just a little kawaii rock shrine there. Oh, here we go. We're getting the ads. Are you from England? I'm from Scotland. Don't wait, do I have an emote for this? Hold on. Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> Adj. That side of YouTube quite... Oh, I'm on that side of YouTube quite a lot, and the areas of Texas that uh, small down and a city in some ways, but whenever I go out to the countryside, my late granny granny Pooh's house is I walk oh, where my late granny's house I walk to the decade old cemetery that's right across her house and I pay her respects to the overgrown graves. Yeah. It's more about just paying respects and I, I fully I fully respect you doing that as well. That's really awesome of you. Scotland forever. Yep. Yeah. Uh, put the cobblestone back. I think I'm going to actually stop. I'm trying. I'm trying so hard to like not get distracted by chatting with you guys and keep doing this stuff at the same time. But sometimes I just get swept up in the conversation with you guys, and I just end up like flying around while I'm chatting, which I don't necessarily have a problem with. I just feel like I like whenever I'm looking back and was like, what did I do today? It's like. I don't always have a lot to say. Oh, I need scaffolding, though. But what I will say is, though, I don't think anyone can rival the fact that we made a kawaii rock today. No one's rivaling that. Best stream ever. Tubathon who? <laughs> Chat streamer doesn't like chatting with us. No, I like chatting with you guys so much, I'm just horrible at multitasking. That was not the takeaway here. <laughs> now are the ads running? Damn it. One day the ads will disappear. No, Corey, please don't do that. I, I need to add this to my boundaries. Please don't diagnose me. I don't have ADHD. Not as far as I know, and I don't really have any interest in going to get diagnosed with it because I don't... It doesn't affect me in any way. I would do that. Yeah, it's just something that has happened a few times, and every time it's like... Whenever somebody's like, Oh, Nook, you clearly have ADHD. I'm like, Ugh, God, gross. You're not a doctor. It's just one of those things that I'm like, Okay, calm it. I actually don't remember if I added it to my boundaries or not. Maybe I didn't. I need to. But I'm not so far. Hi, Lizzie. How are you doing? From Scotland as well, but I can't say I've heard that accent before. Yeah, I would say it's kind of a combination of my parents' accents. I don't go into detail where I'm from or, it's, you know, with, to add to that, where my parents are from, because that seems a little bit redundant. But yeah, I don't tend to... I do tend to get, like, oh, that's a posh accent for a Scotsman. I'm like, great, thanks. Oh dear. But, meh. Yeah. You know? Right, it sounds like the live again. Oh god, Kelly. <laughs> Thank you. Ah. 
Just because someone has symptoms does not mean that they have the condition, do not self-diagnose or diagnose others as there are many overlapping traits or different conditions and claiming to be something when they are not can be harmful. Absolutely. I made this joke before. I was like, I don't think I've got ADHD. I'm pretty sure I'm just gay. <laughs> and something else that has come up with me before is that... Not the fact that I'm gay. That's kind of obvious. But um, when males tend to have a much higher... Not tolerance for... But like, I don't know how to describe this. They tend to exhibit symptoms while not having ADHD much more often than with females. I know that it's very, like, case-by-case case kind of thing. Has got him back. Yeah, sorry, you just came in at the time when the ads are running. We run them once every hour for three minutes. Um, in order to avoid pre-rolls when you come in, but unfortunately that does not that does sometimes come with the fact that sometimes we will jump in just as we're away to start the ads. So you just kind of got bad luck on that one. That was just unlucky by me. Yeah, well, I appreciate the understanding and thank you for being patient while you, you know, suffered through the ads as well. Anyway, this is, this is Gerald. He is a kawaii rock. We built him earlier. Where can we find your boundaries? They are in my Discord. Um, which doesn't help considering I don't have that linked on my TikTok. To be fair, there's not a lot of boundaries that bother me. I think the ADHD and like people diagnosing me one is probably the one that annoys me the most when some people when people do it. Again, I should clarify, it's not something that I'm going to be holding a grudge over at all. I'm just like, okay, let's not do that again. And whenever someone's like, okay, fine. I'm like, okay, cool. Problem solved. Good thing I don't get ads on YouTube. That's because, yeah, you're subscribed for that, aren't you? Wait, do subscriptions on YouTube take away the ads? Or no? Twitch also just isn't great with ads, but I'm also on mobile, so I'm a on big stream delay how are you oh fair enough i'm doing good we've just been working away on the terrain today we've done a lot of it actually um in the over the last five hours as well as built kawaii rock and added some beacons to my windmills so yeah we're just we're just kind of vibing at the moment I, how is this looking actually this is actually looking pretty good i do want to curve this one around a bit more because it looks a bit weird like that Awesome. Don't get ads at all. Fair enough. So I'm never paying for YouTube Premium because I like watching Marble Hornets for free. Yeah, fair enough. Kawaii Rock on Kawaii. You know what? Just started off as a rock and then I was like, what if I gave it eyes? And then I was like, but what if I make it Kawaii? So I added some blush plink, plink, pink terracotta to it. And now this is Gerald the Kawaii Rock. And I, I hate to say it, but I would probably die for... Gerald the Kawaii Rock. So, yeah. Hey, I'm new to the stream. Love the world. Thank you so much, Freddy. I appreciate that. The Teehee Rock. Yeah. Oh, while I'm over here, actually, let me go over and do some of this. Boop. I should just get burnt. Oh, God. I need to make... I When the crafters come out, this is gonna get so, so nerfed, this farm. Not nerfed, but it's gonna... Probably buffed, actually. Buffed farm? Mm, yeah, probably. But my god, this is just gonna... Ugh. Ugh. Maybe I should find a way to turn this iron farm off. Because I do have a lot of it. <laughs> and I don't exactly need any more.
I don't know. Feels like something I should maybe look into. Okay. Separate the zombies and the villagers to turn it off. No. Yeah. But I'm wondering what the best way to do that is. Because in my head, it was an absolute nightmare in the first place getting them all in to the position where it would start working. Here's my question. If I stick glass over a... Um, over a villager. Obviously, it won't suffocate them because it's glass and it's a transparent block. But does that also mean that the zombies don't see them anymore? Piston wall. See, that's kind of what I'm thinking as well. Hmm. How often do you stream? I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, and I'm going to be trying out to stream tomorrow as well, where I do something other than Minecraft. Um, it's going to be a shorter stream. I'm going to... I'm not quite clear on what time I'm going to do it at yet. Maybe later on at night. Um, it's going to be like a just chatting style stream. But I'm going to have stuff to do while live. Okay, I'm probably just going to end up chucking a bunch of this in a bin somewhere, aren't I? But first, let me shove it in a shulker box. Because I can. You're following Twitch. Thank you so much. Yeah, Twitch is probably the main platform I want to grow on right now um, because I would like to reach Twitch Partner by TwitchCon this year considering the fact that I have <laughs> my set, my birthday is on the second day of it. How do you get rid of the stacks of items that quickly? If you hold uh, Control and Q, you can throw an entire stack and when you hold that down and hover over your mouse, it, you can just do that. So... Whether or not that's the holding and dragging is a thing with mouse tweaks, I'm not entirely sure, but control and Q can... No, that's something I can do on Vault Hunters as well, so no, it's uh, that's a universal thing. Chatty Live? Yeah. I mean, I may be a bit distracted by the game as well, because it's like, for those of you that are aware of TikTok trends, it's like the... Um... The thorn and balloons one, so I'll be like throwing uh, like a little spiky ball at a bunch of balloons and trying to pop them. And seeing how that goes. <laughs> For some reason, it's really, really entertaining to watch. So I'll be trying to be like a hard level of that, I guess. But I think it'll be cool. I think it'll be chill. Uh, Frosa, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Is that you, Freddy? Coming over from TikTok. Oh, I need... Ah, I need the hanging roots. That's something else that I'm missing. Just give me a follow. Yep, there you are. Thank you so much. I appreciate it a ton. We're coming over 20,000 followers on Twitch soon as well, which is crazy to believe. Play Minecraft on this damned laptop. I've been forced to relearn Bedrock on the Xbox and it's so confusing. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that. Hey, it's me, Marble. Hey, Marble. How are you doing, Marble? Nice to see you, Marble. Maybe if I say it less, then it will sound like a real word. Marble. Nope. Hanging roots, that's what I came over here for. What's the next big project you're planning on creating? I don't have any future plans for new projects. I'm focusing a lot this year on... Pardon me. The projects that I already have. So things like my Amethyst Kingdom, the Steampunk Kingdom, that's the same thing. The Biodome. Like, stuff like that. I'm planning on finishing up a lot of my projects and connecting them all this year as well. Through varying paths and different things like that. 20, Jesus Christ, 20 quid. Yeah, it's, it's wild and it is insane that I've been put in this position where I have this many followers on Twitch. Ow, my face. But I am so universally grateful for anybody that's taken any amount of time to click the follow button on whatever platform you're watching on. Or subscribe if you're on YouTube. Hey Goku, how's it going? And if and on TikTok, Katie, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. 
I'm just like endlessly grateful. I have no other words to describe it. Oh, I've got two spare. Let me just use these. Which Twitch combo will you be going to? I'm going to be going to the U EU one. I can't afford to go to the US one. I'm not in a financially stable enough position where I can afford that. Otherwise, I would 100% go. I've got a lot of people that watch my content in the US and I would love to have the opportunity to meet a lot of my US community, but I just, I can't afford it. Maybe in future, if I, even if I pop off this year and end up in a position where I'd be able to afford it, first of all, that would be insane. Um, but that would be something I would consider doing is going to America this year if I could afford it. I feel as I see if Sokka actually gets a girlfriend move on. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, thank you so much for being here, Corey. If you're able to leave the stream open to help out with that average viewership, then that would mean the absolute world. But of course, don't worry about it. You want to learn a la new language or no? Um, I'm learn We actually talked about this earlier, about what languages we were learning on Duolingo. I'm learning French on Duolingo right now. How did you get those skills? The ghost skull? Which one? You make a brother? Thank you very much, Fletch. I, I appreciate those kind words. It takes hard work and, uh, yeah. Hopefully the hard work will be paying off. The ghost skull. Oh, is that? Oh, the ghast skull. Oh, that's a data pack called more mob heads. Is there any mods on your world? There are a few mods on my world. I can't show you them right on TikTok because of the off-centered screen. But I have a few quality of life mods, none of which make any real changes to the world. Why was I auto-modded? Oh, I've no idea. Oh, I see why. Um, because you shorten Japanese and the way that... Uh, so I'm doing Russian and Japanese, some German and French. So I will say, so the way that uh, you worded that, I know, I know exactly what you meant. But back in um, World War Two, uh, that's how a lot of the U.S. and U.K. military referred to the Japanese forces, and it was, it's kind of become a derogatory way of referring to Japanese people. So that's probably, that's why it was flagged for, like, ethnicity and race and stuff. So that's why it was automated. Obviously, I know that you didn't mean any ill intent behind it, but it's obviously worth explaining why it was automated, especially when I know. Half the time, automod will just pick random words and be like, well, that's not right. And it's just something like, oh, cool, you're building a tree. And it's like, what, what, was, it, what, what was offensive about that? Don't know this is weird. Oh god! I just got jump scared by my own raid alert. Uh, do you know how to pre make Minecraft not tab out when you press Windows key or go to another monitor? Uh, F3 and P at the same time. Pyro! Hey! How's it going? Welcome on in. Welcome in, Raiders. Late night time. Rather than going to do the matter thing. Well, look, my friends. Thank you so much, my dude. I really appreciate it. For those of you joining from the raids, possibly for the first time seeing my chat or my community, welcome on in. I'm Nick Stewart from Scotland. We're currently in my long-term hardcore worlds of coming up for three years in August. No, October. You know what? Suspicious. I'm going to drop a follow. Thank you very much. We are heading for 20,000 followers on, t on Twitch, which is absolutely baffling. Not Among Us. We have uh, different follow alerts. Did you build all of this? I did build all of this. This isn't on a server. This is a single player world. Um, but yeah, I've had this world for since October 2021. And we are doing some terraforming today. And yesterday was St. Paddy's Day. So we built a little pot of gold and I made a little guy in there as well. So yeah. <laughs> but let me thank some of the followers. Sorry, my brain has just stopped working. Uh, Unfaithful Raccoon, Wavy Oryx and Emix. Thank you so much for the follows, you guys. Oh, today we made a Kawaii Rock as well. How could I forget about Gerald? Is a Kawaii Rock Gerald? We love him. <laughs> One in ten follow alert. Well done, John. Thank you so much. And Exy, thank you so much for the follows as well. I really appreciate it. How did we reach twenty-five thousand likes on TikTok? No idea. Anyway, thank you so much. So yeah, Kawaii Rock, terraforming. 
Streaming is going a million miles an hour. Listen, I'm Scottish and gay. I talk fast. <laughs> you get used to it really fast. I'm zesty and Scottish. We like it's a compounding speedy talk. Okay. Plus we're coming up for five thousand days. So yeah. I would be a great auctioneer, except I trip over my words more than I actually say anything. You said zesty, of course I said zesty. It describes me perfectly. Uh Yomomati, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. And of course, when I do reach 5,000 days, I will be making a YouTube video world tour and releasing some merch. So if you want to go and subscribe there, you can, or you can join my Discord to get any updates on any of my content that I'm making. If anybody has 2,500 channel points, could somebody redeem the fishing redeem? Because I want to go fishing for a little bit and chill the hell out. Scottish people talk loud and fast. Get over it. No, get over it. Just get used to it. Yeah! There we go. Oh my god. I want you guys... Twitch, I want you guys to listen to the smashes that just got sent on TikTok. Jesus Christ, the Son of God loves you and died for your sins. Please read the New Testament. Nah. I'm gonna read some new Minecraft fan fictions. <laughs> So I'm going to start a channel point prediction. If you're watching this on Twitch, you can use your channel points to vote on whether or not you think I'm going to fish up an enchanted item within five minutes. Why your shulker boxes look different? I have a... Um, I have a mod that allows me to put stuff on top of it. It's called like Shulker Plus or something like that. I can't remember specifically. That was an odd time to rejoin. Right. We want to stray further from God, not get closer. <laughs> Oh, amazing. It's not a texture pack, unfortunately, no. Dylan, thank you so much for joining. That's not a follow. Oh, it's Peter with the ro uh, the GG's. I heard the gift and thought it was a follow, so I just read the first message I saw there. World Tour, I have it on YouTube. Link in my bio. We have got 5,300 channel points on whether or not I'm going to fick up, fick up? fish up an enchanted item. Oh, boy. They didn't summon make a Minecraft Bible. Oh, maybe... That might be a thing. What template did you use for your armor? I've used a, I've used a bunch of different ones because I've actually found eight. So I have got the silence armor on my chest plate and leggings. I've got the host armor trim on my helmet and I've got the shaper armor trim on my boots. And all together, I look fancy as fuck. I look dope as hell, man. I look so good. Okay, are we done with the prediction? We are, we've got five, th yeah, same same amount. So let's just go fishing for a little bit. Bam, let's do this. Where's the sun's rising, so we're all good. So when we fish up a treasure, there's like a one in six chance of it being an, um, a bow, an enchanted book, or a fishing rod. Have a followage command? I do have a followage command. You've been here for almost three years? Oh my god. <laughs> that is wild. I bet if I, I bet if I checked your um chat history, it would be nothing. Not for any like malicious reason. I just it's that it's usually when people are shocked at how long they've been following. It's usually that. Really nice indeed, but my favorite is Snout or something like that template. Oh, I see. Okay. I just liked it. Like, I like the I like the Halo esque style helmet I've got going on. Uh, Lucas, thank you so much for the follow. Oh, we got one. Mending and lure two. GG's believers. Let's go. That was fast as well. Almost just under just over a minute. Sweet. Aki, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. What is your luck? Listen, we didn't get one earlier, Cam. So you, you just seem to predict it when I actually do get it. So yeah, we did get one. So, oh, Cam put 3,000 points in. Oh, Cam. Oh, no. You did not need to put that much in. 
Harry Totems look like that. That is a texture pack. It's a website that's no longer available, though, unfortunately. I put my skin in and it turned out that. Wait, what? I just got 1k when I had nothing. Let's go. We love to see it. Your name is very... Oh my god. Wait, when? What was that? Repair your elytra? Yeah, I need to go and repair my elytra, so I'm going to be flying over to my... Um... Piglin farm. Skin MC site for it now, was it? Oh, is it really? Oh, awesome. Cool. Hello, I am not a good editor. That is not a flex. There are plenty of people that are not good editors. Who are you? I'm Nuke. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, terrible editor. You didn't say you were terrible, you just said you weren't good, so maybe I shouldn't have added the terrible part. What is your favorite building or achievement that you haven't made? Probably, my favorite build is probably my ocean monument. So being an editor is not to flex. This person who said that is called that free editor. Just so you have the context there, Jared. <laughs> Honestly, respect for editing regardless, because it's a it's a quite a tough thing to get started with. That's me, Jared. Oh, I see. You piece of shit. You piece of trash. God damn it. Fair play. I got got with that one. I don't know why you follow me after saying all that, but thank you for the follow. <laughs> Someone who loves making things but hates the editing part. See, here's the thing. I absolutely adore editing my YouTube videos, but it's... I only like editing when it's actually editing and not cutting down a VOD. That part, I hate. It's so mind-numbing to me. Regardless of how entertaining I am. Peter Griffin, thank you for the four roses. Boop. Will you just stop playing after slash if you die in-game? No, I'll start a new world. So anyway, this is my- oh no, lag. This is my ocean monument. And it is my favorite build in this world. I built this freehand with no plan in about five days. So yeah. Hey Vist, how's it going? I have a love-hate relationship with it. It's one of those things that I have fun and I have suffering. Yeah. How is your build so good? Uh, lots of practice. I see what's your favorite. Yeah. You're so creative. Thank you. I have the kelp bridge around here. I've got the sea pickles, the starfish, the, the little clam shells here as well. I wanted to stay true to how the monument kind of looks, so I made it... I basically made it an ocean theme. And then I had the channeling trident with the lining up here. And when it rains, it actually does strike the lightning. Because I've put lightning rods on top. So, yeah. I also I custom made this island over here as well. I wish you could build as good. You can, just practice. Like, I didn't just do this because I I know how to build. I learned how to build over a long time. It's also my guardian farm, but that's kind of obvious. Or the different chest. There's yeah. Piss Island. Stop calling it that! Not gonna lie, you're underrated. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. People tell me that more often than not. <laughs> and what's really entertaining to me is that the people who commonly say, my god, you're so underrated, more people should be watching you. They never show up again. I love it. It's so, so funny to me. Uh, Elias and King Bryson, thank you so much for the follows. I really appreciate it. Do you have an iron farm? Because I'm trying to build one in hardcore, but I'm not sure which one is good. 
Um, I would say just watching, looking them up on YouTube will give you plenty of tutorials. Who said Piss Island? You did! You said Piss Island! And also Water Munch. <laughs> when I did that collaboration last Friday. So yay! I just fell off my bike and broke my arm. Oh dear. Maybe you should be better at riding your bike then. That's mean. I hope you feel better soon. I hope your arm's not completely fucked up. Anyway, today we've made a kawaii rock. There's also the leprechaun yesterday. How did it end up? Oh god, I've not finished the I've not finished the leprechaun yet. I need to do more of the leprechaun. What are you doing today? We've been doing some terraforming. I've been to be fair, I've been live for five and a half hours, so I've just been kind of vibing. Anyway, this is the this is the state of the leprechaun. <sighs> His hat is an issue. I'll fix the hat. I'll fix the hat at some point. I'm probably going to do it off camera because it's a lot of just going in a book and pressing buttons. But it'll be a nice thing to show off once it's done. So, you know. Quite right, to be fair, I was on my phone riding my bike. Yeah, you should probably go to the doctors or something instead of typing on your phone. How long do you think you'll be alive for? Uh, uh. I want to say an hour and a half, but probably not that long, considering I've done everything I thought to do today. You like 30k? My god, Kelly, you're insane. How many days are you on? I am on day 4,833. We've been streaming for a long time. Maybe I do some more farming. I do need nine chocolate boxes of hay bales for a project I've got. So maybe I'll just do some farming for a while. Are you live on Twitch? I'm live on Twitch, YouTube, and TikTok. I would love for Twitch to do the best out of all of my platforms because I'm aiming for Twitch Partner this year. So any support over on Twitch means the absolute world. So yeah. We're also coming over 20,000 followers on TikTok as well. Not TikTok, sorry, Twitch. Which is absolutely wild. Hey Pika dude, how's it going? Story, thank you for the follow, I really appreciate it. Farming for the last hour of stream? Maybe not for the entire time. Like I'll do I'll do a decent amount of Um farming, but I'm not gonna be doing crazy. Amount of farming. So five thousand is coming up. Five thousand is coming up, and I need to talk to an artist about getting some designs done for the merch. It won't be, like, specific to the 5,000 days, but it will be... I, I always am conscious of my merch in a sense of, like, I want it to be wearable by anyone. So I have some ideas for what I want the art to be. And I might do some of it myself, because... You know, it's something I want I want to be able to do stuff like that myself. I'm I am a very like self-sufficient content creator. I always try and do as much as I can myself. When MCCR2, MCC Rising, for those of you that don't know, was a um, was basically an MCC non-canon event where other creators could join. I like me and my team, I decided at one point to literally learn how to animate using Blender for a section of our video. If you want to see my MCCR application, you can watch on my YouTube channel. It's still there. But uh, yeah, we decided to do some animation from like a zombie apocalypse standpoint. And so, yeah, that was something I did. Is this your first big world? This is my biggest world to date. Um, honestly, actually, yeah, this is probably my biggest world. So, yeah, probably my first big world as well. Juno better be incorporated. I'm sure I'll find a place for Juno in the merch. I do have an idea. All right, Beast, good luck. I'll be live tomorrow. All right, sounds good. I don't know what time I'm going to do the live tomorrow yet. I may, I'll maybe do it around 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. 
I really have no idea. This year's a dub. Yeah, I'm closer to 5,000 days at this point, actually. But yeah, you still live? Yep. Seven hour streams. Uh, Riley, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Who are you reading? I'm live on TikTok and Twitch at the same time, actually. So I'm live on three different platforms. I'm multi-streaming. I'm, I'm a multi-streamer. I'm crazy. Ooh. <laughs> chat said, please don't say that chat's dead. That's a little rude. Chat's not dead. It's just in a brief coma. Bro? Oh god, not hitting me with a bro. Is this recorded? No, this is not recorded. I am responding to you in real time, so I don't know why you would be asking that now. Multi stream pog you, right? Crazy. I think pretty cool thing is to make a statue of an animal you like or dinosaur for 5k days. I have some ideas for 5k days. It'll usually be. I'll do the usual thing that I do on milestone days, where I make like the fifth game. The first cake of the game. It's the only times I ever make cakes in this game. Um, and I'll make a little sign as well at spawn. My little monument. You stream touch? I sure do. Uh, Guru, thank you so much for the follow on Twitch. I appreciate it. Is it just me or is Minecraft just getting more popular on TikTok? I don't know. I hope it's getting more popular on TikTok because then that means that I can do well. <laughs> I was talking with my friend the other day and actually view Twitch viewership of Minecraft is actually the lowest it's been in a couple of years, which is wild. Found you on TikTok, love the ocean monument design. Thank you so much. Completely random, completely impromptu, freehand did that one. No idea how I managed to do that, but thank you. I really appreciate it. Also, I love the name of your, like, I love the color of your name. It's like slightly off of the bright ass yellow. That can be really jarring. It's like a muted yellow. I like it. Also helps that the new update is looking good. The new update is going to be one of the coolest things ever. It's going to be so good. Nuke the likes. 29.2k. <gasps> oh my god. TikTok, we're getting close to 30,000 likes for the stream, which is absolutely wild. So, you know, do the little tippy tappies and let Kelly take a break. Kelly's been, like, going so crazy with the likes recently. New weapon. New weapon. I'm so excited. Back. Welcome back. It's wild. Have you even gone to the toilet today or have you... Oh, I've been to the toilet. Yeah, no. Are you on? Are you on the toilet now, so you don't have to leave stream? I actually have a bottle taped to my leg. No, I I did take breaks to go to the bathroom. I just don't need to. You know? The fall damage thing with the mace is crazy though, it's kinda OP in my opinion. Oh no, they're fully gonna they're fully gonna nerf it. I said this earlier. If they're gonna nerf it, they're gonna cap it. They're gonna cap it to a point where you can only do like maybe 10 times the damage. Use fortune to get more seeds. I don't need more seeds. What I need is wheat. No, put me back. What I need is the wheat, and you can't get more wheat using fortune, unfortunately. So, you know. You sure you don't have a bottle taped to your leg? I'm pretty sure. Why would you make an automatic farm? Because I kind of like the idea of having my statistics go up for this. Like... Seventy-four thousand nine hundred and fifty-nine times. I just like the idea of it going up. I just like the idea of doing it this way. Re 
realistically, I could do both. But sometimes it's nice to just kind of turn your brain off and just kind of do something to take your mind off of all the other crazy stuff you've got planned in a world. My thumbs. My god, guys, thank you so much for the 30,000 likes on TikTok. You guys are absolutely insane. Thank you so much. Yeah, sometimes when Minecraft, it's easier. Like, this is a nice way to, like, separate your motivation for things as well, is by turning off your brain, doing something mindless, like, literally just doing some farming or doing some terraforming or, like, something like that. Like, or destroying a world ready for terraforming. And it gives you time to refresh and get your motivation and inspiration back. So sometimes it's just nice to have moments like these. Twitch and TikTok too. Yeah, I know. I'll just refer to you as you are talking on... Like, as I'll refer to you as what your account name is on the platform you're talking about. I'm not going to just call you Jared on all three of them. Because effort. Uh, like, that's remembering three names, not one. Well done all your accounts. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. That will help me out a ton. What would you say your biggest project you have worked on in this world is and what's your favorite? My favorite is probably my um, Ocean Monument. Uh, we went over there earlier, but if you want to see it, you can go on my world tour video on YouTube. But the longest working project right now is this one right now. Because of all the amount of terraforming and... Like, all the amount of terraforming that I have to do. Like, any of the one deep areas around here that you see is all land that I had to bring down to that level. And also now we have a kawaii rock. <laughs> to put in effort. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you need to take your brain off and just do some mindless content from time to time. Not content, sorry. You need to do some mindless tasks so that you can refocus yourself. Kissing the homies good night is not gay. No, of course it's not gay. If you're gay, it's gay. If you're not gay, it's not gay. Not that it particularly matters either way. How long did it take to build the rainbow? Oh, that was done in like two days. The glass at the very least. The, the candles were done fairly recently and that took me much longer because of the fact that I had to gather all the string for it. I already had the honeycomb. But yeah, that was a uh, that took me a while. <laughs> yeah, the glass was done very quickly. The candles, on the other hand, were not, because there I think there's about a hundred. I want to say there's about 120 stacks of glass there, but that might be underselling it a little bit. I use a lot of candles. <laughs> On TikTok, I've only seen you on Twitch. That's crazy! Yeah, I'm on three platforms. I personally prefer um, Twitch. So if anybody out on TikTok has Twitch, then, you know, that helps me out a ton. We could possibly hit um, 20,000 followers on Twitch by the end of the month as well. As 5,000 days on my hardcore world. We are reaching so many different goals for this world. And so many different milestones on my channel. That is crazy. How much more do you have to go? I was on a couple hours ago. Um, I stream for about seven hours at a time when I'm doing my long streams. So I've got another maybe hour and 15 minutes to go. But I don't know if I'm going to be going all the way until that time limit. Because I have... I'm mostly just farming now. I've done a lot of the tower farming. I've done everything I set out to do today. So, eh. Can 
We're just collecting some wheat right now because I have some projects that require about seven, no, nine chocolate boxes full of hay bales. <laughs> so, yay. That's fun. We like that. And considering I'm doing a long, uh, not another long stream tomorrow, but I'm doing another stream tomorrow. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to, what I'm going to do about it. And what time? I'm think, currently I'm thinking 2pm to 5pm GMT. But I might just, I don't know, I might do a later stream as well. Need some ideas of mine. Uh, I have a world tour on my YouTube channel. If I did a YouTube, if I did a world tour every time somebody asked for a world tour, I would never be doing anything new on this world because I get asked a lot. But I hope you enjoy the world tour. Another one is coming soon with 5,000 days on the horizon. This is gonna be super good. Ah, uh, I'm excited. to sort this out at some point because this is <laughs> one in ten uh local sharpshooter thank you so much for the follow i appreciate it that follow alert will never cease to catch me off guard same thing with the one in 50 days counter we're at oh we're at 4834 days we spent over 20 days in this world today Ooh. another one <laughs> That's like Jay, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Back to back. Back to back as well. Wild. Hey uh, Christian and Stuart, thank you so much for the follows. I will I do have to say the follow alerts are not rare on like it's just one follow alert on TikTok. The rare follow alerts come in on Twitch. Do you have advice on how to start a YouTube channel? Nope. <laughs> If I had advice on how to start a YouTube channel, I would have a successful YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is not one to take advice from. I do not know much about it. What I would say is um, vidIQ, that website, is a good idea. Do you know what St. Patrick's Day is? Yeah, it's basically a great excuse to get completely hammered. <laughs> St. Patrick is the saint of, uh, no, patron saint of um, Ireland. And I believe it was the guy that like ran the snakes out of Ireland or something like that. That's how the story goes. And so now every year people celebrate him by drinking way too much alcohol. I'm screaming that is so funny. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. I didn't even thank you for the follow yet. Daddy Taro, thank you so much for the follow and for the sub at tier one. Thank you so, so much. That is so nice. Thank you so much. What the heck? I didn't, I didn't even thank you for the follow yet. <laughs> Apparently it's today. It was yesterday. It was on. It was yesterday. It was on. It was on Sunday. So unless it's yesterday for you, it was yesterday. It was great. I had a glass of wine. I had a vodka coke while I was playing Valorant with my friend. It was fun. I had a good time. Sorry for the past half hour just listening to you in the background, so I thought I'd give you a follow. Oh, thank you so much. That's really, really sweet. Did you come in with a raid or something? Or did I just pop up on your discovery and thought, heck, why not? Because every time somebody tells me that they came into, like, just random discovery, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> no way. I, I gotta say though, I appreciate the dedication before following. 
because you're making sure that it's content that is for you and content that you like. So, big props for you there. I'm very much the same kind of way. I will always spend a lot of time in a channel before I follow them. The micro page on Twitch. Yes! Thank you. Feels good. What's that song? I don't know what that song is, but it's, a, you know, it's me right now. Cool. Why don't you have a bunch of farmer villagers doing that for you? Because I like the statistics to go up. Statistics go brr. I'm currently coming up for 80,000 uses on seeds. <laughs> Actually, where am I at with it? No items. 75,899. So, you know. Java or Bedrock is better? Uh, that's an opinionated thing. I personally prefer Java with the mod capabilities and the fact that I've been using it for the entire time that I've had it. That's a lot of seeds. Yeah, well, to be fair, the entire field is like 25,000. Oh, dear. So, it, it is a lot. It's a, it's a little bit amount. But we're getting there. How are you flying what mod? It's called FreeCam. It's a mod that I use to fly out and basically astral project myself. Beacons into the winter. I literally did that today. I did that earlier today. That was That was a very recent change. I don't remember where the idea came from, but somebody mentioned it. And I was like, that's a good idea. I'm gonna do that. Maybe I mentioned it to myself. Maybe it was my brain. <gasps> Am I the smart guy? Can't go through builds, right? There is a setting for that, which is why some um, servers ban it, as it can be considered a hack. I don't use it for that, but you can enable a setting that allows you to go through blocks. I did actually once get banned from a server before I even joined because I had it in my client and didn't realize that it was a banned thing. That's how I learned about it. So I will say if you're getting it, be careful. I only use it to look at my builds though, so like, eh. So, you know. Can you give a world tour? There's one on my YouTube channel. Seem like a humble and nice streamer. Thank you. I appreciate that. I am the most humble person ever. Thank you for the follow. Right, put some gold away, go back do some more farming. I only need the farming skin. I can change my skin in game, so I can probably just <laughs> get a farmer skin. Stick it on every time I go over here. Be great. Oh, the farming! How long did it take you to build all of this? Probably too long. Unfortunately, I didn't keep count. But a long time. Like my playtime on the world. Hold on. Statistics. Time played. 59.11 days. We'll just call that 59. And then add 2.4. 59 times 24. Uh, 1,418 hours. <gasps> Kelly! Woo! You got a rare one! Nailed it. <gasps> Amazing. Thank you, Kelly. How are you doing? Rare follow alerts are the biggest dub. We love to see it. Damn, yeah, crazy. Crazy? Nope. Have you watched Still Game? No, I've not. I think I watched like one episode of it ages ago and I just didn't vibe with it, so I just didn't watch it again. So, yeah. I'm back. Hey, Freddy, welcome back.
There we go. Lovely. What a welcome. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You've been an awesome person to have on TikTok, and honestly, probably the most grounded person there. So, like, yeah, it's lovely to see you making, like, making an effort for, um, Twitch. So thank you. Thank you, Kelly. I really appreciate that. I just followed how often do you stream? Yeah, I saw you followed. I did thank you. Uh, to be fair, I didn't say your name, so you maybe not didn't notice me thanking you. Um, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. I stream. I don't stream on TikTok on Fridays. I'm going to be streaming tomorrow on Tuesday to try something out to see how it goes. Um, but the times you can find me here on TikTok are Monday, Wednesday, Sunday, 10 a.m. GMT through to 5 p.m. GMT. That's my streaming time. That is set in stone. Fridays are when I do shorter streams from 3 to 5 doing a collaboration where I have somebody join in my... Um, where I have somebody join in my world. And... Yeah. Do you ever stream at night? Not currently. I found that those streams tend to... Not do the worst for me, but I tend... My energy tends to be a lot lower at night because I've already spent the day at that point. So while I'm totally down to do night time streams for like 7 p.m. onwards, um, I would have to hear that that's something that everybody would want from me, from my audience. Uh, also, Eel, thanks so much for the follow. Wait, Eel? 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 Sorry, I'm mispronouncing your name like all hell. And to be fair, I'm thinking about doing a subathon anyway, which is also something that's a thing. Which is like I'm I'm usually up around when I'm on a subathon anyway, so that usually goes into the night as well. I have to catch you again. Uh, normally I'm working, but I'm off today. Sounds good. Well, I hope that I can catch you again in another stream as well, Toro, because, uh, again, it was lovely to meet you, and you seem like a very genuine person as well. What the heck? Lex, uh, with the becoming a member, I'm assuming that was Shade sent, like, gifting a membership on YouTube, unless it wasn't, in which case, what the heck? Having too much fun with this? It's good, isn't it? Vanity Wolf, how are you doing? Welcome on in. Thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. Just up to the YouTube. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Alert Dedge. God damn it, YouTube. Was that you, Shade? I did assume it was you, but I'm like... On the off chance that it wasn't you, then I don't want to be making any mistakes and... Not thanking people appropriately. How many days is your world? My day is at uh, 4,835. Coming up for 5,000 days, we're going to have a 5,000 day world tour video and we're going to be doing some merch for that as well because screw it, why not? At this point, by default, it literally is. If someone can make me play a game, I already play MC, but I've got the urge to open it now, then you're a good streamer in my book. People tell me that I make them want to play Minecraft all the time, and that makes, that honestly makes me feel really happy, because I've been playing Minecraft for over a decade now. Probably close to 15 years. I've been playing it since it came out. And so when people, when I hear that I'm inspiring people to play it, it means, it, I don't know, it's just a, it, it, it warms my little cold dead heart. Kelly with a sub! My god. Thank you so much. I want to play Minecraft 2 now as well. Well, yeah. You guys, I'm going to be making a viewer SMP at some point in the future. But you guys, you guys are awesome. You guys are just truly awesome. I think we're starting to see the part. I think we're starting to see the era of me popping off. I think it's about time that Nook Nookery pops off on all platforms. <laughs> hey Aku, how's it going? I love playing Minecraft, but I often get burnt out quickly because I just don't have anyone to play with, so it's kind of lonely. I understand that. Here's the thing. What? <laughs> Why are we getting so many rare ones? What the heck? Thank you for the follow, Aku. Here's the thing. I don't get burnt out on single player because I'm aware that there's no one else to play with me here. I don't get... I get burnt out easier on multiplayer when the server gets quiet. Because then there's no point. 
and it being multiplayer. If I'm playing by myself in a multiplayer world, I lose interest fast. Luke said it's popping off here about goddamn time too. I work so hard. <laughs> Hi, Haken. How's it going? That's a good way to look at it. Yeah. I'm usually pretty smart. A lot of times I'm stinky little butt face. No words, dumb brain. You know, but that's only 40% of the time. Doing well, how are you? I'm doing good. Got an ad? Oh, sorry. Ads are a thing. By the way, AI says you're a good streamer. Ah! <laughs> Thank you, AI. AI's buttering me up before it takes over the goddamn world. <laughs> May I tell you what happened? If it verges on trauma dumping, I'd, I'd avoid it. I just, I want this to be a positive space. And if you're dealing with some bad stuff, I want this to be a space where you can escape that and have a good day, regardless of anything that's going on in your life. So, I, I, w I would prefer to avoid talking about it. Because, I pr like I said, I prefer this to be a space where you can avoid that situation. Nick Nookery seems to have several promising qualities for being a good streamer. Whether or not they are good depends on factors that match up with your individual preferences in a streamer. Oh my god, so based. Bye bye, some weird ugly man chased me all the way home, told my parents it's the weird local homeless dude. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. That's really weird. I always feel really bad though for homeless people. Because, like, nine times out of ten, it's not by choice that they end up there. It feels heartbreak to destroy good wheat farms. Listen, I don't think it's heartbreak, I think of it as seeding new life on the planet. I'm replanting everything, so it's going to grow back anyway, and I kind of need it. Nine chalker boxes of hay bales, so, you know, this is the best way to go about doing it. You know, <laughs> problem solved. What do you do now since you beat the game? I have multiple different projects that I'm constantly working on, either with my chat or I'm doing other things. So, like, yesterday was St. Patrick's Day, and I built a pot of gold at the end of this rainbow that I built back in Pride of June, whenever that was whatever year that was, and we started working on doing an Armistan villager, and my god, he sucks! Um, but it's just constantly having different projects to work on, so like, over the last few streams I've been constantly doing some terraforming around the back here as well. Um, today we got a bit sidetracked and built a kawaii rock because sometimes in life you just need a kawaii rock to take care of you. Hold on, let me zoom in for this. Kawaii Rock. I've played mods before, and if you haven't, can I suggest one? I love playing modded. I play a, I've got a Vault Hunter server that I play on with some friends of mine occasionally, but that's been quite quiet as of recent. As Like, I've not been on it much either, considering I've been busy doing hardcore stuff. Um, but back before my I built my computer, my laptop wasn't the best at running it. And so... I ended up playing a lot of mod pack servers with Skyblock. And I really enjoyed a lot of that. Are you Scottish because your English accent is similar to a Scot? Uh, it's not an English accent. It's, it's I'm, I'm Scottish. <laughs> it's a Scottish accent. I'm speaking English. It's not, it's not an English accent, though. Man from the Fog. Is that the one with the hero brain in it? Would you guys watch me playing a horror mod pack? Or are you cowards too? <laughs> I was a part of a lore SMP called Your First Days and it was basically a... It was very much like a, a The Last of Us situation. Big fungal zombies come out of nowhere, kick butt, take names scare me into pissing my pants. You know, normal stuff. Do you play high pixel? Not very often, no. Yes, well, now I'm loading up MC. <laughs> I thought you needed water to make farms in Minecraft. You do, they're underneath these slabs. You can waterlog um, slabs 
And when you put them on like the top so you can hide the water. Gonna join on Twitch again whilst I farm on Hypixel. Let's go. We love to see it. I have to go back pick up Evie the Citron. <laughs> she is okay and fixed looks. No, I hope that she is not a financial burden on you too much. Are you Bedrock or Java? I'm on Java right now. Imagine you're minding your own business in wheat fields and a creeper comes from behind. Well, something that I do with creepers whenever they blow up and I'm... I'm not wanting them to blow up that area as I repair it in a way that makes it look like it's been repaired. So say, say I'm standing on a grassy field and the creeper comes and blows me up. I would, I wouldn't repair it with grass blocks where the dirt would like, I wouldn't repair it with regular dirt where the grass would grow over. I would repair it with things like coarse dirt and rooted dirt so that it looks like it's been repaired and worn down by the creeper having done that to the thing, you know? It's just like little ways I can add kind of a history to my world. It's not happened in a long time where I've needed to repair a creeper hole. Where, you know, I've, I've not wanted the creeper to blow up. Sometimes it's been helping me with the terraforming actually, which is really funny. So yeah. What's the fastest way to get cobblestone? You can get a cobblestone farm. You definitely need history when you've been doing this for this many days. Oh, for sure. Like, I'll go back and actually show you one of the more obvious examples of me having done this repair work. Because, you know, I've been farming for a little while and I kind of just feel like taking a little flight. So for those of you that were asking for a world tour, this is like a partial world tour. Call it a teaser world tour. If you need to full world tour, you can, you know, YouTube it. Put the wheat there, put the wheat over here. Bam, 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 and bam. I like that a lot, actually. Yeah, it's a really nice... Rice? What? It's a really nice thing to do. What do you do seeing as you're beating the game? I work on my projects. I work on different projects that I've got. I've realized that a lot of them are very much just aesthetic building that I do right now. And I've realized that I want to add more functionality to a lot of my builds. So I'm going to... I want to start working on more redstone-based builds as well which actually have a function. I put a lot of my farms underneath my base. And so I think that having... That's a gas. Having farms that I can put redstone into would be really cool. Do that. Yoink. Be back there. Yep. Uh, nope. So... This is my starter village. This is a Korokoroko village. This is my jungle village. This is where I started off. This is my starter base down here. Oh, look, a Moana boat. Oh my god, me and Water put the rock on here as well. <laughs> this is the rock. Do you have more viewers on Twitch or TikTok? I don't know. I don't have my view count on on Twitch because I let it affect how I stream, so I don't have my viewer count on. I just check the analytics afterwards. Um... Personally, I would like to have um, averaging partnership on Twitch, but I'm not going to check that. So, can I see the starter? Yeah, this is my start. This is the very first base I ever built. There's a rare ass zombie that did start as a zombie, but then it drowned. Any relation, any relation to Gerald? No, no, it's not. But over here is the creeper repair thing. So it actually blew up part of the building as well, so I made it a little off-center for what it was. I moved to Twitch for you. Thank you so much, Arthur. That means the absolute world. Thank you. So, you know, I've used the cursed dirt, rooted dirt. I actually have used dirt as well, where grass can't grow to it as well to add that extra texture. And we've got some phantom vines. Not for any reason, but just because this was here ages ago, and I kind of felt the need to keep it there. The longest freestanding vines in Minecraft. <laughs> Down here is a secret little farm of mine that I actually built without any tutorial. This is my skulk farm. Just start a hardcore world. Let's go. Treat everything like it's going to kill you and try not to die. Easy. So yeah, skulk farm. How many farms have you built now? I haven't kept count, I'll be honest with you. But yeah, this was starter village. That's nice. I like it here. Pet Cemetery as well, because Stephen King fan. And Halloween, so, you know. This was like the first time I ever built a tree that was like... 
there, you know, dead. I don't know why I didn't just say dead tree and instead decided to make that noise. <laughs> Whatever. How to not get bored? Plenty of ways to not get bored. Mostly by having content and doing this for a while. Oh, uh, hey Scotty, how's it going? Yep, yeah, Chad, if you're on Twitch, make sure you check in so that way you can keep track of how many streams you've been at if you want to. I appreciated the dead noise. You know what? Sometimes you just gotta make weird noises, and uh, for me, it happened more often than not. So. <laughs> Reading Pet Cemetery, actually. Oh, that's awesome! I've not read it, I've just seen the movies. I'm not. I'm weirdly not a big reader. I'm. I'm a big, like, movie and TV nerd. So, like, I was very invested in the Oscars. I wanted Nimona to win the animated Oscar. But, you know, I'm not mad about Boy and the Heron winning. Because, you know, Ghibli. Do you reduce trade amount by zombie and gapples? I do, yes. Not all the time, but for the sake of... Oh, well, actually, yeah, more or less all the time I do now. You do this as your job? I do, yeah, I do this full time. Oh, I'm getting raided. And push it somewhere else. Yeah, I stream full time. No, I do content full time. What's the Y level for diamonds in version 1.20.4? It's spread, but you're better finding it down at Y neck to 59 doing strip mining. Do you think Lily Gladstone should have won the Oscar? No idea who that is. <laughs> Just because I'm a movie and TV nerd does not mean I know anything. Was she up for Best Actress as well? Personally, I think that Barbie should have been nominated for more. Anyway, Rory, thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. I hope you're having a good day. Can you build a big cruise ship for me? No, I've got a ship over here, actually. Hey, Arthur. Hey, Arthur. How's it going? Charlie. That's a good name, actually. That's a good one on you on Twitch. I do have a boat over here. What's your YouTube for the world tour? I should It should be linked in my bio. I do have a boat here. One that I'm very proud of. Built this free hat. First boat I ever built in Minecraft. This is Captain Plopper. Yes, you. <laughs> I think training with one villager constantly and waiting for a reduction is the most human way. Well, to be fair, I do also have about 80 of the villagers stuck in a hole. A one by one next to each other. So they can at least socialize with each other. But beyond that... I'm not always going for the most human way. I'm going for the Minecraft way, which is trapping villagers in one by one holes and waiting, well, and, you know, killing them and bringing them back to life so that they're grateful and give you stuff for free. Just like God intended. <laughs> yeah. Tips again, 1k on TikTok to go live. So I'm in a weird position with how I got to 1k followers on TikTok because the thing that got me to 1,000 followers on TikTok was a viral video. Before that, I had, like, I really didn't have anything, followers-wise. Um, constantly posting, I guess. Consistency is probably the main thing with TikTok. Do you have a creeper farm? I do have a creeper farm. Why did I come over here for? Oh! I want to... There we go. There we go. I like updating the maps. I like it. It's really cool. So we can slowly see like the... Oh, this is going to look so good when it's done as well. Oh, I've just realized this looks a bit off. Hold on. There we go. Apparently out of a neutral stand, your avatar build is one of the coolest according to AI. To be fair, I don't have many more. Uh, just wanted to see if it's an answer and it did. That's really cool, actually. I, I'd appreciate it answering that. Oh, that was that fixed for us, I think. Was it? Yeah, okay. Much better. Can we see that sans build one? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, sorry. I'm trying to think of how I can go about doing these cliff faces better because for some reason this
for some reason, I'm not vibing with these cliffs right now. 946 in Mumbai. All right, Aku. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Hmm. Any use for Cobble Deep Slate? Building. Sometimes I just sit and look at my builds and wonder, what can I do here? How much to die of fall damage? More than you can afford. It's sand, isn't it? No, I don't believe I have any sand builds. Oh! Was it this? Is this what you're talking about? Dot? I'm gonna call you Dot. Yes, this is my... Christmas village. This is Ginger Drop. I'll fly over and show you. Just because I'm not doing anything else right now. I'll fly over and show you. A lot of people haven't seen this today. So I'll fly over and show you. Maybe some add some ores. I don't know about ores as the thing. I want it to be like this pristine cliff. So I'm trying to figure out ways to do that. I don't know. I sampled three people so far to- Three people? Why? What? <laughs> that- that is wild. Shit, that's- that's wild. Yeah, this is my gingerbread village. Oh yeah, I also have a gumball guardian that I built up there. I built this in December of 2022 during a 24 day stream. Because, um, yeah. Hey, Danny, thank you for the follow. Nope, put me back. And was it here? Nope, it wasn't here. Oh, sorry, almost let you out. Not today, lol. <laughs> there it is. And with one of my collaborations that we did fairly recently, I was streaming with Water Munch and we moved her in here. <laughs> so, yeah. I want to make a cool birthday present. That's so sweet. That's so nice. Uh, Convey, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. In Scotland? Yep, sure is. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Hi, Wendy. Do that in my world? Yeah. If you want to use a single player world and invite other players to it, you can get a mod called Essential. Another Scott. What? You? Are you Scottish? Are you Scottish right now? No way. Hey, the tech break. How's it going? <laughs> I hope I know. Scotland forever. Awesome. I love it when Scottish people join my streams because it's like this, you know, it's this universal kind of thing where you're like, it's this, it's the Spider-Man meme. It's literally the Spider-Man meme. You're like, you said why I love an egg to 49, 59, neg to 59. Of their shite to be I don't think so. I think everybody has a bias against where they grew up, but I think Scotland is one of the most beautiful progressive countries there is. Like, yeah. Do you like Iron Brew? When you spell it right, yeah. <laughs> It's like fizzy bubblegum. When did you just start streaming? Six hours and 21 minutes ago. I hate where I live, it's boring. Again. Bias because you grew up there, so you would have spent the most time there and all that kind of things. Why is there no emote there? What's happening there? Highlands of Scotland? Yeah. The, Sco the Scottish Highlands are absolutely amazing. I've been there like once or twice. I don't travel a lot of Scotland. I mean, like, ever? Oh, my first ever stream. Wait, do I have that as a command? I might actually have that as a command. I can't type for some reason, though. Yeah, there it is! My first stream was May 9th, 2020. I thought so. I thought I had it as a command. I couldn't remember what the command actually was, which is why I wasn't just saying it. 
But yeah, I've been streaming for almost uh, four years now. Do you use a client? I have my own client, which I use, which I've put my own mods in. Not my own mods, but the, my own selection of mods. Um, and all of the mods are quality of life stuff that don't impact the game at all. Other than, you know, to either help with performance or you can do things like zooming in on a kawaii rock! Um, you know. <laughs> stuff like that. I also have Shulker Tooltips and Shulker Plus, which means that I can put almost annotations on top of the shulker boxes to show what's in them. At the bottom of the cliff, you should pull it out to make it look better. So the reason I did it so that it goes in is because of the fact that the water would be eroding away at it. I had logic. I hear the trident. That, okay. Oh, free trident. Let's go. You have a kawaii rock. You've not mentioned it. I might have mentioned it once or twice. Free trident. Let's go. What's that mod? The shulker one? I believe it's called Shulker Plus. It's made by the same team that made Vault Hunters. So SGAL 85's team. I want to say uh, Captain Wutax was the author for it. Hold on. Let me check. Shulker Plus. Yeah, Captain Wutax. There you go. Nope, put me back. Thank you. Cool, awesome. Yeah, so the reason I put the cliffs pulling in was because of the erosion that would happen when the water is there. I did geography. I know geography. I know stuff that happens with water. <laughs> okay, just felt like doing that. All hail Gerald. All hail Gerald out right i think i'm probably gonna call it there i've been live for six and a half hours i've ran out of things to do i'll think of stuff to do tomorrow i'm not gonna do the leprechaun on stream that sounds weird when i say it like that i'm not gonna finish building the leprechaun's hat on stream because let's be real watching me click on a book a bunch of times and moving a armor stand slightly every so often is very very boring so uh is there caves level next to 59? Probably, but you're better off the strip, strip mining at that point. But if you want to come back, I'll be back tomorrow. I'm actually going to be streaming for the first, like, I, on a Tuesday. I don't know. Mm, I don't know what time yet. I will announce it on Discord. Uh, but you guys should be joining if you're not already. Follow me on all my other socials as well. Then you can have it there as well. Also, hi, Gene. You've coming at a bad time. I'm ending up. But thank you so much for all the love on TikTok today. We've had, oh my God, we've had so much on TikTok. We've had six gifters. So a huge thank you to anybody that gifted on TikTok. 141 new followers and 32,000 likes. So I'm going to end off on TikTok first. And then I will see you guys on Twitch and YouTube for future streams as well. Thank you guys so much for all the follows. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Cool. TikTok's over. TikTok's over party. <laughs> Cool people are in the Discord, based as hell. Now let me go and see who's live on Twitch so I can rate them with my viewers. I don't... You know what? Completely impromptu song? I think it's a hit. I think that was a complete and utter hit. Absolute banger. Join for the raid to get my points? Hell yeah. You do get points for the raid. Process of making the book taking ages, which is why I'm assembling a team. That's fair enough. Uh, who's all that? Let me go on the Minecraft category and see who's live. Oh god, I can't find it! Where's Minecraft? There it is. <laughs> I'm being dramatic. But in the meantime, guys, if you're on Twitch, copy and paste the raid message. First one if you've got the emotes, second one if you have not got the emotes. And who is alive for me to raid today? Hmm. Oh, I don't know. You could raid Nickery? Oh, if I could raid myself, you know I would. Actually, that's a lie. I w I'm tired. I need to... <laughs> I need to go. I'm scrolling down a little. Oh, is there like a new person that I've not raided before that I could raid? That's always fun. Hmm... 
Do it? Yeah, right? Only have three months to design and make the text and order it. Shade, that is insane, the effort you're going to for that. That, <laughs> that is wild. Thank you so much. The music is so unnecessarily intense for me trying to find somebody to raid. What the heck? Just a casual reminder that when you send the raid message, send it once or twice and then let it go and get to know the streamer. We had it a couple times back where people were spamming in the next chat, which is not always a bad thing, but it's something that I don't love from my community to do. I want you guys to get to know other streamers as well. Hmm. I'm just scrolling. I've not even clicked on anyone yet. I feel bad. I can't figure out how to do English, please. Who's this? First playthrough, it says. Yeah, I don't see why not. Let's read this person. Hi, Barry. You're late! <laughs> Not really. How are you doing, Barry? Good, because I uh, found the deep dark world mining. Oh god, yikes. I need to make sure I'm spelling this right. There's a lot of E's and a lot of L's. Shame me, I deserve it. Okay. Shame! Oh, where's the bell? Shame! <laughs> Okay, think I've got that right. Brilliant. All right. Guys, thank you so much for being here today. I will be back tomorrow doing a different kind of stream. I'm going to do a just chatting stream, but I'm going to be playing like a game. I don't know what kind of game yet, but we'll we'll see. Um, and I will see you all tomorrow. So, yeah. See you guys later. Bye.